Hi Jewelry Makers, Monica here. Just quickly wanted to tell you about what's coming up on the show on Wednesday. Um, in the project hours, we've got some fabulous seed beading projects in both hours. In the nine o'clock project hour, we've got some watermelon solar quartz with some hex cut seed beads. So this is the necklace that I've made for my project instructions, which I will show you also on the show how to make. Um, it's beautiful, that watermelon quartz, isn't it? Um, and then uh, the two colors of the hex cut, hex cut uh, seed beads as well. And then in the 12 o'clock project hour, we, we'll be um, showing you some projects for making a necklace that was inspired by a Jubilee necklace. Uh, so the necklace I'm wearing is the one I'm going to show you how to make. Well, I'm going to show you how to make one of the components because it's a repetitive uh, necklace, as you can see. Uh, and then these are mega mega kits. There are seed beads in there, there are rivulets in there, there are pearls, both shell pearls and freshwater pearls as well. So you have that choice. Uh, we've got it in three different colorways. Uh, you've also got some crystals in there. So fabulous, fabulous projects uh, in the 12 o'clock hour as well. Hope you can all join us on the 13th from eight o'clock in the morning. See you then. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. Good How morning. are you? Yes, good, thank you. Very uh, good with all the seed beads today. I know. <laughs> what a treat. Yes, good show, good show. Go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Monica, you have been given some absolute beauties to work with today, haven't I you? I have, I have. I've been very spoiled today. Look at this. Coming up at nine o'clock, the most gorgeous watermelon solar quartz kit with the most beautiful uh beads in it yes, yes kind of giant hex beads aren't they well, some of them are size eight uh, wow. hex beads and some of them are size 11 hex beads but the hex beads are amazing because they're they're like faceted seed beads so yes they, they sparkle yeah they give you unbelievable luster i think uh guest designer allison had some the other day in like mm. a bronzy kind of uh tone and they just yes. they've got such a gorgeous kind of sparkle to them yes, as you say absolutely absolutely coming up at 12 o'clock Oh, Monica, this is literally, <laughs> this is literally a a labour of love, I think we're going to call it. This was fun. This was fun to make. I really so 12 o'clock, talk us through what you've got. Well, in the 12 o'clock kiss, you've got pretty much everything you could possibly ask for. You've got rivulets, you've got shell pearls, yes. in two of the kits. In one of the kits, you've got freshwater pearls. That's the freshwater one. Uh huh. Uh, then you've got size 15 seed beads, you've got size 11 seed beads, you've wow. got crystals. So, ooh, epic, epic kits. Yes, fabulous. Gorgeous. <laughs> uh, both uh, hours come with instructions, which is fantastic. So all of that's going to be coming your way. Um, really, really, really excited about what Monica's uh, been given to work with today. We've got loads of incredible things coming up today. Your early birds today. Check it out. Beautiful. Tanzanite cabochons. I know, incredible tans of like cabochons coming your way in this hour as your early birds. We've also got the launch of the most beautiful mountain jade coming your way at 10 o'clock this morning. Just look at the delicacy of these colors. Aren't they just gorgeous? That's gonna be coming your way in the 10 o'clock hour. We've also got a chrysoprase um, selection coming up in the 11. So bright, bright, intense. Uh, greens coming your way, which are absolutely awesome. And we've got a load of other beautiful bits and pieces coming up today. We've got the last few of the Olmec Bangle. We've got tons and tons and tons. We've got the uh, Wall of Fame uh, draw today as well, which is really exciting. We've got some lovely Wall of Fame entries as well. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Can I please urge you to go to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and just have a look and see what we've got available. It's all going to disappear at nine o'clock, just to let you know. So just have a look and see what you've got. Look at all of those pieces. Five six seven 
eight, nine, ten. She wish we've got millions of entries today. Um, yeah, have a little look. If there's anything in particular that you like the look of, uh, be it the, oh, I don't know, the gorgeous uh, storage box, or whether it's spacer beads, whatever it might be, then please do make a uh, note of that number. Thank you, Kinga. Um, and uh, and uh, send us a message. So just to the right-hand side of this picture, there's a little box which says send message to studio. And if you want to do that, then uh, uh, make a note of the number, be it number, I don't know, what are we looking at there? Number 37, number 39, number 40, number 42, whatever the number might be, and send us a request and we'll play it for you. No problem whatsoever. There we go, go, go. Right, okay, so things will be selling ahead of time. Get them as quickly as you can. Request anything that you want to, because um, everything's gonna disappear at nine o'clock. Right, let's go to the Wall of Fame and see some of your incredible designs. Here we go, so number 972, this is from Anna Howarth. Hello everyone, uh, please find my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. I made an Alhambra inspired necklace with the most beautiful strawberry quartz. Um, inspired by the talented Alice and Tara's version of the Alhambra design. Her demo is so clear to follow. Hope it will be good enough to show on the wall. Good luck to all the fellow Waffers. Thank you for everyone at Jewelry Maker for your inspiration, much appreciated. Kind regards and take care, that's from Anna. Thank you, my darling. Uh, I've got Jim Hall. Oh, lovely. Morning all, here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a memory wire necklace made using 0 0.8, uh, sorry, 80 and 110 seed beads of various colors, pink seed beads and beaded beads, gold stone, some plated rose gold flower beads. All products are from JM. Best of luck to everyone in the draw. That's from Jim. Thank you so much, Jim. Gorgeous jewelry there. Thank you. Oh, this fits in really well with today's early bird. Molly Rogers, number 974. My entry is freshwater culture pearls with tanzanite beads and chips, all with sterling silver and uh, all from JM. The color of the tanzanite is so vivid and strong, whilst the glow and sheen from the pearls is amazing. Don't know how JM manages to keep the prices so low, but I'm not complaining. Best of wishes to all. That's from Molly. Thank you my lovely gorgeous uh next entry is 975 from mandy cooper good morning jane please find attached this week's entry to the wall of fame it's an 18 inch sterling silver linked chain pearl necklace um the pearl is stunning and was in my advent calendar so, was, um, advent calendar, so i'm keeping this for myself i've attached a box class which finishes it off beautifully um i was inspired to make a piece of pearl jewelry after watching susie's uh, uh, after watching Susie on Pearl Day. Good luck to everyone, and that's from Mandy. Thank you so much, lovely. How gorgeous. Beautiful. And 976 from Angie Smith. Uh, hi, all. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace made using 11 OC beads, crystals, bicones with a crystal drop, all components from JM. Good luck to all the fellow offers. That's from Ange. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's beautiful. Monica? That? I've got number 977. Oh! I love the little elephant. <laughs> so cute. This one's from J Jane Milestone. Hi, my wall of fame for today is made from satellite and plain round Botswana agate with rose gold plated silver findings. The colours are so bright, vibrant, they make me happy just looking at them. Good luck to all in the WAF. Ah, oh, beautiful. Cute. I've got these very same beads, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I saw this one as it was happening. <laughs> this is number 978. It's from D. Wilson. Hi folks, this is my entry for this week. A pair of Soutache earrings made from my invented kit. Good luck, everybody. That's beautiful. We don't, we don't see a lot of Soutache. No, really I nice love it. it. Yeah, it's Thanks, darling. Okay, next one is from uh, Teresa Ellis, number 979. And she says, hi, all at JM. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a peacock pendant made with one millimeter silver plated wire, check glass beads and silver plated jump rings for the chain. Everything from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to everyone in the draw. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Isn't Thank it? you, darling. Gorgeous. Oh, I know who the inspiration is for this one. <laughs> yeah. 980 is from Jane. She says, My Wall of Fame is a paracord macrame bracelet made using the JM bracelet maker and JM bits. Boyfriend can't believe I made this. It <laughs> looks better than shop bought. More macrame, please, with more designs. Macrame is my favorite medium. Oh, that's perfect, isn't it? Well it's done. Beautiful. I love the colours as well. Gorgeous. Number 981 is from Jade Cousins. 
Hi JM, my entry to this week's Wall of Fame is a wirework champagne gold plated necklace with jadeite coins. Good luck everyone. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, oh. really lovely. Oh, well done. Well done everyone. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's draw the Wall of Fame. Monica, do you want to come over and draw one? Oh, yes, come on, lovely. Here we go. Let's give it a really surprise winning balls. Here we go. Right, go on, Monica. You pick the winner of the Wall of Fame this week. Oh, how does this open? <laughs> Wait, <we're> like that. <laughs> Just the one, Mrs. Wembley. The winner is number 973. Oh, I think we have, the, we have those. 973, which is... Jim Hall, congratulations, oh, well done. Oh, that's with your lovely memory wire and oh, your gorgeous nice. piece there. Oh, fantastic. Go on, Monica, you pick the really? runner-up as well. Why not? Or should I mix and you pick? Oh, go on then. Have I closed it properly? Only one way to find out. Gorgeous. So there the runner-up this Good week, mix. winning £50 credited to their jewelry maker account, is number... Here we go. That's just one. Nine, three, eight... Tom Neary? No, you haven't, you liar. <laughs> Brenda Chibnall Smith. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> there you go, 9 3. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Well done, Brenda. I like I like the fact you said Tom Neary, like it was you. He's such a he's such a joker, isn't he? Gee whiz. <laughs> You're right, Eva. Can I give this to you, darling? Thank you, sweetheart. There we go. Right, okay. Well done, everybody. Fantastic. Well done, Tom. Well done for coming I don't know, third, I guess, yeah. Anyway, right, okay. Uh, we've got loads and loads and loads to get through. But let's start off. We've got tons. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Here we go. Oh, Bruce is there already fixing the cameras today. Doing his handyman thing, aren't you, Bruce? Yeah, I don't know why this is locked. Yes, he doesn't know why that is locked. What's locked? There you go. Is it held together with gaffer tape? Do we need to replace the gaffer tape, uh, Bruce? Yeah. Let's replace the gaffer tape. Broken. Yeah, basically broken. It's broken. Bit of burning twine, is it really? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> yes. This studio is just... That's a good start. Jay. It's just great, isn't it? Okay, let's start off. Oh, gosh. There you are, Kingy, you're on your own. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a... Um, it's a hummingbird. Hang on, Neary's out here now trying to fix things now. Neary, is it broken? Nah, never. Never? Bit Shouldn't you be producing in there? <laughs> Send out the big guns, innit? Send out the big guns? <laughs> what? Send out the big... I think Bruce is the biggest gun we've got, isn't he? Yeah. The biggest gun in our arsenal. Nine ninety nine. This is quite interesting, actually, watching Neary doing oh, something. We, we can't get any closer. <laughs> vaguely, uh, <laughs> vaguely, <laughs> vaguely useful. We can't get any closer. She's just going to have to walk up to the camera with her repeat. Yeah, just walk up to the camera. Oh, at least Bruce has got a nice photograph. Thank you, Bruce. award winning photograph there. Thank you very much, Bruce. Neary, of of yeah, we don't need you anymore. Nine ninety nine. You get um, three sterling silver connectors. You've got your round connector. You have got your gorgeous. Now, is that a feather or a leaf? I think that's a feather, don't you? I think it's a feather. Well, yeah, could be a leaf, but I think it is oh. a feather. I'd say feather. For the connector the and the hummingbird a... connector as well. Yeah. Fantastic. Neary can't work it out either, scratching his head as he walks out the door and leaves Kinga. There you are, Kinga, under the bus. There you go. When's your last day? <laughs> Tuesday, next Tuesday next week. <laughs> poor thing. The poor thing. Michael has locked something forever. Where is Michael? Next door. He's next door directing. Because <laughs> their graphics are broken. Monica, do you want to have a go on the camera? It's okay, we can take turns. They're, they haven't got graphics, we haven't got a camera. <laughs> do you know what? Stuff it. Let's just do a crash. Let's do a big fat crash. Come on, everyone. Bro, there, there we go. King has now abandoned their post. Honestly, this is really going to start to turn the lights off in it's a minute. Just me soon. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to do the I'm going to have to do the demo in the 12, not the 12, not the 12. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Oh, it's easy. No, okay. it's blooming not. It's not easy. You need a doctorate to be able to do that. Brenda in Surrey, Barbara in Dorset, Terry in Yorkshire. Well done to you. I blame Monica. I blame Monica. It was all fine till she turned up. Well done. <coughs> sorry, sorry about my cough, everyone. Uh, Gwennifer, well done to you, my lovelies. Uh, we're down to £7.99. Well done, everyone. 
Essex is through. Well done to you, Dorset and Yorkshire. Fantastic. Well done. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Well done. Gorgeous. Right. Let's see if we have any more. Any any more leopard number twelve? Oh gosh, no. I don't know. Oh, here's Michael. There he is. Oh, he just he he tucked, he turned a knob, Bruce. <laughs> he turned a knob on the side. Oh, he's still here. He's here. He fixed it. He fixed it. I don't think it was ever broken, really, to be fair. We had Bruce have a go. We had King have a go. We had Neary have a go. Monica was about to have a go. No one seems to know. Michael is the camera whisperer. The camera whisperer. There we go. Right, Sterling Silver Connectors, here we go. Heart. <laughs> Infinity. And, oh, love. Oh, this is really cute. Hang on, there you go, love. Aww. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that That's like so a, sweet, I a, love it. Like the middle of a slider bracelet or something like that. You could, yeah. I wonder whether you could make that into a ring as well. That, oh, that yeah. could sit in the middle of a ring, couldn't it? That would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? How sweet would that be? I love the infinity symbol as well. It's a really lovely symbol, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Hi, gorgeous girls and Team JM. Lovely to see you back, Monica, and beautiful pieces. Hope you're feeling better soon, Carol. Hugs to all. Oh, Miss Janet. It is very much a competition in my house at the minute between me and my husband. Who's 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 the most ill? Ew. Oh no! Who's the most ill? <laughs> my husband wins this morning. He's had an absolute nightmare with the children this morning. Oh well, I'm at work. Never mind. <laughs> oh well. Right, where are we going now, love? Where are we going, Neary? Nine. Oh. Here we go. I know. Definitely want to do some crazy, crazy deals. Here we go. Right, these are slider clar uh, slider slider beads. Yeah, these are so cool. We've got them in three different sizes. Large. Here we go. Medium. And small. Three of each, giving you a total of nine sliding clasps. Now, we did have these uh, last week, and um, these will fit over some of our kind of micro faceted strands, which are absolutely, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. They've got that lovely kind of silicon. Uh, it's like a plug uh, inside the clasp so whatever you use it with is so easy and simple to slide that up and down the um, up and down the threading material whether it's cord whether it's um, some of the gorgeous knotted uh, cord you've used there actually today Monica in your nine o'clock yep. uh, projects yes absolutely perfect aren't they gorgeous uh, whether you're going to use it over kumahimo or your uh, wire over your uh, viking knit maybe dorset county Durham, well done to you maker kent fife well done to you my lovelies all the way down now to 19.99 that's for all nine of your sliders which is absolutely fantastic hilda well done to you as well my lovely in greater manchester lots and lots of people coming through you may or may not know we are the uk's only dedicated jewelry making channel we're live 365 days a year even if uh, even if our cameras are broken mm -hmm. and um we are uh, you can shop with us in three different ways. You can either call us on our free phone number, which is 0800 644 Get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can download our app and you can watch us on the go. I had the app open yesterday, actually. Morning, ladies and crew. You have brightened the day already. Roll on spring. Looking forward to today's show, Jackie the Headband Lady. Love you, Jackie. She makes headbands with lucite flowers. Oh, very nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Um, I will say as well, this weather is really starting to tick me off. Um, Saturday was gorgeous and sunny. Yeah. Sunday was like the end of the world. Oh, that has it was raining all day. Or yeah, yesterday was awful. It needs to make its mind up. What are you doing, weather? If it's still winter, fine. If it's spring, it's spring. I think it's time for spring to be honest. Lulling us into this false March. sense of security. <laughs> Uh, there's loads and loads of people coming through. Well done. Check out your baskets, everyone. If anyone can have a word with the with the weather guy, I reckon it still is Michael Fish who, who controls the weather. Uh, <laughs> then please do uh, please do let us know. Uh, well done, uh, Maker. We've got County Durham through. Well done to you as well. Loads and loads and loads more still to come. Right, let's go to... Woo! We're jumping around this morning. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, jump down. Oh, my gosh, Neary. This is obscene. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Right, now this. <laughs> Take a look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. That's amazing. 
You are getting here. You are getting here. The most incredible. Man-made opal with a peg bale. Now, I believe this should have been half drilled in some way, shape or form, she says. Has it got, is it half drilled? Yeah, I've, I've, no, there it is, I've got it. Hang on, let me just take it out of shot. Here we go. <laughs> oh gosh, my eyes, my eyes. Hang on, there you go. How cool is that? No, no, it's my made opal, but look at the state of that. Isn't that just incredible? Glue that into your half drilled uh, bead. That is going to look absolutely incredible, isn't it, Monica? That's so unusual, isn't it? I haven't seen anything like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's absolutely no way on God's green earth I would be able to afford a real opal that looked like that. <laughs> I mean, that would just be incredible. In incredibly beautiful, but incredibly uh uh considered as well we're all the way down let's get these prices in for you today oh my word incredible deal for you today 19 pounds 99 you've got to add it onto your order congratulations well done morning all uh this has even more color in real life says hilda i know i think when yeah. you get this when you get this home you will see even more color than you're seeing here in the studio today that is absolutely incredible quality you're getting here that is absolutely amazing and i have to say for the price point you are getting so much for your price point that is absolutely wonderful well done everybody coming through on the website and on our app and on the phone lines as well congratulations by the way if you do want to multi buy anything if you want to buy two three four ten of something speak to our call center team they're based just the other side of that wall up there and say cool can i add three or four five packs or whatever it is to your order if the quantity is available the answer will be absolutely yes or if you're shopping with us on our website or on the app, then just alter the quantity you check out in your basket. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Congratulations, everybody. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Now, with everything you get from JM, you get your 30-day money-back guarantee as well. Um, only two chances remaining. That's it. Once it's gone, it's gone. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. That's absolutely awesome. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Colours are absolutely amazing. One opportunity remaining. There's your uh, peg bale as well. I love that. That's absolutely gorgeous. You could, if you wanted to, set that the other way up and have that in a lovely ring. That would be stunning, wouldn't it? Well done. Oh, we've got the earrings as well. Oh, in what, okay. number what? Number 30 something or other? Number seven. 37. Oh, gosh. Oh, got them. There we go. Oh, yes. Got the earring findings. Here we go. Here we go. So you've got your pair of earring findings. There they are. Okie dokie. Rachel, make her dawn. Well done to you, my lovelies. And then two of your half drilled. Woo! Two of your half drilled uh, man made opals as well. Absolutely incredible. Well done. Half drilled. Summer says through. Rachel's there. Well done to you, my lovelies. Go, 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 go. Isn't that just incredible? Okay, we are at 29.99 and we're taking the price point down even lower. I know. Absolutely amazing. There you go, beautiful colors. Look at all of that. Isn't that stunning? Look at that. Oh my word. Beautiful colors. Absolutely fantastic. Like the best quality Kuba PD Open, isn't it? It really genuinely is. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Let's get that price point down even lower for you today. Here we go. Add it onto your order. $19.99, amazing. More makers there. Well done to you, Dawn. Well done to you, my lovelies. I would, I mean, what would, what would you suggest, Monica? I would probably suggest like an E6000 glue or something, or hypo cement, hypo maybe? Hypo cement is my favorite, usually because of the applicator tip. And because oh, it's, it's got that quite, precision nozzle, hasn't it? Because it's a bit more sort of liquid than the E6000. Which is a bit more... It's a bit more jelly-like. Gluey, yes. Gluey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the hyper cement, it, it gets really, gets into holes oh, and things brilliant. much better, I think, than the E6000. Yeah. Uh, but I was going to say, this is the perfect size for earrings though, isn't it? They're really, um, 
hit the nail on the head with a they quick have size. the eight mils which i think you're absolutely right is is just absolutely perfect for your earrings they're just gorgeous aren't they but easily if you wanted to make that if you if you wanted to turn it the other way up um and 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 secure it into another kind of setting great for a ring great for cufflinks maybe great as a pendant you know you could use it with the gorgeous peg bell that we've just bought you there well done everybody loads of people coming through well done there's more makers now congratulations well done down to the last couple of chances if you've got this you may as well get the pendant if you've got the pendant you may as well get these it's it's so so easy well done we've got more requests coming through loads of requests coming through cambria well on tube as well my lovely well done number six please says maker in lancashire Yes. What is it? Is it a beauty? Is it an absolute beauty? Oh my gosh. Collector of Lancashire, you've got amazing taste. You know what? So much so, we're going to make it into a star buy. Oh my gosh. Oh, luster on these pearls. Wow. I mean, absolutely first class pearls. These are the most incredible fireball pearls. I think we still got the graphics on for the last auction, Mary. That's all right. Now look at that colour. The range of colour. Monica, I know you're a massive fan of purple. Yes. I can see lots of purple in that. <laughs> yeah. The lavenders. But do you know what's interesting as well? I think you're getting purples, but with like a, a veil of like bronze over the top yeah. of them or a veil of pink over the top of them. Like it's pink. much more than just lavender or, or, or mauve, isn't it? Look at these gorgeous cream and kind of apricot colours here. That one there's a beautiful bronzy colour, isn't it? These are all naturally coloured, excuse me. <coughs> See, I think that would be really beautiful if you sort of mm. graduated, you pick pick them out, the colours, and then started with, let's say, with the with the peaches and then went into the purples on the yeah. other side. See, how lovely would that be? Because you, with, a, with a strand like this, you are looking at a, mm, a bit of a variation in size, but not, not massively, not 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 overly uh, huge variation in size, and of course the beauty of that is, is as Monica says, if you want to graduate that colour, if you want to yeah. ombre that colour, start off with the kind of the buttermilk ones or the ivory ones, go through to the pinks, go through to the peaches, then go through to the beautiful purples, then the purple with bronze, then the purple with bronze and blue, you know, whatever it might be. Gosh, they are absolutely first class. It's interesting, isn't it? You know, I look at a strand like this and I think that knotted, it, that for me is a four figure piece of jewelry. But I know that there are lots of people out there who, who wouldn't necessarily wear a statement piece like that. You see this very much as a two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33, 33 pendants rather than a knotted necklace. It depends what head you've got on. If, 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 if you've got that kind of estate jewellery, get the most out of it, you know, you know, you know, you know, real heirloom, then yeah, make that knotted piece. But if you're into kind of literally, let's make as much money out of these as we possibly can. Let's make as much profit out of these as we can. Split them up into, in, into 33 separate pendants. Whatever you do, appreciate these for what they are. They are some of the largest and some of the most beautifully coloured naturally coloured genuine freshwater culture pearls we've ever had they are absolutely on point they're gorgeous aren't they now we are at 199 which is incredible how many strands do we have left neary seriously five five strands remaining i'm amazed i thought i, I literally would have thought we'd be down to the last two we are at 199. Add them onto your order. Now these are available on split payments as you can see. Interest-free split payments of 49.75, which is absolutely fantastic. The fact that you can get this home today for under 50 pounds and the fact that the whole price is only 199. You knot that, you put a gorgeous clasp on that. 
what kind of price point would you expect to retail that for? What kind of price point would you expect this to be valued for? Would it be 199 or would it be three, four, five, six hundred pounds? Maybe even more, maybe even into the five, uh, I beg your pardon, four figure price tags. Amazing opportunity already. We are so over allocated. There's absolutely loads of you there. Congratulations, 199 on four individual split payments. Absolutely your price point today. Um, Check out as soon as you can. We're taking the details away in about 45 seconds. That literally is it. I've got many, many, many of you there. Add it onto your order. Um, the most incredible pearls. Beautiful, genuine, naturally coloured fireball pearls. The most wonderful opportunity for you to have a look at them at the neckline as well. Size wise, what size wise are we looking at? Sorry, what sizes are we looking at here, Neri? Hey, you said number seven. Oh, hang on. They're these ones. Oh my God. <laughs> Luckily, they're the same price, but yeah, look at those. Oh my gosh, look at the size. Sorry, we need to have a proper look at these now, don't you? Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to, okay, we've got Maker in Cumbria, Heather in Hearts, Maker in London, Nancy in Bristol, Maker in Lancashire, and another Maker. Right, there you go. Fireball Baroques. Oh my gosh. There you are. 199. Oh my gosh. Wow. Maker in Cumbria, Heather in Hertfordshire, Maker in London, Nancy in Bristol, Maker in Lancashire, and another Maker there, all for this one strand. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that is much more Baroque. And look at those gorgeous, look at those gorgeous, gorgeous blues and greens there. Oh my gosh. Absolutely terrific. Absolutely terrific quality you're going to be getting there. Congratulations, everybody. Oh my word. Bronzes. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. Checking out. Well done. 10 seconds and we're taking the details away. Well done. The most amazing palette. Goodness me. And of course, size and incredible Baroque shape as well. Ken in Yorkshire could go to you as well. Well done. Literally down to the last couple of opportunities. Well done. I don't know how we've got two left. No idea. Cumbria, Hertfordshire, London, Bristol, Lancashire, Maker, Greater London, and another Maker in Yorkshire, and another Maker in Manchester, and another Maker. What? Check out. 199. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in baskets for the last one. That's absolutely crazy. I've, I've no idea. Check out. Let's do the roundy ones next because we've got a little bit. We've got a little bit. Yeah. We got a little bit confused. Here we go. It's all right. Don't worry. Might have been me, actually. Everything's very blocked up at the minute. I don't know whether I heard you correctly. Here we go. There we go. Back to the cautious rounds. There you go. Absolutely amazing quality. Oh, yes. There you go. Now, these have got a very different kind of surface luster, haven't they? Much smoother. Show them next to the Baroques. You see, the Baroques are much more kind of... Uh, the, the surface is a lot more... Uh, disturbed, I would say. It's not as smooth as uh, these ones here. Both absolutely gorgeous, though. Beautiful in their own right. Here we go. 199 is your price point for this. 49.75 are your split payments. Well done. Check out as quickly as you can, everybody. Well done. Well done, well done. 0800 644 The most amazing opportunities for you today. Well done. One chance remaining now, my lovelies. Well done. Add them onto your order as soon as you can. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Early birds. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming up, which, of course, are your uh, Tanzanite cabochons as well. Really excited about that. Gorgeous. Well done. 199. Congratulations. Go, go, go. Right. Which one now, sorry? Oh, double trouble spaces. Yes. Oh, these are lovely. Almost tipped those out. That wouldn't have been good, would it? Almost, oh gosh, there we go. <laughs> and 
<laughs> now I actually have. Oh, dear me. What a wally. Things are not going to plan. Things are not going to plan. Here we go. So these are really large spaces. These are some of the biggest spaces we've ever done. Here we go. Got those. Bad boy, bad boy, what are you going to do? And then we've got these. There's a load of them. All 925 sterling silver. Oh, they are lovely. Five mil sterling silver spaces. They are absolute essentials. These are the kind of things you're always going to need, aren't they, Monica? Oh, absolutely. Um, I would say that <coughs> space is almost like the, the punctuation in your jewellery. Yes, it? nice. Yeah, because it, it accentuates bits that you want to accentuate. I yeah, think it's a, it can also hide things like like the knots in the in the stretchies. So uh, precisely, that's exactly it. So with your five mil spaces, they're large enough to be able to hide uh, knots. Yeah, they can be that lovely kind of support at that lovely space, so they can uh, kind of um, uh, kind of extend your jewellery ever so slightly. You know, five mil at a time. Um, or it can literally be the main attraction and you can make entire suites of jewelry just using these. They're absolutely perfect. They're all 925 sterling silver. We're getting 40 in total. They're under 20 pounds. You will thank your lucky stars that you've got these to work with. Honestly, sometimes if you look at a design, if you look at something which you've kind of almost finished and you go, it just needs a little something else. There's just something it's missing. Quite often it is something as simple as just adding in a couple of spaces into the design, onto the end of the design, whatever it might be. And it really will transform that jewellery. <coughs> Congratulations, everybody coming through. Well done. We're at £19 and £99. Well done. Go, 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 go. Absolutely brilliant. They're beautifully made, gorgeous quality, and all sterling silver. Well done. Okay. Oh, June. Number four. T. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, Neri. Funny, isn't it? You, you kind of, you get up for work and you think, yeah, I'm firing all, on all cylinders, feeling a lot better. Then you start talking and you realise, actually, you sound awful. You sound like, what's the name? Off, um, off what's it called? <sighs> Coronation Street. The one who used to say, oh, Percy, Phyllis Pierce. There we go, Phyllis Pierce. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Keshi, Keshi, Keshi pearls. Oh my word. All of these are top drawer from side to side, looking absolutely gorgeous. You've then got this Keshi pearl, which is top drilled. There you go. So it's half drilled. You've then got this ridiculously good clasp. Now this clasp here is a connector because you've got, let me just get that round there, there we go. You've got this awesome peg bell there, which you literally can glue into the top of the pearl there. This here, I'll say this, these here split into two connectors. So you can literally have your pendant coming down there, your pearls on either side. This clasp is wicked. Let me show you this. That gorgeous kind of trigger clasp, absolutely fantastic. It's all rather lovely. And it gives you the most incredible gem set finish. Gives you that really high end look. We're at 199, three individual split payments as well, which is absolutely fantastic. And the quality of those pearls, absolutely beautiful. Well done, we're at 199 pounds and 99 pounds. Congratulations, well done. One chance remaining, well done, everybody coming through. Loads in baskets, do check out as soon as you can. Beautiful quality. Yours today for 199 pounds and 99 pence. Well done, gorgeous. Oh yes, Neri. We've got some silly, 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 silly deals coming up now. And I, oh gosh, this desk. Ugh. And I do mean silly. Okay. Let's do something really rather ridiculous. Whereabouts are they, Neary? <coughs> oh, they're here! Right, which one is it? Are we gonna, okay, here we go. Should we see who's awake? At 8.39, believe you and I, if you're not awake at 8.39. On a normal day, would you be awake at 8.39, Monica? Well, it depends if it's a weekend or a school day. Or... If it's a weekend, would you still be asleep? 8.39, yes, I would. No. <laughs> My oh my gosh, I literally cannot sleep in past really? like 6.45. What about you, Michael? Latest is 6. Latest is 6 a.m. Yeah. yeah. 
Yes. Just can't sleep any later. Yes, well, no, I can. I'm sure I can, but yeah. You see, I'm a night owl, so I'll, oh, are if I you? went to bed at four o'clock in the morning, I'm not going to get up at six. <laughs> you go to bed at four o'clock in the morning? Sometimes, yes. Oh, gosh. Well, Monica, I tell you what, if this is a weekend, you'd miss out on this. It's a good job you're here. Ah, oh, unlucky. She's sitting behind the designer desk today. <laughs> she said, you're not going to be able to get this today. Oh, my gosh. There are so many people coming through already. Let's see who's awake. Let's see who's awake. We are at £4.99 pence for a strand of orange moonstone two mil faceted rounds. Loads of makers coming through. Well done. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <coughs> Rishka, maker, maker in Gloucestershire, ma ma maker in Manchester, Murphy Tidville, more anonymous bidders coming through. Well done to you. £3.99 pence. Manchester's through. Manchester, another Manchester through. Well done to you, my lovely. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, we're still going. Deborah, well done to you in Bedfordshire. Well done to you. Go, go, go. Two pounds and 99 pence. Well done. 0800 six triple four six double five. Tracy in Norfolk. Lisa in Fife. Well done to you as well. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal. Gorgeous. Julie, Dawn, well done to you as well. Loads of people there. Manchester's taken three. This is great to see. Well done. 2.99 is not low enough if we can go lower we will go lower and this uh yeah we are going lower thank you so much for all your messages so far this morning thank you so much for joining us this morning always great to have your company rachel maker well done to you my lovely julie well done to you as well loads and loads and loads of you coming through nine seconds and then we're taking the price point all the way down for you here we go well done everyone gloucestershire north yorkshire well done to you here we go all the way down as low as we can. I said boom, boom, boom. One ninety nine. Yes, Neary. I'm loving these deals today. One pound and ninety nine pence. Gloucestershire's got two. West Midlands has got two. Judy, well done to you. Deborah's bought three. Bruce, are you enjoying this deal? Yes, he is. He says he's loving this deal. Well done, Greater Manchester's coming through. It's got four. <laughs> Diane, well done. Can you tell that Bruce just obviously didn't hear me or was completely ignoring me? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I'll ask him again. Bruce, are you loving this deal? He's loving this deal, he says. Joe, well done to you, Norman. Well done to you, Mick and Susie. Just radio silence from Bruce there. Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, Bruce, forget about it. Forget about it, Bruce. <coughs> well done, everybody. Manchester's got four. Elizabeth, Susie, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through. Congratulations, everybody. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Right. Is it time? Is it time? It's time for the early bird specials. And let's go, go, go. Oh my gosh, I'm literally just, yeah, I know literally breaking into oh my gosh these are so good these are yeah where do you even start when your early bird looks as good as that. When your early bird, oh my gosh, looks as good as this tanzanite, the most incredible cabochon cut round. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is proper tanzanite, isn't it? And that's huge, isn't it? It's gigantic. You are looking here at the most incredible nine to 10 millimeter Tanzanite round cab. This is over four and a half carats in a single gem. Incredible. Now, why is this incredible? Maybe you've 
never heard of Tanzanite, maybe you've got no idea what this gemstone is. By the way, just to let you know, after this, we're going to be playing this bad boy here. I just want to show you them both. We've got the massive round 9 to 10 mil. And then we've got a 7 to 9 mil oval coming up straight after. So I'm telling you now, these are kind of, these are limited edition deals. For gemstones, for a gemstone, I should say, which really, honestly, truthfully, it's a miracle we've got this at all. I'm going to take the oval out of shot just for a sec. And I've got a couple of slides I just want to show you. Just in case Tanzanite is a new one to you, just in case we need to jog our memories. So the Adage colour is king applies to Tanzanite just as it does to all colour gemstones. It's the single most important value factor when talking about ruby. You hear descriptions like pigeon blood red, blah, 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 blah. Tanzanite is no different. And colour plays a huge role in the grading exercise. You're looking there at a GIA chart of colour. Colour saturation and hue, tone saturation and hue with, uh, with Tanzanite. The top left hand corner, not really what you want. The bottom right hand corner, not really what you want. The one with the box round it, which is kind of a third of the way up on the right hand side, that would be classed as your quad A quality. I, I personally don't think we've got quad A quality here. I, I, in fact, can I, can I be honest with you? I've only ever seen one quad A tanzanite. Okay, that's how rare they are in all my kind of 15 years of presenting uh, gemstone, bringing gemstones to you. What I believe we've got, I think is on the same line as that quad A, but if you go all the way over to the left-hand side and then back in one, that's what I think we've got, color-wise. You look at that and you look at the color here. Okay, I think we're all, we're all, yeah, in agreement there. Now have a little look at the opening of this article. Tanzanite is Africa's real blue diamond. This article was written in October last year, so it's very, very current. If rarity boosts a gemstone's value, Tanzanite, which is mined from just one source, could be prized for that fact alone. Mine is extracted all of the world's Tanzanite from an eight square mile area near Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. In contrast, people find diamonds also seen as rare in over 30 countries across multiple continents. There you go. You are looking at something here which is arguably a thousand times rarer than a diamond. That's pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to offer to you today, oh, if you got that other PowerPoint, maybe let's have a quick look. Yeah. You've got here a cabochon cut round. Now, cabochon cutting is one of the earliest types of gem cutting. And according to historical records, mines in the late 14th century found agates not far from the tiny towns of Ida and Oberstein and began to cut them into cabochons and sculptures. Hence why Ida Oberstein is where it is, you know, you know why, why it is the gem faceting capital of the world. The actual history of the industry uh, there probably predates the existing records of it. So predating kind of the 14th century. Cabochon cutting is all about getting light into the gemstone and trapping it there. In contrast to that, a faceted gemstone on the right hand side is all about getting the light into the gemstone, refracting it from the internal facets and getting the light out of the gem back into your eye. Whereas with a cabochon, you really want to trap that light within the stone. Helps to magnify all that incredible colour. Now, there are many designers out there who utilize cabochon cutting, Bulgari being one of the main players. Bulgari do do faceted gemstones, but they mainly deal with cabochon cut gems. But we're talking cabochon, you know, the finest cabochon cut, blue topaz, ruby, rubellite, amethyst, uh, emerald, and tanzanite. Twice a year, Bulgari unveils beautiful collections of high, uh, of high jewelry, these one-of-a-kind pieces celebrate the Italian sense of la dolce vita. Embracing colour and exuberant designs in each piece is handcrafted at Bulgari's Ateliers in Rome. Bulgari is known for its use of cabochons 
and they're cut and they're polished, not faceted, and they evoke the curves of Roman architecture. Um, hence why they use so many of those gorgeous cabochon cuts. It's meant to emulate the domes of the Basilica and the Pantheon, etc., etc. Now, the deal we're going to offer you today for over four and a, let's have a look at those names, Neri, because I know that we're going to have <coughs> a number of you there with these in baskets. Now, let's just start the bus. Let's just start off showing you a price, okay? $19.99. Now, cabochons, Monica, depending on what your specialism is, what kind of, you know, whether you're a guest designer or whether you've been making jewelry for three months or three weeks or three decades, everybody will do something slightly different with them. When you see cabochons, what do you, what's your first kind of thought of how to use them? Well, obviously, my first thought is to bezel them with seed beads. Absolutely. And actually, the 12 o'clock necklace we've got, these would be perfect for the middle of the 12 o'clock necklace. So if you, oh you know, I mean, imagine with all white seed beads and just have that in the One center. tanzanite. Oh, that would be, that would be amazing. So I, I think you're absolutely right. Putting this one tanzanite in the middle of the necklace that, um, that we've got coming up in the 12 o'clock hour, so replacing the Rivoli and putting the Tanzanite yes. in there, yes. my gosh, you are going to make a piece which is going to stand the test of time and then some. If I asked guest designer Claire McDonald, she'd probably say gallery wire yeah. uh, or bezel strip. Yeah. If I asked... Uh, Alison would probably say something like claw setting. Claw setting, absolutely. Or, or some sort of elaborate wire work around Absolutely. It. Yeah. There are so many ways in which you can set them. Do cabochon gems, do cabochon setting, does it have a value? Well, absolutely. Bulgari have literally made a mint out of it, out of cabochon setting. I mean, you can set it in silver clay <coughs> as well. Yes. Uh, as a proper ring setting. Yes. Um, I mean, there's so much. I mean, we had uh, an entry in the Wall of Fame with Soutache today. That's the yes. great thing about cabochons, that they're flat on the back. So yeah, there's so many things you can use them for, including things like uh, Soutache as well. For sure. And then coupled with all of that, Sandra's got two, Penny, Hilda, Maker, Maker in Surrey, Cheshire, another Maker there, well done. But Co all, Sorry to interrupt. Not at all. But if you're a, a very, very, very beginner mm. and you purchase one of these cabochons and mm. you think, what on earth am I going to do with this? Mm -hmm. I'm not skilled enough to do bezeling or wire setting or soutache or whatever. I'm just starting out. So what are you going to do with it? Well, you can just take a butterfly back from an oh, earring. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you unroll one of the little loops and you glue it on the back and that's your bail done. It's a pendant. And it's a pendant. You're yes. so right, Monica. Thank you so much for that. You're absolutely right. Just getting that butterfly back, unfurling one of the loops, gluing yeah. it onto the back of the cabochon. You've literally, you've literally made yourself a pendant. It's yeah. so simple. Now you can see here on this design, you know, the way the cabochons are set with diamonds, with 18 karat gold, absolutely beautiful. Oh. Um, the deal we're going to offer you today is absolutely ludicrous. And I do mean ludicrous. The fact that you've got a cabochon cut gemstone, the fact that it's got that really beautiful, prestigious historical setting, uh, um, historical cut, the fact that it's got that really gorgeous rounded top on it, the fact that you've got a really generous carat weight, you know, you're literally looking here at a 4.65 carat tanzanite. Incredible. Incredible because this beautiful gemstone, where this gemstone is mined now, is literally surrounded by a 12 foot wall. And you cannot get in or out without being, without being searched. The mine is now, the mining area, I should say, is now owned by the Tanzanian government. And of course, what that means is, is they don't necessarily want anybody to go in there and stake a claim and start mining for this gemstone. They certainly don't want um, uh, the likes of us to be able to get gemstones from that mining area at competitive prices. This would have been bought many, many, many years ago, maybe up to kind of, uh, up to kind of um, 10, 12 years ago. Getting to the gemstone area, mining area now, getting to the mine now is a very different story to what it used to be. And being able to bring you this gemstone at competitive prices now is becoming harder 
and harder and harder. Yorkshire's just taken two. We're at 12.99. 12.99 for over four and a half carats of genuine gem quality gradable tanzanite. <coughs> and we're not done. Not done. We have got one more price for you coming up in one minute's time. Cheryl in Yorkshire, Maker in Oxfordshire, Dorset, Surrey, Dawn, Maker, Sandra has got two. Ma Marie's got two in South Yorkshire. Well done to you as well, my lovely. Loads more people coming through. Congratulations, well done. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say that the quality of Tanzanite we've got today is of this level, right here from first dibs. That's a 240 grand uh, uh, pendant you've got there. I mean, that's absolutely unbelievable. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is it of this kind of quality here? A gorgeous Tanzanite bead and diamond necklace there, 12,000 pounds. I would say oh. ours is of that quality and it's a darn sight better than that quality there for 849 pounds. The quality you are getting here, the colors you are getting here, the size and individual carat weights you are getting here are so super striking and is yours today, not for 12, no, we're going lower. Sandra's got uh, three now, Baker in Oxfordshire. Well done to you, this feels so wrong, but my gosh, it is so good. It's yours today, congratulations everybody, well done. Go, 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 well done. 9.99 for 4.65 carats of the most amazing genuine tanzanite. That is absolutely incredible. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Go, 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 go. There's loads of you there. Hilda's just bought two. Well done to you. The quality, look at it. The size, the shape of what you are getting here. Warwickshire, Mariska, Dawn, well done to you as well. Hilda's got two. Well done to you. Deborah's got two. Well done to you. Staffordshire's just bought two. Whether it's earrings, cufflinks, a ring, a pendant, whatever it might be, absolutely fantastic. It is just incredible. Genuine tanzanite should never be this price point. Not when it's this kind of quality, where it's, this, it's got this level of colour, where it's got this beautiful translucency, and where it's got this amazing individual carrot weight as well. That's absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? If you are looking for that ultimate piece, I would get two of these. I'd get two of these gorgeous capuchins. I'd glue them back to back, and I'd surround the middle by uh, gallery wire, and you'd have a lovely pendant which would just roll around yes. on your decal top. Beautiful. That would be absolutely gorgeous, wouldn't it? Beautiful. How yes. gorgeous would that be? Congratulations, everybody. Well done. What a deal. My gosh. Okay, one more. One more cab. Now this is one of the three birthstones of December. Um, it's also known as the gemstone, uh, the one generational gemstone. It was only discovered in the late 1960s, uh, 1967. Launched by Tiffany's in 1969. And it is believed by many gem experts to be <coughs> mined at a point now, which is over a kilometer down. <coughs> and we've seen it happen with the Argar mine. Still diamonds left in the ground, but they can't get to them. It's too expensive to get to them. And with Tanzanite mining, the same might apply. Might apply within the next few years. Who knows? Okay, this is where we're starting today. Where we're starting. How low do you think we're going? How low do you think we're going, Sandria? Warwickshire, Surrey. How many of this one do we have, Neary? <clears throat> now, I'll be honest with you. If we've got 150 of these, I'll be honest with you. I'm never going to be able to afford... I'm never going to be able to afford this piece of jewellery. Sorry, can I have the clicker, please? I'm never going to be able to afford this piece of jewellery, ever. Very few people could. I mean, that's like a house, yeah? And I'm never going to be able to afford that. And I'm probably never going to be in the market for that. If I had 850 pounds, I would not be buying that. I'd be buying all my stuff from Jewelry Maker and making something whew, significantly more beautiful. But I tell you what, every single person watching this morning, every single one of you, can afford this Tanzanite today. Has anyone ever said that on Jewelry Maker? 
This is argu oh hello. This is arguably the most not even arguably. This is the most affordable tanzanite we have ever bought you on Jewelry Maker. This oh hello, would you just stay there? This is going to be the most affordable tanzanite we have ever bought you on Jewelry Maker. $9.99. Absolutely terrific. Amazing, incredible, go for it, well done. It's not your price. Oh, wow. <laughs> for Tanzanite. Now, $9.99 is the most affordable price point we've ever done for Tanzanite on Jewelry Maker. We're about to go even lower. So every single one of you watching, put it in your basket, check out. If you're happy to pay less than £10 for an oval 7 by 9 millimeter, two and three quarter carat Tanzanite, just shove it in your basket. Check out as quickly as you can. This is the most affordable Tanzanite deal we have ever bought to air. Absolutely amazing. Sandra bought five, oh, sorry, she bought three. Now she's got five. Maker, Cheshire, County Durham, Warwick, she's got seven in the basket. Believe you and I, you're gonna want more than seven in your basket. Ready? The most affordable Tanzanite deal you will ever see on Jewelry Maker. It's a fiver. What? <laughs> Five pounds for a gemstone, which is a thousand times rarer than a diamond. For a gemstone where the chance of mining this gemstone, finding this gemstone anywhere else in the world is about a million to one due to the really unusual geological conditions under which this incredible gemstone formed. It's absolutely terrific. Marishka's bought six. Fantastic, well done to you. Sandra is up to order to eight. Penny, Karen, well done to you. Julian Bedfordshire, Kent's just bought two. Well done to you. We're at $4.99. Now, Monica, I know that these are ovals, but surely there must be a way to set them in that gorgeous necklace that you've made there with all of those gorgeous stations and use yeah. a tanzanite in the middle of each one of those stations. Yeah, working the same way as, <coughs> as the round. And the instructions that I've written uh, it should oh work gosh. for that tanzanite as well can you imagine that wow and i mean this necklace has got uh, i think it's got 11 rivalies in it all together yeah even if all of those were one of those tanzanites you still wouldn't even be paying 55 pounds for the whole lot yeah <laughs> absolutely absolutely it's crazy. just incredible 4.99 the most affordable tanzanite we have ever bought you on jewelry maker do you understand what that means the very first time we launched Tanzanite, it was a strand of nuggets, which was about this long. Yes, I remember. Whatever that is. And it was $24.99. And I was absolutely spitting feathers. I couldn't believe we've done it. We've just taken a Tanzanite cabbage, a gem quality Tanzanite cabbage, down to five pounds. Take it away. Hasn't sold out. Why? I've got no idea. That is absolutely crazy. <coughs> <coughs> Incredible. Well done. Right. All right. What are we doing? Okay, gotta to go to a very quick break. When we come back, got the most amazing, amazing, amazing nine o'clock hour, gorgeous projects, beautiful colors. Uh, beautiful colors, we've got all of that coming up after the break, do not go anywhere. And we're an hour away from our incredible mountain jade as well, we'll see you in a couple of seconds. I get to bring uh, to all of you the Jadeite Zodiac box. Now this, I'm going to be honest, is a passion project for me. This is something that is quite selfish. You know, I put this together because I want to own it. Um, many years ago when I started dealing in Jadeite, I noticed that all my friends who are Jadeite dealers and multi-generational Jadeite dealers all had a Zodiac collection. You know, all of the 12 iterations of the Zodiac carved into Jade. And I thought, oh, okay, that's the badge of honor for a Jade collector. And it is. So I began, uh, every time I went to the Far East, I'd buy a piece, you know, whether it be the carved monkey or maybe the ox or the rat. And I, I had about three or four. And then my friend Bernard, who's been in the industry for about 30 years, turned to me and said, throw them away. You know, sell them back into the industry because what you're not building is a collection. And he explained to me the reality of building a Zodiac collection is like getting a, a royal flush in poker. You need them all to be the same suit. What he means by that is, all the jade needs to match. The style needs to match, the size needs to match. There's no point just having a mixed assortment. Even if you get all 12, the collection is undesirable, it's deemed incomplete. And that's why a true Zodiac collection, you know, for, for the right colors, for the right size, 
usually takes a few generations to complete. In fact, it's something that's usually passed down from father to son. Maybe the father collected three, the son then takes uh, the torch and continues, and maybe then even passes it down to his son. We've worked tirelessly to put together a complete collector series, and this might be the first time in the UK that one becomes available in one foul swoop, and more importantly, affordably. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order, and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com, where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. I have given Monica the option not to sit next to me and she said she didn't mind. It's all right. I promised I wouldn't kiss her or anything. So. <laughs> Got it. I probably have something too because I keep catching everything from my son. <laughs> so. Oh, lovely. It's so good to see you. Yes. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Netted collar instructions. Oh gosh, you do, you do go that extra mile. Just the 24 steps. 24 steps. Oh no, I thought it was double sided, hang on. Oh yes, yes, look. 24 stages. Well, this is the short one, right? Till you see the bottom clock one. Yes, I know, yes. <laughs> um, this is such a lovely design. Um, love these projects. I, I tell you what, I love the beads that you've been given to work with here. They're just so, they're so different, aren't they? 
They're so large. They are, and they're sparkly. I love sparkle. It's yeah, sparkle. hex beads. Hex beads have got a real knack of doing that, haven't they? They really do reflect the light beautifully. And you've got two different sizes of them here, haven't you? Yeah, yes, which is unusual as well. I mean, um, because these are more like delicas, really. Um, yeah. And the larger size delicas are, are quite unusual, actually. We don't have them often. No. So you've got six O's and 11 O's. Is that well, right? Well, the six O's are not hex ones. Six O's are planes in the, in the other oh. project. In this project, we've got, I think they're eight O. Oh my gosh. Six, I can't remember. I oh, think wow. They, I think they're eight O because the six O in the delicas is, is pretty huge. Yes. Yes, um, I can imagine. <laughs> So, Gorgeous design. They're beautiful colours, aren't they? They are. And the, and the colour of the seed beads goes so well with the gemstone. It's Doesn't made, it? In, in both of the colourways, actually. Now, I would love to sit here and bring you projects and strands of watermelon tourmaline. I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that. But watermelon tourmaline is an incredibly rare variety of tourmaline it's just it is so beautiful it is literally exactly the colors you are getting here in these rounds um so with the lack of watermelon tourmaline we've got the most gorgeous dyed watermelon solar quartz this is beautiful. such gorgeous stuff to work with I love those rosy colours going through there, um, uh, Monica. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Yes, those are my Stormtrooper earrings. <laughs> oh my gosh, they totally are. Oh, I love it. I made them, I thought, oh, that looks like a Stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> because we're busy watching Star Wars with my son. So that kind of <laughs> Honestly, though, they're really lovely. Is it just one of those weaves that kind of just adapted and just grew and you stopped and went, oh, yes, I do like those. Oh, hang on a minute. It doesn't like a Stormtrooper. But they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Yeah, I love them. I, I quite like the sort of the geometric feel that the, the cut, um, the hex cut seed beads give it. You know, it's not, um, it's a different look to uh, to the round seed beads. Yeah. Gorgeous. Uh, so we've got these two, uh, we've got two projects to do first of all. Which one are we going to do first, Neri? That's that one. Yeah, that's that one. Right, okay. First of all, have a look at your strand of, oh my gosh, this, these are so lovely. Got gorgeous clarity, beautiful color going through them. It is that perfect watermelon color combination, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, they're gorgeous. And I think those two colors that you see in there, sort of the burgundy and the green, I, I really love those two colors together. I'm not normally a fan of green, but when you put it with that um, burgundy, it, it kind of takes on a whole different uh, feel, I think. It really does, doesn't it? Now, solar quartz, I believe, is a variety of quartz that um, is sliced from uh, stalactites. Mm -hmm. And you get, you know when you get a stalactite or a stalagmite, um, and you get the outside and it kind of, and it, you, you, you will literally slice it like that. So you get cross sections. So the, you will get these natural, gorgeous kind of inclusions, which are, if you were to put them all together, they'd look like concentric circles, really. It's a really gorgeous variety of quartz. It's dyed to give it this gorgeous kind of bicolored watermelon quality which is exactly what your watermelon tourmaline is it's absolutely gorgeous you then get two loads of your seed beads you get your delicas in eight o's which are these gorgeous raspberry colored ones here which match that color absolutely perfectly yeah. that gorgeous yeah. rosy red I mean, you can't get any closer in color to that no really. <laughs> you literally can't because even because the a b coating you're getting on that delica as yeah. well it's got a slight green tinge to absolutely, it as well yes, so it's yes. exactly it's yes. exactly the right color perfect you then get these. These are gorgeous, um, acidic um, uh, hex beads, aren't they? In 11 O's. They are absolutely that, gorgeous. That one, and in the tube, it looks quite yellow, but when you start using it, it becomes a little bit more greeny. It does. So it's actually almost exactly the color of sort of the background color in the gemstones. Yeah, it's much more of a kind of like a chartreuse kind of yes. color, isn't it? It's like a green. It, it, there is a yellow in there, obviously, but it is a little bit more green when you see them like that. They're just gorgeous. Ties in beautifully with the red, ties in beautifully with the gorgeous uh, watermelon solar quartz. Uh, they're six mil rounds, by the way, the solar quartz. Absolutely gorgeous quality. Um, plus, you also get your netted collar. 
sorry, your netted collar uh, tuition as well, which includes 24 stages, 24 stages of tuition, which is absolutely incredible. It really genuinely is. This is time, this is effort. These are mistakes that have been learnt from as well yeah, with you know all of these instructions and this is just fantastic you know Monica and you know the other guest designers that we have here on Jewelry Maker have got decades worth of knowledge and and experience in making jewellery so to get even just a tiny I mean to get a demo is fantastic but then to get instructions as well so you can take it so you can get your project home download your pdf I would definitely print it off and then, of course, you can make along if you write the name of the uh, write the date of the show that it was on yeah. on your instructions there. Make along with Monica, uh, the quality, the, just just what you are getting here, the power and the knowledge that that is going to bestow upon you is absolutely amazing. We're at seventy nine ninety nine. Now, I can't even say if this was watermelon tourmaline because I'm never going to be able to bring you a strand of watermelon tourmaline that looks anything like that. Strands of watermelon tourmaline, never. I've bought you, not even on Jewelry Maker, I've seen loose gems of watermelon tourmaline. That's all I've ever seen, okay? Never gonna be able to bring you bicolored uh, watermelon tourmaline in a strand. Never gonna be able to bring it to you as kind of like a, you know, an ordinary uh, kind of showcase. What you've got here is bigger and it's the next best thing. And it's not gonna be 70, 79.99 is absolutely incredible look at the way the colors merge oh, together so beautifully it's gorgeous isn't it really really stunning i love those rosy colors i love the marbling of the uh, green going through there it's quite floral isn't it it's very green, much yeah. so yes it's got those kind of almost like pressed flower kind of confetti yes. kind of qualities about it and it is to do with the unusual way in which this quartz forms because it for forms like a stalactite or like a stalagmite, you get a different kind of structure. So this isn't like your clear quartz, the way that clear quartz um, uh, um, uh, forms in these long kind of uh, shaft-like uh, kind of deposits. It's very, very different. So you get a different kind of character to the gemstone. I know it's dyed, but you get a different character within it. 39.99 for your incredible solar quartz today and your two loads of gorgeous, well, your uh, delicas, your Ato delicas. And your 11 hex beads. When was the last time you saw 11, sorry, I beg your pardon, 8 o delicas? That really oh, is. I can't remember. That's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> but also, going back to the, the gemstone as well. Yeah. The dyed gemstones. Often, when you get dyed gemstones, it's really sort of the bright, yes. harsher colours, which is a little is fine, bit garish sometimes. Kind of, if that's the kind of jewellery you want to make. But some people don't like that. So, this yes. is like a really down to earth. I mean, if, if somebody didn't tell you this was dyed, you would never know. It's a gorgeous alternative, isn't it? It is. It, it, it's really well Because as uh, you say, well it done. gives you a much more subtle, a much more subtle dyed quality. It gives you a much more truthful dyed quality. It looks, I mean, it, if, if, if somebody said to you, that is a really rare bicolored quartz, you go, oh yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. It looks natural. That's, that's it looks it looks natural. natural yeah. You're absolutely right. Seven seconds, we're taking the price point down even lower. Congratulations, everybody, well done. These are limited edition projects, just to let you know, so get them as soon as you can. Here we go, my lovelies, 39.99, absolutely terrific, but we're gonna go even lower for you today. Well done. Here we go. All the way down, 29 pounds and 99 pence. Amazing deal for you today. Congratulations, everybody, well done. Go, 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 what an opportunity. And it might be one of the first opportunities that you've ever had to work with hex beads or to work with the larger delicas as well. I can't remember yeah. ever bringing you a kit with large Ato delicas in like this. This might be your first opportunity to ever work with um, uh, beads like this, um, seed beads like this. So do add it onto your order. Well done. Devon's got two as well. Fantastic. Well done to you. Go, go, go. Well done. We're not done. Don't forget the 24 stage instruction booklet that you're also going to be getting with this as well this is absolutely incredible the knowledge the gems and you know different gems you know really really different looking uh, uh gemstone strands for you today and of course really unusual seed bead qualities as well they're gorgeous like, they look like hex beads don't they they are hex beads but the, well, what, hex, even hex the red hex ones hex. yeah they're not just delicas no because I was looking at them thinking they look like hex beads. No, these are both, both sizes are hex cut. Goodness me. Yeah. 
So you're getting that gorgeous sparkle across both of them as well, which is absolutely fantastic. $29.99, not your deal. Yeah, you can see it, can't you? Sorry, I was just going off the details we had on the screen there, which I think describe them as Ato Delicas. There you go. £19.99. pence. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh, that's absolutely ridiculous. Wow. Look at that. I mean, Amazing. I mean, yes, this is the instructions that I've written up, but that doesn't mean that this is what you have to make with it, obviously. Absolutely I mean, not. Even if you, if, if you put the size 11s aside and mm. you just made a, a stretchy necklace even, just with the gemstones, with the larger beads of spaces, yeah. I mean, you're never going to find a, a closer colour bead to use as a spacer in between that that gemstone absolutely um, beautiful. it is literally like it's been cut from the same from the same yeah. gem isn't it absolutely amazing 19 pounds 99 pence staffordshire london lincolnshire kent renfrewshire warwickshire greater manchester devon derbyshire north yorkshire london norfolk angus russia uh hertfordshire congratulations well done to you as well absolutely amazing and um, it's interesting isn't it whenever we have a new bead it's always interesting to see what our uh, what guest designer's reaction is and Monica's reaction to the hex beads is exactly the same as um, guest designer Alison's. Both, but you know, you both of whom cannot get enough yeah. of the gorgeous hex beads. Yeah. They give you that lovely delicate shape, but they give you so much more sparkle. They really, genuinely do. They are. They they really pack a punch. And you know, whether it's in the eleven O's or the eight O's, they're absolutely perfect. Bristol, well done to you as well. Lovely Nancy, Michelle. Now, of course, the two projects here are totally interchangeable next one again you get the knitted collar tuition which by the way will be um, uploaded to your account in the form of a pdf uh, when your project is dispatched just to let you know okay now here oh gosh what have you got here these 11o's those, those are 11o hex cut beads yeah again. wow and then the in a navy yeah. blue and that's that's like a Oh, what's the colour called now? Ah, maybe blue iris, that's it. Ah. So it's not just a flat blue, it's it's also got the greens in there, it's got it's got some of the burgundy in there as well. So mm. you can see Gosh, flashes. yeah, you can see the greens and burgundies in yeah. there, yeah. And then you've got, oh my gosh, these are amazing. 60 Mayuki yellow 60 seed beads. They're kind of crystal with that gorgeous kind of fluorescent uh kind of yellow um uh lining going through that. Yeah. Again though against the green against the red against that gorgeous blue iris it does calm them down a lot doesn't it it does it does i mean you can see in the bracelets i've made um i love that bracelet also, the good thing is you don't have to change anything on the pattern to make a bracelet i've just used it okay. exactly the same uh obviously i've made it shorter than the necklace but mm -hmm. um you don't sometimes with some designs some designs won't curve so you have to change Gosh. it for a necklace but for this one you can either uh, use it straight for a bracelet or you can use it uh, oh that's awesome that's really awesome. Do you know what? It looks so different, doesn't well, it? I was just um, going to say, it looks so different with the, with the six O's rather than the, the hex cut eight Doesn't eight. it just? Works works beautifully there, it really does, but the two designs look completely different. They really do. It's amazing, isn't it? Just by shifting that size yeah. ever so slightly, how different it can look. And you've still got the same quality of the gorgeous solar quartz there as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Here we go, my lovelies. Devon and Warwickshire already through. Well done, great to see. Congratulations, well done. Here we go. This very much is, and I think it's because you're getting so many, because you're getting great components. You're getting the hex beads, you're getting the gorgeous gemstones, you're getting the very, very large seed beads as well. That really, if you are looking at these two projects and going, do you know what, the price is so low, I may as well take these projects apart, even if you use them across four or five different projects and you don't use any of them together that's absolutely fine you don't have to be under the pressure don't put the pressure on yourself to use everything together yeah. if you can see a use for these i mean i'd love to see some gorgeous peyote with the hex beads just to see what it yes, would look the, like the two size 11 hex beads yes. yellow, yellow and the blue that would look amazing I, it would look gorgeous i'd love to see a gorgeous kind of ombre uh necklace or bracelets using the watermelon solar quartz you know not using any of the seed beads at all yeah. so if you want to split them up into different projects because the price is so affordable because the components are so individually awesome you may as well do that 19.99 my gosh that's absolutely amazing northamptonshire is there well done to you check out my lovelies go 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 um, and if I was to put another gemstone with the solar quartz, I'd definitely put garnet. I'd definitely yes. go with emerald, yes. uh, road light garnet for sure. You know, there's lots that will go with these palettes as well, Absolutely. isn't there? 
fantastic. What are you going to show us then, I'm lovely? I'm going to show you uh, the necklace technique because it's really simple. Yeah, and nice. And I always think some people learn from reading, some people learn from watching. So it's nice to have uh, mm. both. Also, if you following the written pattern and you get stuck on something, you can always watch the video back there. Gorgeous. That was my thinking. So it's really simple. I'm not using the hex cut um, 11 seed beads only because one of them in the kit is a very light color and the other one is a very dark color, mm. neither of which show up on screen. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just got some rose gold, um, normal 11 seed beads here for the demo. And I'm going to use the sort of the reddish hex cut uh, size eight beads. Let me, should I shift over a bit? There we go. There you go. Right. Perfect. So uh, you need a beading needle, obviously. Now, these are all quite large seed beads, and you're not going through them too many times. So a size 10 needle will be perfectly fine. And any of your wildfire or fire line, I've got a 10 pound uh, fire line here. So any mm. of these will work. Um, I wouldn't use maybe a, a four pound, because if it's, if it's too thin, it kind of loses the structure a little bit. Um, so anything from sort of six pound fire line, but all your wildfires, all of that will work. So obviously, depending on what you're making, it will depend on how much thread you need. If you use sort of two full arm lengths, that should be enough to make the necklace. Um, so it, it doesn't use up a huge amount of thread. And then I've put a stopper bead on uh, and you need to leave a bit of a tail, but just enough. Well, it depends again on what you're making, because for the necklace, I've said to leave a longer tail because I've, I've done a small section, which is just threading on some beads uh, yeah. around the back. Uh, but for a bracelet, you just need enough of a tail uh, to sort of attach a clasp at the end okay so it depends on what you're making again so it's a really simple netting technique basically should i shift over a little bit more maybe like that. there you are right so you're going to put your stopper bead on now you're going to start by um threading on 18 of your 11 o seed beads three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, okay? Then what you're gonna do, bring them down to your stop bead, and then you're gonna count back from my needle, I'm gonna count back 12 beads. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And I'm gonna go through this 12th bead here. So I should have six left up to my stop bead Okay. There. So I'm gonna go through this one, I'm gonna go through it backwards. So not around in a circle, I'm going through it back towards my stop bead, okay? So you've got this little loop like that, okay? Now I'm gonna pick up five beads. Now you'll see in a minute, I'll explain a bit more later. Uh, this is a, I don't know how you would say it, it's a, it's a, it's a five bead based netting, I guess is the best way uh, to yeah, say it. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you're gonna pick up five beads almost every time. <laughs> okay. Almost every time. <laughs> Five's right. a good number though, because you can kind of see five, you don't have to count five, Absolutely, which yes. is quick. And <laughs> most importantly for netting, it's got a middle bead. Yes. So it doesn't work with four beads or six beads. Okay. It'll work with seven if you wanted to make it bigger, obviously. But Don't confuse um, it, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> just stick Let's to your just five. Let's go with five, okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to go through this bead that's closest to my stopper bead, okay? Also, I'm again, I'm going towards the stopper bead. Right, so now, if you can imagine, because I picked up five beads here, I had six left there, but I went through the one at the end, so I've got five beads on the both sides yep. of that loop there, okay? Now I'm going to flip it over that way. I'm going to load up five beads again. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Neri in my ear is talking about loading things, which is why I said load on five beads. But <laughs> At least it was the right kind of word. It was. It still fits it, didn't oh, it? it? Could have been, could have been pick dreadful. Up five beads. <laughs> <laughs> now, <coughs> if I ignore your stopper bead, so this bead that I'm coming out <coughs> here, that that five that I picked up there, as I said before, has got a middle bead. So you don't count this bead I'm coming out of. You count up the one side and you go to the third bead, which is the middle one in that five beads, okay? And I'm gonna go through there. Now, you, if your thread loosens up like that, just hold onto your work, hold onto the loop that you've just done, and then hold your beads tight and then pull it tight like that, okay? At the moment, that doesn't look like anything, but don't worry about it, that's about right, okay? Now we're gonna start with the larger beads. Now, as I said before, you're picking up five beads usually, but you have to count your larger beads as two because obviously it's about twice the size of your size 11. It's beads. huge next to it, isn't it? So now you need to pick up five beads. So I'm going to pick up one large one, yep. one small one, and one large one. So that's the same as if I were picking up five seed beads. Okay. Okay. And now again, I'm coming out of this bead here. I'm going to count along 
my one, two, the third one is the crossover bead. Yeah. I've got both my threads going on, uh, going through. Then I'm going to count along into the third one after that. So one, two, three. So I've got two beads loose in between. Okay, so not the crossover bead, but the third one after the crossover bead, and that's the one I'm going to go through. Okay. Mm. Like that. Now this is where I'm going to add the sort of the dangly bits. <laughs> The dangly bits of my of your necklace or your or your bracelet. Now, obviously, you can vary the length of that. If you wanted to make it longer, you can make it longer. I've just gone with and this is why I said mostly five beads because in this case I've gone with six. I could have gone with five to make it easier, but I decided to be more complicated, so I went with six. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then I picked up one of the large beads and a gemstone and then a size eleven again. So as I say, this can be absolutely any combination. The section here at the bottom. Uh, depending on how long you want your little dangles to be. For the bracelet, I made it a bit shorter. I only picked up four beads, but for the necklace, I went with six. Then you're going to turn around. You're going to skip over this bead, which is going to act as your stopper. And uh -huh. You're going to go back through the gemstone, back through the larger bead, and back through um, four of your seed beads. So you don't want to go through the last two. You just want to go through the first four. If you only had four beads here, you'd only go through two. So leave the last two free and go back through the rest of them okay then you pull it tight the easiest way to do that is hold on to the little seed bead at the end of your gemstone and then you can pull it tight like the that tip okay yeah so now we want to mirror this section here on the next one so we're going to pick up three seed beads and one of our large ones so now remember that counts as five again because yeah. your large one is two and then we're going to go through the seed bead that is in between my two large beads here Okay, which would be the middle of the yep. five beads if that was a five bead section. Okay, right now for the oh, next one, lovely. we're going to pick up a large bead and then three small ones. Okay, which is your combination of five again, essentially. And now we're going to go through. Um, can you see this bead here, which is just after your large beads? Okay, that's your crossover bead from the from the sort of the round before. So you're going to count from there and you're going to count, not, not including that one, you're going to go one, two, three. So the third one down, not including the crossover bead. Okay, so that's going to be your next little section there. So you can see that little cross happening there with your larger beads. Okay, so now it's five small beads again to turn around. Three, four, five. And then again, now you're going to go through this bead here, which is just before your large bead. Okay, so it's the one that's right next to your larger bead. Gorgeous. And then again, your, if your thread pulls loose, just pull this loop that you've just made to tighten up all your beads, hold on to them, and then pull your working thread, and that will <sighs> tighten it all up like that. Okay? Now we're going to jump over the large beads, again with five small beads. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Now we're going to go into the bead that is just after the large beads. Okay, so here we went mm -hmm. through the one that's just before. Now we're going to go into the one that's just after all of your large beads. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now basically we want to mirror that this big so loop nice. here. So now we're just going to pick up eight. So this is why I said almost everywhere, because in this case we're picking up eight. Five, six, seven, eight. I could explain why it's eight, but that makes it too mathsy. So don't worry about that. Just pick up eight. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm just about clinging on. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be your loop that turns <coughs> back. So again, the bead that you're coming out of, you don't want to count that one. You want to count back and go through the third one, counting backwards. Okay. And again, you can just pull your loop a bit tighter. Just You want to just keep an eye on the tension because you don't want any thread showing. And because you're going through beads that you've just added, the thread pulls loose quite easily. So you want to keep your tension nice and tight. And then we pick up five more beads again, three, four, five. And then again, counting from the crossover bead, so you don't include that one, you're going to count one, two, three beads down, and you're going to the third one, coming downwards. Right, and that, that makes one full component. So that's your earring finish. Oh, that looks awesome, All that's for the earrings is then I, I threaded on five more beads again, and then I tied a knot between the two threads. So that gave me a little loop at the top and I can attach a, a shepherd hook to that. If you want to carry on for a necklace, then you're going to carry on the same as what you did here. So again, I'll show you a little bit more. So again, five beads. I'm going to go a bit faster this time. Three, four, five. 
count three into the third bead, excluding the one that you're coming out of. So you never count the crossover bead that you're coming out, or the bead that you're coming out of, or the crossover bead when you're ca counting from there on. Okay, and then again, we're going to start our cross section here. So yeah. a large bead, a small bead, a large bead, and again, don't count the crossover bead that's here. Count from there, and you go into the third one down. Okay. Then we're going to add our dangle at the bottom, which is six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a large bead. And then a gemstone. And then a small bead. And then you're going to ignore that last small bead that you added on. And you're going to go back through the gemstone, the large bead, and four of your seed beads. Okay, pull that tight. So once you get into the rhythm and you start seeing how the pattern works, it's actually quite quick. So one, two, three, and then you're one, and then you go through the one that's in the middle. So for the first few components, you'll probably be following along the pattern every time, but eventually you start but to after sort of the first one, you're just doing half, aren't you, really? Mm, well, not re well, yes, I guess, because uh, the, the previous one is already attached yeah. to it. Um, but eventually, I mean, it's only about four or five passes, is it four or maybe even three yeah. passes up and down to make one component. Uh -huh. So it kind of sticks in your brain quite quickly. Yes. Um, and then once you realize what to do, I mean, I'm good with numbers, but I'm really bad at remembering numbers, <laughs> <laughs> which is why I like things like this, where it's oh, five every time. You know, because you don't have to remember, okay, I've got to put eight here, I've got to put seven here, I've got to yes, put six yes. there. So that one eight, which is that this middle bottom turn, that one is easy enough to remember. Mm -hmm. And then everything else, you just got to think five all the time. All right, so now I'm jumping over the big ones. So that's five beads again. That's all awesome. Five over to the bottom. And, and is it 24 of those mini components that you've made? On the necklace? Yeah, I think it's 24, oh. is it? I've tried to count them. I, I, just, I just carried on, I, I put aside, uh, this is all in the instructions as well. So I put aside 10 of the gemstones yes. to do the sort of the back section. Ah, right, okay. Um, I mean, you could do the netting all the way around, but I, I find it sits better if, mm. if there's just gemstones at the back. So I put aside five of the gemstones and then I carried on with a necklace until I ran out of gemstones. Oh, perfect. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. It's a good rule of thumb. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do a smaller section if you wanted to. Mm. Uh, you could do it all the way around, as I say. Um, so now I'm at the section where I'm picking up my eight beads. Seven, eight. Turning back to... Uh, where am I coming? Am I in the right place? Yes, I am. So not counting the bead I'm coming out of. One, two, three. Into there. And actually, it's quite forgiving because um, afterwards, I noticed that there's a couple of places in the necklace where I've gone through the wrong bead in my netting. Right. Um, but I didn't have time to fix it. But actually, um, I challenge you to find it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't think I will be able to find that. Uh, right. And that's my second component. That's up. gorgeous. And then you just repeat. You know, Do you know, I think it is one of those um, weaves that people will pick up quite quickly. And you'll, yes, yeah. you'll follow the instructions for the first three or four, maybe, and then you'll literally be off. It actually looks, if you're looking at it this way up, it looks like a, it looks like a crown. It does look like a crown. That's yeah. exactly what I was thinking. It's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. No Thank problem. you. Oh, and just if any, in, in case any of you are wondering, on the screen as well, whilst Monica's been doing her tuition, we put all the details for these gorgeous projects down here with the gemstone box clasps with all of the cords as well. I believe they're all 12 99 which is crazy, uh, considering you're getting malachite, we've got gorgeous cloudy quartz, we've got uh, garnet and there's amethyst there, all with the corresponding box uh, clasps. And you get the tassel necklace uh, uh, tuition as well. It's labradorite, actually. Oh, is it labradorite? I do beg yeah. your pardon, sorry. Um, with an 18 step um, uh, uh, um, instruction booklet as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So all of those on the website right now at £12.99 and they are really, really lovely. Great value for they money. Are. I mean, that cord as well is beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah, the cord is, satin, cord. satin cord is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Thank you for bringing those in, Monica. Gorgeous, well done. Right, we've got a star by coming up now. Time for the most amazing, amazing bangle.
do you know something? I'm amazed we've got any of this still available. Um, we launched this last week back on Sunday, I believe it was. Um, this is the most, in Friday, the most incredible carved bangle. And it's carved using the Olmec jadeite material all the way from Guatemala. It's the very first carved Olmec bangle we've done. Um, it's got the most incredible dragon around the edge of it. But the most amazing thing about this for me is most definitely the material, but also the fact that we've gone one step further because this isn't just carved on the outside, it's carved on the inside of the bangle oh, as well. Wow. The most incredible carved bangle. Isn't that just wow. incredible? The most beautiful scaly dragon you can see there, weaving his way around the bangle, fiercely, look, you can see there, fiercely protecting the golden pearl. And then if I just show you the inside of this bangle as well. This is, this is really what really struck me about this bangle is it's kind of imperial grade Guatemalan jade material and the luster you get from the inside of the bangle is equal to the luster you're getting on the outside it's wow. just incredible it's, it's amazing to be able to do this to be able to do this on a flat surface is one thing to do it on a curved ring on the inside I, I struggle to understand how that's even yes. how that's even possible. It's it's quite remarkable, isn't it? Now we do have single figures remaining. I think we only started with was it fifty of no forty eight, wasn't it? I think it was forty eight we started with. Yeah, single figures remaining, seven chances. That literally is it. Now, I don't know, Bruce, I don't, I don't think we grabbed a recording of it with the light shining through it, but it is, honestly, it is well worth a look. It really genuinely is. Um, just, oh, all I'm gonna do, just feast your eyes on this. It is absolutely incredible. The most amazing translucency and, well, it's clarity that we're looking at really, isn't it? And then just look, at the incredible carved wow. scale interior of that bangle. I mean, it is, it is absolutely, this is with a phone light as well. You know, this isn't even a proper jade light. It is absolutely incredible. The Guatemala material, I don't know about you, Monica, but the Guatemala material for for almost all of us here at Jewelry Maker as members of staff. Yeah. It's my favourite colour. It's the favourite, yeah. is, is the favourite. Is it the colour? Is it the, is it the, is it the rarity, the scarcity, or is it the, the story maybe behind this incredible gemstone? How it's this was those, really. rediscovered? It is all of yeah. it, isn't it? Well, what I like about this one particularly is, if you think about the design around the outside, um, I mean, they, do, they don't tend to do random designs, but if you, if you, know what I mean when they do like sort of flowers around the outside for example it doesn't have to be planned out exactly all the way around because you've got flower after flower yes after flower. yes which and you can but put a bit of this, foliage in or whatever absolutely. but this is like a, like a, a cohesive design going all the way around it's a creature the they yeah. have to plan out the whole design to fit onto that br that bangle which that's just amazing it's it's incredible isn't it and even with the carving on the interior of the the interior yeah. edge of the bangle all of those scales, they've got to join up. Yes. It's yes. not some, you know, you, and, and literally you cannot see the join. I mean, not that there is a join, but you can't literally see where they've started carving it and then finished yes. carving it. It, it. it is absolutely out of this world. It's expertly done. Look at that. Look at wow. the quality of that carving. Look at the depth the relief of that carving is absolutely superb isn't it and at the same time it's still 
basically rounded off on the edges as well. So yes. it doesn't have a sharp edge. It's no. The, 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 the carving curves around the, the top of the bangle. But the well. carving itself kind of, it does kind of spill over. Yeah. But in such a way that it is, as you say, it is still lovely and smooth. Yes. But there's parts of the design which kind of overhang just a little bit. But the, you can see there, the, it really tapers the design out as it meets the wrist. And that in itself is, is just an absolute miracle because what that does is it really highlights the crystal quality you're getting here. Now, it is available on five split payments today. We're nowhere near where we finished um, on Friday price point wise. It is absolutely incredible what we're offering you today. Look at the quality. Oh my gosh, the way it feels. When you hold that, Monica, you, you, I mean, it feels, the inside of it feels incredible, doesn't wow. it? Feels like an actual snake, doesn't it? It, it does actually, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, cold, wow. smooth, you can feel the scales. Wow. That's one of those where you could just spend hours looking at it. You really could, couldn't you? You really could spend hours looking at it. every time you look, you're going to see something new and something different. That's exactly it, isn't it? I, mean, the I love it. Look at his face. Look at his gorgeous kind of, you can see there, can't you? There's his bottom jaw there. There's his top wow. jaw. You can see him focusing. The eyes. Focusing. Yeah, the eyes. Absolutely gorgeous. You see him really focusing on the golden pearl there. The other dragon there. It's just absolutely beautiful. We're at £4,999. Nowhere near where we're finishing today. Nowhere near. Are you ready? Here we go. Maker's got two in the basket. I've got another maker there with, um, uh, uh, from Angus as well. Well done to you. Here we go. All the way down. Nine, nine, nine. Now, we have had many bangles here at Jewelry Maker that we have, um, that we have bought to air. We've had a, a bangle, a, a solid Olmec bangle before, which has been 799. We've had bangles before, which have been, you know, really, really, you know, beautiful, but absolutely, they are considered pieces. They are real kind of once in a lifetime pieces. What you've got here is the dragon, the golden pearl, and the phoenix. You can see the beak there, can't you? Wow. The phoenix is described as being the dragon on earth and having both the dragon and the phoenix head to head, the meeting, the meeting of worlds and also the dragon represents everything um, masculine and the phoenix is the phoenix here is said to represent everything that's feminine. So you've got the masculine, the feminine, you've got the two worlds, you've got the supernatural world and you've got, the, uh, you know, the our world. The phoenix is said to be the dragon on earth and two of them head to head, fiercely protecting that gorgeous golden pearl in the centre. 999 is not your prize. Wow. Rachel in Somerset, well done. And as Monica quite rightly points out, having that planned out theme, that design, that very definite cohesive design, which isn't just a flower pattern or a foliage pattern, it has to have that beginning, that middle and that end. It's just it, the, the planning involved in this. I mean, you can imagine this in a, in a jewelry shop in London in a window of its own with nothing For else sure. on a black velvet sort of yep. display with, with a black velvet background and a spotlight yep, on top. Yeah, absolutely. And in that case, the 4999 price would would be, you know, it would oh, be yeah. higher than yeah, that. Oh yeah, the 5,000 pound price, yeah, absolutely. Or it would say POA, you know, you know, you've got to go in there and actually ask. And if you have to ask, you can't afford it, basically. That's, that's kind of the rule of thumb, which is just dreadful, isn't it? 999 is not your price today. Maker and Cumbria, Somerset, well done to you as well. I mean, I know nine nine. I know nine 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 is not your price, but look at the split payments. The split payments are down to two hundred pounds each. Mm. In actual fact, is that such a high price? Is nine 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 ridiculously? No, I don't think it is. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But here we go. Yours today. Your final price. Halving that price down to four nine nine that's yours that's it well done 499 on five individual split payments <coughs> yours today for 100 pounds on split payments 99 pounds 80 on split pay 
Congratulations, well done. Rachel, check out. Maker's got three in their basket. Maker and Angus, well done to you as well. This really is it. And as far as grade of material is concerned as well, this is absolutely up there with the best of the best of the best. And by the way, uh, this was the actual bangle that Dave took to the Hong Kong Gem Show. He took a number of different of our, um, of our jade pieces over there. Showed this to Sunny Chu, who uh, he was on uh, his booth and just, and just said, look, I've, I bought a couple of pieces just for you to look at. And he said that this quality is the kind of quality that he would stock on his, on, on his stand as part of his incredible collection. I mean, to say that, that is praise indeed. 499 is your deal today. We've literally only got four chances left. Makers now got five in their basket. Gee whiz. Wow. Check out as soon as you can. There's only four chances remaining. Okay. Well done. Go, go, go. 0800 644 655 or go and get uh, or, or get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com. Or you can, if you want to, join us on our app. Uh, all of you, though, have got a 30 day money back guarantee. Four chances remaining. We're going to do one minute to close. That literally is it. But we've got to move on. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, well done. Down to the final three. Well done. So limited. Look at that quality. Look there. I've just noticed something else in the back. You can see the scales there. Oh, yeah. And the feathers there. The oh, feathers of the wow. phoenix and the see, scales this, of the this dragon. This is what I mean. I mean, imagine they start carving oh, at one end gosh. and then they run out of space and they can't, haven't got space to put the feathers of the phoenix in. You know, yeah. they can't do that. It has to be so meticulously planned. Yeah, you can see the tail feather going through to the wing and then the other side you can see the body of the dragon and the scales i mean it's just it's absolute and it meets perfectly in the center wow. center of the bangle is there you've got your feathers on that side you've got your scales on that side this has been this has been this has been really really planned out meticulously maker and wheelchair congratulations well done to you as well i've got you there taking the details away in literally a couple of seconds congratulations well done I know, we've got three left with five, six, seven, eight in baskets for the last three. That's absolutely bonkers. Every time you look at that, you see something different, don't you? You really genuinely do. It looks like the Phoenix has got like sun rays behind it as well. Gosh, it's so I mean, the beautiful. The is, is unbelievable, really. Yeah. Can you see the scales? Yeah. Yeah. And then the feathers. Wow. It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Good grief. Well done. Sorry, we could literally just <laughs> sit here forever looking at it. Just talk amongst yourselves while we have a look at the price. I know. <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to leave that with you, actually, Monica, because that is... Oh, yes. That is a, and actually, do you know what's interesting? By looking at, by sitting there and looking at it, it's mindfulness. You're, you're exercising mindfulness, absolutely. aren't you? Absolutely. Yes. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? Right. Okay. What are we doing now, lovely? <gasps> Who put those there? Did ever put those there? Aww. She's like a little. She's like a ghost, isn't she? <laughs> hey. I think Kinga has been giving her the ninja tra uh, training. Kinga is a trained ninja. <laughs> she can run. You cannot. Yeah. Well, I, I reckon she could run. I reckon if she really wanted to, if she needed to. If I walked out that if, if I walked out the studio with that Jenny Dye bangle, <laughs> she would literally be like a scene that I've taken. I will find you. I will hunt you down. Here we go. Edison pearls. Oh my gosh, what an absolutely beautiful strand. This is one of the only strands of Edison pearls we have in the business. This literally is one of the only Oh my gosh, look at the wow. size of that. Thank you, lovely. Isn't that just incredible? Edison Pearls were um, are cultured. It's been a long process. Over a decade ago, the whole process started. Um, and the idea was, was to culture a freshwater pearl which rivaled the size, shape, quality, stature, providence of a South Sea pearl. And it took over a decade of kind of trial and error and taking kind of the best bits from South Sea pearls and you know, how, you know, what's the best bit? What's, you know, what's the main differences between these and other freshwater culture pearls? One of the main differences is how many are cultured at once. So one of the way, one of the reasons why freshwater culture pearls tend to be more, um, more inexpensive to culture than say your South Sea pearls is the mollusks tend to be smaller and you can 
culture up to, I don't know, 20 pearls at once in one mollusk. Whereas South Sea pearls, it's one pearl per mollusk, at the same for acoys as well, on a much smaller scale. So that's exactly how these are cultured, one pearl at a time. So that mollusk is just concentrating on one pearl. I love these. Do you know which one my favourite one is? That one. Can you see the shape on that? It's like a saucer shape. Oh, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Now, size, shape, well. nacre and orient, these are absolutely incredible. And the colours are natural. That colour there, which is like the purest white, it's like a cream, it is like a white, isn't it? It's absolutely exquisite, isn't it? Imagine that set of three that you've got in the middle there, the purple These and the three. white and the, that in the middle of a necklace. Oh, Ooh. amazing, Monica. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. We're at 999. <coughs> Oh yeah, amazing deal on jewelry maker 299. Amazing, brilliant, yeah. Bring it on. 299, fantastic. Already people interested, great to see, well done. Uh, yeah, but these are Edison pearls. These have got a real name for themselves. 199. And they're 10 millimeter as well. How, whoa, 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 whoa. We're Ooh. not done. How many of these do we have, Neary? <laughs> Eight chances available. We are at 199 on two split payments and we are not done yet. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? Here we go. Just over 30 seconds. The remaining eight chances are about to go. Available on two split payments. Here we go. Show us you're interested. Well done. Colour and quality, all completely natural that you're going to be getting here. And it's literally taken over a decade to come up with that winning recipe that means that Edison Pearls deserve their place at the table with your South Seas, your Tahitians, your Akoyas, your Fireballs. They are absolutely worthy of that incredible providence. Here we go, my lovelies. 199, incredible. Oh my gosh, I knew you were gonna say that. Oh my gosh, this is Ooh. way too low. 99, 99, they're 100 quid. Take them, go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, that's far too low, Neary. What are you doing? I mean, you've got at least, at least 20 poles on there. <coughs> Let's count, actually. You might be mm, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's 20. That is absolutely wow. ridiculous. That's that <laughs> is amazing. Who saw Sharon Osborne on telling last night draped in pearls? Ooh. There you go. On oh, Big Brother. On oh, Big Brother, she doesn't look the best, actually. Mm. She looks really kind of gaunt, I think. I know. It's okay, well, look at her pearls. Yeah, look, yeah, look at the pearls <laughs> and stuff. That, honestly, that is absolutely amazing. 99.99. I haven't been watching it, but a friend of mine has said that they saw her. I mean, years ago, it was obviously she, she'd had a load of work done. She was very open about the work that she'd had done. And I have to say, I think she looked absolutely amazing. Yeah. But I think on Big Brother, she looks really skinny. Well, she's lost really a lot of weight recently, hasn't yes. she? Yes. I think she's a little bit too much weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's it, isn't it? It's just kind of like, oh, stop, love. Go on. Yeah. Uh, 99 99.99. Well done. Excellent taste in Pilsner. And your split payments, £50. £50 on split pay. How incredible is that? Go, 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 go. Well done, everybody. That is tremendous. Go, go, go. What a deal for you today. How many in baskets, Neary? Come on, check out, check out. Who, who is it in baskets, lovely? Oh, there we go. Anne in Nottinghamshire, Tracy in Merseyside, check out to you. Cindy in Sussex, well done to you. Four chances remaining. That literally £100 wow. for Edison Pearls. <laughs> And as you say, um, Monica, they're 10 mil. Yeah. They're huge. They're not like little shy retiring. What are they? They are huge. Mm. Humongous Edison Pearls. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. I can't quite believe that. Okay. <coughs> okay. I got them here. Oh, wow. Oh, look. Ah. Oh, that's really lovely. Now, this is a lovely lengthy strand. This is a 60 centimetre strand of pearls. Mariska's already there. Look, here we go. So, 
Yeah, so you've got here, yeah, 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 white. Is that right? Going through to yeah. cream. Going through to <gasps> lavender. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ombre pearls. You can see the three sections there, can't you? Yep. Starting off, why don't we start where we just finished? <laughs> hundred pounds. But this is a long strand. It's not a thirty-eight centimeter yep. strand. It's almost twice oh, the 60 length. Centimeters. Wow. Almost twice the length. They are lovely. So I, I know so many of you out there who are going to be doing your pearl knotting, your rose or anything. Can you just look at the quality, just of this little section here? Look at how reflective and kind of metallic that is. Isn't that just gorgeous? Look at that. Those beautiful blue silver overtones. Oh, they are gorgeous. Gorgeous kind of cream colours here. And then your pure, brilliant whites as well. Maker in Devon, Dorothy and Lanarkshire, well done to you. Would you be tempted to mix them up? What would you do, Monica? Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, actually, I was uh, what I was thinking is that the colours match beautifully with the Edison pearls. Oh, they? gosh. Now you're talking. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. See, this is it. When you get beautiful pearls, if, irrespective of whether they're Akoyas or, you know, uh, potato pearls, rice pearls, whatever. If the colours match, and they're all naturally coloured, if the colours match, just pop them together. Because yeah. that, that is a winning combination. These make the Edisons look really large and the Edisons make the slightly smaller pearls have the most incredible luster. Yeah. 99 99 Two chances left. Tracy, Dorothy, Marishka, Maker in Devon. Well done to you. Lanarkshire, Surrey. Literally, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! To close, to close, Bruce! Uh, what have you done, Bruce? <laughs> He's just changing the light bulb <laughs> in the clock. There you go. Oh, Bruce! They're so cute, gorgeous colours, and not very potato in shape. Yes, so I was kind of thinking the same as well. They're more of the kind of oval shape. In fact, in fact they're more yes. of a ringed pearl than a potato pearl, don't you yes, think? Yes, I think so, yeah. I do like a potato pearl, yeah. but I think that we need to get away from just calling any pearl that isn't perfectly round potato. Because, honestly... Know, I don't know who came up with that, to be honest with you, but it's not, no, neither do I. not ideal, I is it? a potato to describe a pearl. <laughs> but uh, Lorraine, well done to you as well. Check out, sorry, say again, love. Right, we've got the most amazing launch coming up next. We've only got two strands, it's incredibly limited. Mountain Serpentine Jade. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Hello everyone, it's Mark here from a very, very wet Whitney. I'm here to tell you all about my next show, which is this Friday the 15th of March. And not only am I going to be joining the wonderful Eleanor and the amazing crew, we've got a special guest. Lovely Ollie is going to be in the producer hot seat. And he's got a bit of a reputation behind the scenes for going above and beyond with his prices and deals. So I'm really excited to see what he's got in store for us. So nine o'clock, I've been given a gemstone that I, I don't get to work with very often. And that's the amazing garnet. We've got beautiful, beautiful kits with Jasper. So we're going to show you bracelets, even little rings, look, and necklaces. We've got all sorts. And the piece that I'm going to be showing you that comes with the complimentary booklet is this beautiful spiral garnet necklace. So that's the nine o'clock hour. 10 o'clock hour, very special deal of the day. We've got carvings of all the zodiac signs in a beautiful box set. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. And then at 12 o'clock in the masterclass hour, what can I say? We've got incredible, natural blue and multicolour tiger's eye part one part two you know i'm a massive fan of our gates we have got brand new i've never seen these before ocean agate in these beautiful rust and browns and these beautiful blue and yellow they all come with cbs including gunmetal which we've not seen for such a long time absolutely incredible i can't wait to share these with you so that's this Friday, eight o'clock. Join myself, Eleanor, Ollie, and the rest of the crew for what is going to be a truly spectacular show.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says gift cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Oh, we're back, we're back. And the eagerly anticipated launch of this incredible, incredible gemstone. Dave, this is a beauty. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to be bringing this to you. We're talking, you know, we, when we talk about jade, uh, we always talk about the, the illustrious history that goes back to the Neolithic period and, and even before that, to the Warring States period mm. um, of Chinese history. 
And I think I've told you this many times, but I know a lot of you, you know, the book that I usually carry around, which is called Jade, a Gemologist's Guide, uh, written by Richard Hughes of um, the Lotus Gemology in Bangkok, the lab. Uh, probably the, the, the best book on Jade that is in English, you know, wording. Yeah. Um, and it was, only came out in 2021. Many of us, I'm sure, own it. And I remember when I got it, I was like, <clears throat> it's going to all be about Imperial Jade. It's going to be about mutton fat Jade. It's, you know, it's incredible. But the first third of that book is dedicated to four gemstones you've probably never heard of before. And they're known as the, the four great jades. So when we, when we go back through uh, Chinese history, you know, the, the four great jades were Dushan jade, obviously your, your uh, Hishan jade, but then your turquoise from the Hubei province. Oh, wow. And, and indeed the gem that we're bringing you today from the, from the location called uh, Xizhuan. This, this material is known as serpentine in the West, but even in the Chinese labs today, it is certified as jade. It wow. is their original jade. Um, when this was practically mined out, a lot of the material that we can even get our hands on now, especially in this color spectrum, is old material. A lot of it has been out the, the ground, not just for 20 or 30 years, but in many cases, and in this case, hundreds of years. Okay, you have to find uh, the families that, that go back generations. And I know Stanley Chu is an incredible uh, jadeite dealer, but his family go back to the 1970s. Yeah. When you're looking for the original jades, uh, the material that is no longer mined, you have to find the families that have been in the world of jade for you know thousands of years. Oh, and th wow. th they are families that do that, where they pass on that heritage <clears throat> and they have these unbelievable collections. And the way you find them, and the way that we found the people that we're dealing with here is, when you go to the museums and you see incredible jade, and it's from a, a distinct period in time, a lot of the times it'll be on loan and you'll find out who it's on loan from. And it's those families that we've had to approach in securing the original Goodness jade. Me. You cannot mine this material anymore. That's an important factor. So there is no grading, there isn't none of this. What, what they have started mining now is the golden material that comes from this location, which they're calling it the new jade. Um, this is the old jade. This is the original jade. It predates mutton fat jade in, in all reality. Wow. And we're so fortunate, and I want you to understand this, forget price, forget value, historically, this is probably the most important jade in the world. For those of you that, that haven't seen the original jades, when you, when you look at the four of them, the Hubei turquoise, well, that's being mined today, but the material that was, was being mined back then, I'm talking thousands of years ago, was the best turquoise the world has ever seen. Right? You've never seen anything Gosh. like it, far greater than your uh, Sleeping Beauty. But this is before mass machinery, this is before you know, you know, huge uh, uh, mining uh, uh, companies. And so what little trickled into the market went to the emperors. And uh, you only see it in the museums now. It, and they're still mining it and they, they get material, but it's nowhere near the grade that was back then. Mm -hmm. The same with Dushan Jade, an extraordinary type of jade in, in the, um, the Chinese lexicon that you just don't find anymore. And when we talk about this variety, which they call mountain jade, which they can call you know, your serpentine jade, the labs will certify it as jade in the Far East because it predates jadeite by thousands of years. Good grief. I want you to understand that this is not being mined. No active mining is being done for this material. So the gold material, yeah, that is being mined, and uh, they, they refer to it as the new jade. And it commands you know, some significant premiums, but if you can get your hands on this material outside of an auction house, you're extraordinarily lucky. And I want to make that really clear today. I want you to understand just how fortunate and lucky you are. We have you know, gone through some, some serious uh, loopholes to get hold of this material, you know, contacting many different families, ancient families, that go back, you know, I'm talking you know, 12th century, 15th century, way before Good that, yeah, that, that have just lineage. passed on. Yeah, and still work with jade today and work with the newer jades. And when I'm talking about newer jades, they're working primarily with jadeite today. Mm -hmm. And we go to them and they have their jade offering and we said, look, we know that you, your family once dealt in the original jades. And remember, the people that I'm talking to, maybe my age, maybe a little bit older, some a little bit younger, and they've never first-hand worked with it. Yeah. And they're, they're going back through their archives, they're going back through their, their vaults, and they have to go and get it all recertified because they're like, well, you know, it's way predates lab verification. These were just bought and sold as jade thousands of years ago, mm. essentially. And um, it's a very limited showcase is, is what I want to stress to every single one of you. This, it's hard to find, you know, when we throw out <clears throat> terms like $3 million per carat for imperial jade, that's because that material is available. Mm -hmm. or, you know, there's still some being sold and bought and traded You can today. quantify it. Yeah, it's, yeah. You know, that has a market price. This has no market price because it's not in the market. 
and it's it's down to you guys that we've gone searching for it because we have this this you know kind of uh, thirst for knowledge mm -hmm. right and it's one thing to bring you jade and you know the jades that we find in the market and you can find comparisons for but with this material we've all got that book we've all read that book and the, the, it piqued my interest the moment I started learning about it I was like oh, imagine just being able to bring you the four great jades and we're working oh, on it wow you now we we have brought you Haitian jade we've never brought you Dushan jade and uh, we've never brought you the turquoise that was being traded you know 7,000 years ago which sits in the, the, the South China Museum you are about to get your hands on though oh my gosh the original jade okay this material the four great jades and this will be the halfway point where we've brought you the first two your mutton fat which we've done um, and now we get to bring you this glorious incredible translucent oh top gosh. color serpentine you can find this occasionally in the auction houses you know crafted into the most incredible sculptures um, when we talk about the the history of of jade you know, there is a sense of traditionalism, right? There is a sense of, you know, that people are very, um, you know, one way or the other. And there are some carvers, there are some uh, people, masters, Wallace Chan being one of them. Um, and there is another master. Wallace Chan prefers to work with mutton fat jade because it's an original jade. And there's another gentleman that only works with this serpentine. And you, can, you, you can't really get hold of it. Now, if I take you to um, this article here, What's which talks this? about. So, yeah, this is oh when we're talking gosh. about in search of heaven a lifetime oh, in search of heaven this wow. is written by richard hughes <clears throat> and this is available on his website lotus gemology <coughs> and they say it's the story of richard hughes's <coughs> four decade adventure with jade Gosh. from burma's Fuishe mines to <coughs> china's classic mutton fat nephrite uh, in the hishen or xinjiang province the work of china's uh, modern jade carving masters um, is also discussed and i was reading through this article and if i just come on to the, the next slide if i may uh, neary they talk about mutton fat jade and they say, in the Western world, the term jade today is used for two different rocks. These are the only two surviving jades today. Mm -hmm. You know, your mutton fat and your fuishe. However, yeah. in China, traditionally, there were four great jades. Hishan jade, which is your nephrite from the Xinjiang province. Xi'an jade, which is the material we've got for you today, um, which is from uh, the Liaoning province. Dushan jade, um, which comes from Nanyang or the Henan province and turquoise from the Hubei province. These wow. are the four great jades, right? So you know, <laughs> it's easy today um, when we read the literature because they say jade is a story of two gems, right? Nephrite and jadeite. Yes, yes. Okay. It's actually the story of six gems. It's just only two survived to today. That, that's that's wow. the reality. So we're bringing you that Xi'an jade that, that comes from that one incredible location, that unbelievable <coughs> material. If we go back to that, they'll, they'll uh, go into some detail. Um, <coughs> Considering Sorry. just Fui Shei and Nephrite, while each of these cousins share certain characteristics, in other ways they could not be less alike, yin and yang, two entirely different bridges to heaven. Yeah. And here in the West, you know, when we've come to the party late, you know, this is, like we said, 7,000 years, we should only really be able to get access to these two, Nephrite mm. and Jadeite. Mm -hmm. Today we go beyond that. Today we get to bring you access to some of the, the materials from the annals of history. If I go to, to the next slide, if I may, Neri, apologies. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. So this is the gem gosh. that we're dealing with. This is it. Goodness. So this is in that same article. They talk, they talk about Touched by Jade. In September 2019, this is Richard Hughes' anecdotal story. Mm. Adam invited me to visit one of China's most, China's most famous jade deposits in Liaoneng province. That's this deposit, by the way. Good So grief. even Richard Hughes, who wrote the, 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 probably the best book on jade in the Western world, yeah. a gentleman who has spent more time in jade than I've been alive. You know, four decades <laughs> yeah. in search of heaven, he says. And he says his friend Adam took him to the most famous of these deposits, jade deposits. He doesn't say, we are making the distinction today, but in the Far East, they don't. So I'm going to say this is what we know as serpentine, gemologically. Mm -hmm. Just like we would say, this is known as jadeite, this is known as nephrite. It's all considered jade. Uh -huh. But he said the most famous jade deposit in history in the Laonang province. There we visited the studio of Master Tang Shui. Now, <clears throat> you may never have heard of Master Tang Shui. I hadn't, but I've done a lot of research since reading the book. So the two greatest uh, jadeite or jade carvers of the modern age are... Wallace Chan and Master Tang Shui. Now, Master Wallace Chan prefers to work with the mutton fat as the original jade, and Master Tang Shui prefers to, to work with this material, one of the original jades. And uh, he created this organic flowing carving in this serpentine. 
Returning to Shanghai, we learned that Master Wu had finished the carving of my boulder and so once again visited his compound. He brought out a small custom made box and presented it to me. And that is a, a Master Tang Shui carving there, oh. a jellyfish it, carved uh, out of this incredible ancient original jade, the serpentine. The, the, some of the, the finest material oh. in the world. Priceless, by the way. There is no price attached to that. You cannot get that for any price. And if we go through this, Neri, apologies. Good <coughs> grief. Yeah. So oh my god! They talk about they call it a new jade. <laughs> this is the, the the finest jade, the material that, that is mine now. And they say the jade produced in Xi'an County is called Xi'an Jade. It's, <coughs> it's the hometown of jade. It's the birthplace of all jade. Wow. Located in Laonang Province in China, this jade is a kind of serpentine jade, one of the most famous jades in China. It's it's extraordinarily hard with beautiful color, yeah. um, and they talk about. There's three different types. There's tremolite jade, serpentine jade, and tremolite and serpentine jade. Today we get to bring you the serpentine jade, and it's cool. all certified as that. <clears throat> and if, if we go through this scenario, we talk about, these are like some of the, the Western jewelers, they're getting their hands on some of the golden material. Wow, <clears throat> gorgeous. Beautiful uh, pieces there, as you can see. If we go through this again, you'll see another piece. This is a pair of Chinese carved serpentine circular boxes and covers. Now, if you go to the one before it that we just showed, Yeah. Right, this is Fernando George. Yes. I hope I pronounced that right, but a European jeweler. And this is the material that is available today. This is the material I saw in Hong Kong, the gold material that is being mined in the modern age. Yep. But if you go to the Qing dynasty, and if we go back to the, if we go forward one slide, sorry, Neri, this the color that you're seeing there is the color you've got in front of you, right? Uh -huh. This is from the 19th or early 20th century. You know, the pre sale estimate was two to 3,000. It doubled that in 2021. This is the color I wanted to get for you. now. It would have been far easier, and I've done it on our sister channel, to get the golden material. The golden those, material. Of you, yeah. those of you that have tuned into those wonderful showcases, you may have some of that wonderful golden material in your collection. Beautiful, yeah. We have worked miracles to get hold of this color that we've got for you today. Now, if you go forward again, uh, Neri, apologies. They, they talk about Lanang province. And they say that the jade produced in Zhang County is called, uh, you know, Zhuan Jade and it is the birthplace, the hometown of all jade. And if we go forward again, you'll see some of the pieces. So this is again, the, the more modern material that Gosh. we're finding, the white material, the gold material. We yeah. go forward again. Lovely. Um, yeah, you can get these incredible mm. bangles, uh, uh, amazing. But if we go forward one more time, this is oh, the color that we're doing. Oh, right. But this is <laughs> yeah, the ancient material <laughs> that is the serpentine jade wow. from the Laonang province as many people accept the birthplace of all jade. I'm not gonna talk about price or value or whatever it is. I'm saying to you, I can't replace this material. Okay, so it's not about me saying, oh, the price has gone up or, you know, it's gone crazy, investors are getting involved. I'm saying we've worked miracles, genuinely the team, in sourcing this. And it's not widely available. I've just been to Hong Kong, the epicenter of the jade world. I saw imperial jade, I saw the best lavender jade. I saw the golden serpentine. Okay, from the Laonang province still. I saw, you know, some Nanhong material. We, we saw the, the, the Hishan jade from the, 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 um, the, the, the province in Xinjiang. What we don't see is this material. And the way that we've approached this is we just went through every museum in China that had access to this material, and we found out the families that it was on loan from. Oh and we've reached gosh. out to every single one of them. I'm talking dozens and dozens of families that we've reached out to. And I've got this epic, collection for you so for those of you and I know there's many of you watching that have huge collections vast collections hundreds of pieces Gosh. you're about to get one of the original jades as, as they say on Lotus Gemology as they say anywhere and they talk about that bridge to heaven they talk about this being the birthplace wow. of jade you know Richard Hughes himself says this is the most famous jade deposit in history but the problem is you can't get this material anymore it was only available to emperors today it's only available to view Gosh. in museum collections and we have a very small offering of that unbelievable world-class historical material. You have an opportunity to work with the most famous jade in China. You have an opportunity, and, and maybe to you, you're looking at it and go, oh, you know, I prefer this or that. I'm letting you know right now, even in the Far East, no one's been offered this in 2030. Well, this has been bought in a completely unique way. Yeah. Different to how yeah. we've acquired Pieces. Any of the jade we bought to. Any of it. Yeah, the, the, you, if we went to Laonang province today, they are mining, but they're mining the gold material and the white material. Uh -huh. 
this is the material that was the original jade. And to have the opportunity even wow. just to show it to you, if I had it in a glass box and we just had one piece, that's sensational. But you're gonna have the opportunity to work with it. Yeah. Now this is certified as jade, certified as serpentine jade, mm -hmm. because in the Far East, it, it predates every jade, but then it Gosh. disappeared from, from view. Today they refer to it as the new jade when it's the gold material. They don't refer to this as the new jade. This is the, the birthplace of all jade. And I've got the optimum color, the pinnacle color. I know when we look at Fuechi Jade out, we go, okay, Imperial Green. When we look oh, at- Oh, this is different. Yeah, this is a different, exactly. a different when we talk thing about, entirely. When we talk about oh. uh, the legendary uh, uh, Kotan material, we talk about that mutton fat, that tallow-like luster, that pure linen white. This material is a very distinct color, a color that you can't get in Nephrite from anywhere on earth, a color that you cannot get in Jadeite, and a color that none of us should be able to own. Um, this, wow. in terms of being offered a deal, I've never ever made a decision so quick. I made the decision on this before I even saw the price. When I knew, I, I generally, it was a pipe dream. I was like, because right now I'm still looking for the Hubei, the original Hubei turquoise, haven't got it. I'm still looking for the Dushan Jade, cannot get hold of it. And I thought this would be the same thing. I thought we'd never be able to get it. When they showed, they sent me a picture before they even put a price, I said, we'll take it. We'll take everything you've got. And it's here today. Oh my God. I acquired this faster than I've acquired any piece of Jade for you. And I'm going to say, it is limited. And I'd say that even if we had 500, because the demand for this, for those of you that want to you know, complete your collection, to put the foundations in there, the original J, it's here. It's the only time it will be here. On our sister channel, we brought you the gold material. This incredible color, this material. Oh is next level i have to say dave looking looking at the slides that you've prepared today yeah, which yeah. are fascinating by the way the um the only one i can liken it to it, are those incredible christie's carvings yeah, yeah exactly and even and even when you were kind of showing you know the pieces from uh, from 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 hundreds of years yeah. ago they were beautiful even by com they are nothing compared to this but we're talking about you're holding serious history yes like yes. this is this is something that i've wow. i've only seen I've seen this material once in first hand, and it was in the Shenzhen Museum when I was there uh, late last year. So when I was in the Shenzhen Museum, there was a, an epic piece of jade that was valued at three or four million dollars. And oh. then there was a cabinet, just a cabinet, that had this in there. And they, in Shenzhen, you, I don't know, you can probably find it online, but they have a cabinet called the Four Great Jades. And they just have the Dushan Jade, they have the, the incredible Hubei Turquoise, the mutton fat material, and then this. And that's the only time I've ever seen it and you're about to own it. You're about to get Gosh. it into your collection. Um, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock, wow. but I'm gonna warn every single one of you, this, we are not blessed with uh, quantity. It is a decision that needs to be made probably immediately, yes, if I'm honest. Yes, definitely. Um, a showcase like no other. And in 50, look, I'm not even, there is no market pricing for this material. No. It is about acquiring oh for posterity. Gosh. It's about acquiring something that no one else has got. That's the reality. Do you know something as well? Kind of not color wise, but kind of grade yeah. wise, it reminds me, it does remind me a little bit of the mutton fat, that kind yeah. of smoothness. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's got the, the color is unique. As it's, you say, yeah, it you is completely it. different to but, anything but the we've way, ever seen before. I just want to stress, um, there is already phone calls coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the, the 30 second the call clock center. hasn't even finished yet. So I want <laughs> to warn you, Personally, I know I've done shows across both networks. Here at Jewelry Maker, I've never seen demand like this. Yeah, this so, is crazy. Uh, this, is, this is alien to me. I've seen it on Gempori where things sell out in a minute. I've, I've been Gosh. done some incredible shows with you here at Jewelry Maker. I've never seen a response like this. No, we usually it's wait huge. for that minute clock. No one's waiting. And congratulations to those of you that are getting involved. Congratulations to those of you that are putting your name to this and securing it. It is oh, something that Best I think we've luck. been waiting for. Uh, yeah, we've got Good people luck. already coming through on the phone lines. This is crazy. Well done, congratulations. And oh multi buyers as well. And that's exactly how Look I felt this. when I first saw this material. I was like, we'll take everything that is available. Because I understood getting this again won't be feasible, won't be possible. Wow. 165 carats, mountain jade, serpentine from that legacy location. Super Jeez. gemmy, incredible translucency, absolutely unique color. And there is a strand. I can't believe we're offering you a strand. To offer That's you a piece. It, to a offer workable you, strand. Yeah, to offer you a bead. To offer you a moment just to say we've got one of the four great jades. And, and, Amazing. And because of the unique way in which this has been acquired, yep. that's exactly what you would expect. Maybe three 
gourd shaped beads yep. or maybe a cabochon yes, or absolutely. maybe a fragment what we've what we've got here is workable yep. instantly workable you won't find a strand oh like this gosh. outside of a museum i don't believe oh, that's the wow. only time i've ever seen a strand oh was gosh. in a museum and then you often see maybe sculptures then you often see maybe seals or, or, or moments carved out of it but to have a strand and to have such a generous character of course it's 100 percent natural Look this is that. special isn't it just exceptional now yeah. obviously as dave's already mentioned this is incredibly limited to have you know to have more than five of these yeah. is an absolute dream come true sure. presumably dave there's there's never going to be a you know a collection or a or, no, a, or unfortunately pieces not. made you know, the, the, there are times when we test things and we put something on your screen and we go oh that was great let's try and get more of that yes, because everyone exactly. loved it. this isn't that this is just us giving you the opportunity those of you those those collectors that have amassed these these unique collections in the western world you yeah. maybe you want after you've read the books, after you've learnt more, you want to own one of the four great jades. Well, it's here. What wizardry have you done now? <laughs> this material yes. is outstanding. What a gift. Love, love, love it. Um, I have to own this. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Oh, well, Caroline. Look, you, you and everyone and it's else. There's a lot of collection. you. There's a lot of you on the phone lines right now. Yeah. Mountain jade. Okay. Um, as you say, Dave, it must yeah. be a really difficult situation when you're asked after acquiring this where do you even start yeah. and and the, the beauty because it doesn't have a 100 percent. and the beauty of what we're about to do is we pass on the savings so i got an incredible deal with this oh family that we're going to hope to work more with in the jadeite space which is what they you know do today but this is the first deal we did with them we said look wow. you're the only people that have that, that have spoke to us about the opportunity to own the original mountain jade the serpentine one of the four great jades and if we can get this deal over the line we'd love to to work with you more and they oh said well gosh. we don't have any more of this but we have jadeite that is something we're exploring but you're going to get an opportunity i'm going to give you a 30 second clock right now before we, we we give you a deal to start this off many of you don't even care many of you are just on the phone line yeah. saying whatever which is exactly the same as i was less than 100 available okay well done janice cynthia maker oh maker gosh. tracy caroline maker patricia tracy tina lou this is one of those unique moments where you tuned in you got offered something that isn't available anywhere else on earth i can't give you price comparisons they don't exist that's the most powerful statement this is the very definition of what mm -hmm. jewelry maker and yeah. the gemporia group should be for, about for sure. 100%. giving you access to material which um the I'm, rest look, of the rest of the I'm, world I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start right now <coughs> at, at a crazy low deal because i know we have no frame of reference and and to be quite frank i don't think anyone cares no but i'm going to no. show you because what could this be who knows that's the truth right 165 carats of something that is so valued yes. that richard hughes himself says it is the, the the greatest jade deposit of them all and we shouldn't have access to it i'm going to start this off at a thousand pounds I'm going to start this off a that low. Yeah, yeah, 100 percent. And this is going to disappear. I'm nowhere near done still, but I'm letting you know. I want you to have the confidence to get involved. I want you to know. Okay, maybe I can afford it. Maybe I can get involved. You absolutely can. And you're going to kick yourself when this showcase is done. That you, you, you know, you didn't trust us. I've got multi buyers with no price on screen. I've got more multi buyers oh, with this price wow. on screen. Wow. And we couldn't be any further away from where and we're And do you know finish. what Neri's saying? That it's literally, you're missing a digit there. I mean, I am, yeah, I am absolutely. absolutely amazed that we can start that 999. That is incredible. But I think so many it's baskets. important wow. right now for, for anyone who's tuned in and they're looking at this and they're going, well, well done, by the way. Un <laughs> unbelievable rarity, provenance, history. You know, in all accounts, when they talk about jade, they cannot talk about jade without talking about this material. And it's usually in museums. You have to go and pay an admission fee to go and see it. And I wanted you to have the confidence to be like, oh, because, you know, we could go oh, 20,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds as a start price. But I understand how limited it is. And if I start there, there are going to be those of you that are flying in under the radar. Yes. By the time we get to the real price, they're gone. So I wanted to start off competitively. I want you to, you to understand this that crazy. this is something that we're going to make possible today. You've got your interest free split payments. You're about to get the original Jade. The original Jade. Oh my gosh. 100% natural from one of the, the most, I guess one of the most important families in the, the history, in the foundation of, of the Jade story. Oh my gosh. Chapter one. Having that kind of 
I mean, holy, ho holy Trinity. I know there's yeah. four of them, but having the the big the big four. Yeah, um, this having, is what we're having working another towards. One. This is what we want to do for you guys. Goodness me! And it's going to take us a long time. This has already taken us three, four years. Yeah. Okay. So well done to everyone who's already been successful. If it's in your basket, I'm going to, um, uh, if I may, I'm going to say right now, it isn't actually safe in your basket mm -hmm. because just so you're aware, there are more in baskets than we have available. <laughs> So you are part of a very big club, but only a, a very small amount of you can, can make this happen. So I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds right oh now gosh. to trust me, to get involved, to multi-buy is what I would recommend. So baskets, we've got Mary, Geraldine, Renata. There's more people, by the way, putting it in their baskets, literally every single second. That's the Caroline, problem. Caroline, Maker's got six in the basket. Tracy in Norfolk, you've got two in your basket. Tina in Hampshire, two in your basket. Mm. Lou in Dorset, Alison, Valerie, bidders from all over the country, all over the world. Oh, Valerie's just checked out. Literally, we've got bidders from all over the world putting this in their baskets as we, Alison in Bristol, another one there. Multi-bidders from all, this is incredible. Okay, this is where I'm gonna shock you. <coughs> because I know what you think is gonna happen right now. Yeah. But I also understand that time is against us, right? So usually at this point, you guys know, at half the price, I'm not going to near it, at half the price. But because I see there is more interest than I have available, I'm Ooh. gonna show you that we mean business. I'm gonna go to the price that you probably think we're stopping at. I'm going to take this down to 299. Oh my gosh, Nowhere that's near literally done. a mind reader. Nowhere near Literally done. a mind reader. So I know at this point we'd usually get a 499, but I'm acutely aware that we have so much more interest than we have availability. There's a massive supply and demand oh. problem right now. We have, we have the fortune of, of, of yeah, having this wonderful educated group of collectors, right? No, we, I said it nearly 299. We Do have this. It. Yeah, Tracy, you've got two. Well done. Oh. But the, also, the other problem is it's a double edged sword. It's amazing that we have such an educated clientele, people that understand Jade. But for you guys at home, you're part of a very educated clientele. And everyone knows what you know, everyone wants the same material, and everyone sees this opportunity, and we don't have a big quantity. There has never been big quantities of this material. Well done to the multi-buyers. We're down at 299. You've got three interest-free split payments right now, and we're not done. Oh my gosh. So Alison, Valerie, Tracy's got two, Wendy's there, Tina's there, Sue's there, Geraldine, Janice, Patricia, Cynthia, oh. Maker, Maker. Let me start no, let me start on the, the, the baskets or the queue, right? <laughs> so I've got many Hazel, of you. Maker, Anne, Maker, Mary, Renata, Caroline, Maker, Maker, Tracy, Maker, Tina, Maker, yeah, Keith, yeah. Lou. There, there is a ton of you. It goes off my screen. We're trying There's to fit loads more on, of you. Nowhere near them. I suppose this is I mean, I suppose this is a great opportunity for us to say, look, these are the facts. Yep. There's actually no market value for this. So we can us. do this prize for it's you. It's the perfect show for us. That's incredible. We are right now, we're doing something no one else can Yes, do. exactly. And we always want to do that. Very often you can't because oh there's lots of other God. vendors with lots of other wonderful material. But right now we're doing something that is so left field, so out there. It's sensational. I don't have many left. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. This is gonna disappear. This is a massive carrot weight. This is a strand. This is that top optimum color. This is history. This is provenance. This is pedigree. And it's from a family with supreme provenance and pedigree. I'm taking, just so everyone's aware, because it's gonna probably sell out in this clock. Yeah. I'm taking hundreds of pounds off. Oh yeah, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I've said it, I've said it. I'm making it happen. It's going to happen. Ooh. You're going to own it. We got an incredible deal. We, we have started working with this unbelievable family. Gee whiz. Oh, look, Janice has just checked out. So is Maker in Swansea, Theresa, Maker in Cumbria, Cornwall, Tyne and Weir, Manchester. You can do it. You can Bristol. do it. Bristol. I understand it's oh in a lot gosh. of baskets. I understand there is a lot of people ahead of you, but you can check out. You can swoop in and take it. And I'd encourage you to do it if you're serious and you want it. Yeah. It's yours. To, you know what, Neri? Take £200 off. <gasps> it's a giveaway. It's a giveaway. This uh, graphic makes the material look so ripe, juicy uh, grapes. I could eat them. Absolutely. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, it is supreme quality. Supreme material. He just said very, that very in 99, Yeah, yeah. Tracy's got two. Cumbria's oh got two. Hazel, gosh. you've got two. Do you know something? Of all of the recent kind of um, uh, showcases that we've done, Dave, mm -hmm. this is probably the last yeah. gem, I would say. 100 quid. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. This is Absolutely. just crazy. And, and you know what, when I, when I did oh. the deal, I had no idea if, when I said we'll take them all. Uh, genuinely the truth, 
I had no idea if there were a thousand pounds a strand or, or, or the deal that we got. Right, that's the truth. <laughs> wow. and I didn't care because I know we have something that no one else has. No one else could be. And when you hear Richard Hughes, who is an, an authority on jade, saying, yep. no, this is the birthplace of jade. I went to the Laonang province just to see where this material was once traded. <gasps> wow. And we've got a strand in the studio. When I got this deal, I was so excited that we're here right now and we're at, what, £99? That is us passing on that saving. That is us giving our collectors access to material that doesn't exist anymore. Yes, absolutely. Marion, Janine, Jeannie, Maker, Mary, Renata, Caroline. Make sure you're checking out. We've got multi-buys in Gloucestershire and Bristol and Swansea and Hampshire and Cumbria and Devon and Manchester. We're in double figures. That's this won't incredible. happen again. And, and do you know something? I suppose the only thing that you might be able to compare it to is the gorgeous golden material, yeah. which is which is still being currently mined. Yeah. But even by that, this is... Oh, this is the imperial colour from it, that location. Precisely, that's this exactly is, it. Yeah, of course, you know, <coughs> the, the different colours come from lots of different locations. Yeah. But there is always the primary colour. There's always the This is the colour, original. The definitive <laughs> colour. And yes. this is that. This is that material. When you go to the museums, like I have done in Shenzhen, and you see the, the great jades, this is the colour they have in the cabinet. This Goodness. is the colour that, that is the thousands of years old. And you're about to, to cr create wonderful jewellery with it. There's so many ambassadors. We've got Susan, Tina, Maker, Ron, Marion, Jenny, uh, Maker, Mary, Renata, Caroline, Maker, Tracy, Tina, Lou, Louise. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to do something wild. 30 second clock, I'm going to go lower. We're going to oh go lower gosh. on this. Ron, you've got three of these. Yeah. Okay, um, Jeannie's got two. Alison, I'm going lower and we're not taking a little bit off. This is your moment. If you want to get involved, it is now or never. We're going to give you an incredible deal. How many are you going to get? How many of these? I mean, I can see the queue. I, I know it's busy. It's a free phone number. Use the web. Use the app. You're going to be making. To you're going to be making malas. You're going to be making suites of jewellery. Don't just get one because the, the chances of us ever getting an acquisition like this again is is literally is literally almost zero. Get at least two. You will kick yourself if you don't. Absolutely right. This opportunity right now is on oh the cusp of selling out. I can't wait for When this. we talk about passing on the saving, <clears throat> when we talk about passing the deal, we see the, the demand. Swansea, you've just got three. Lynn in Wiltshire, yes, you've just got two. This. Valerie's got two. We know that we want it. We know we fall in love. We know this is something we want to own. You're in baskets. You're on the phone lines. You're in the queue. There's only a few of these remaining, and we're going to do it for every collector right now. Oh, my gosh. 69.99. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is happening. $69.99. That is absolutely crazy. 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 Absolutely. And look, oh. Cumbria's just got three. Suffolk's got two. Anne's got two. Swansea's got three. Somerset's got two. Cumbria, Ron's well got three. There, there's Patricia in Hampshire. You've just got two. Hazel's got two. Oh. Devon's got three. Um, wow. Tracy in Norfolk, you've got two. Two. Well Valerie's done. got two. There you are. So many people coming through. This is absolutely tremendous. And I don't think anybody, but anybody expected a deal as as unbelievable as this Absolutely. congratulations everyone two completely beautifully matched there for earrings yeah i mean you've got different different slightly different tones slightly different qualities going through here yeah, that's, all that's of the which are just of historical uh, ancient that's natural exactly material yes. you know we're not blessed with <coughs> a wealth of this material coming out we can't just match perfectly yes. this is the provenance of this location the birthplace the hometown wow. of jade I am absolutely, I'm, ab I'm, I'm so happy for everybody out there. As of am I. Every single gem that we have bought you over the last, well, since the beginning of the year, say, this is probably the last gem I would ever expect to be able to get for, for sure. under hundred pounds. But this, this is our problem, you know, when, when we are all as educated as we are, when we have the clientele that we do, we're constantly thinking, you know, it's not, we, we have to bring you the material that you want. And we've read the books, we've read the literature. Yes. Uh, thanks guys, got mine. Well done Caroline. Oh, Caroline. Caroline said, I well can't done. miss out on this. You know, I have to get it very early on and I'm so thrilled that you managed to get it. It's very competitive. And she's got fact, huge so, look, I'm gonna connection. do a minute clock to close this one out. Yeah. Okay, because I don't want to oversell it. There is an uh, opportunity for you if you're there. So many people If you want to do baskets. this and in Pembrokeshire, you've up your order to four of these. Oh. Wow. Congratulations. Look mm. at that, incredible. We do have a slightly smaller strand coming up as well in the six mil size, absolutely incredible. Honestly, I could not be happier for you today no. to be able to add this to your collection because 
you know, the minute you buy one piece of jade or nephrite or whatever it might be, it becomes a, you know, it becomes a, a collection. You want to yeah. add to that collection, curate that collection. Mm -hmm. This is that, this is the missing piece of the jigsaw so oh, far. 100%. Incredible. Well done to every single one of you. I'm over the moon for you. Well done. Just incredible. So many silly baskets. You've still got genuine chances. Less than 30 seconds. There's a 10 chances the remaining. Away. There's nothing stopping you being one of those 10. Yep. Okay, there might be 50, 60, whatever it is in baskets, but you can be one of the 10 that checks out. You can sure. be one of the 10 that takes the 165 carats of ancient mountain jade, the serpentine. In this color spectrum, 100% natural jemmy. Wow. Into your collection. What an opportunity. Well done. And I, I suppose, Dave, this is very much like what a lot of other people are doing in the industry right now. You know, the likes of Mason K, they're buying Jade back to kind of put it back yeah, into the industry. For sure. Because, because, there's, there's, because of the lack of the Burmese yes, material. Yes, oh, for sure. Um, so going to those families who've owned these incredible pieces for generations. Yes. That's and the only is, way we can unlock the key that's to, it. to this original Jade. There is no oh. one mining this color today. I'm gutted that we've got this next track. I've gone too low on the first one. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. That is the truth. I know. Right, so the yeah. minute, the minute, Gosh. in fact, I'll give you 30 seconds. In 30 seconds time, and this strand becomes available. You want to create the graduated strand. Wow. You want to work with this material. You're going to get the opportunity, but you just saw how low I took the other one. This is, this is a crime, what we're about to do with this next strand. Absolutely. Well done to everyone already calling. Well done to everyone already deciding, yeah, he's, he's going to do an incredible deal. He has to. Well, yeah, I mean, I put myself in a corner here. Do you know what? I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, right, what would I put this with? I'm th I, my first thought, I don't know why, was um, selenite, but then I'm thinking of the, some of the incredible jades that we bought you, like the red jade, the honey yep. jades, the Guatemala material, mm -hmm. black jade. You know, it's going to look incredible. Good luck. Best of luck. 75 carats. It's going to fly. Oh, okay, you're already in. You're already okay, multi -buying. It's already going. This is that, that final opportunity, that, that wow. landmark opportunity to own this material and it's limited as you can imagine you already know what you're not paying Gosh. you already know the kind of deals we've got lined up for you and i'm just yeah you can imagine how many people are multi-buying right now on yeah. the previous strand we had people oh, buying wow. fours and fives and threes and twos oh my god Oh, I mean, if we just said, you know, let's be honest, this is look at the color, look at the quality, look at this material, the original jade that no one else can get their hands on. And we just stood here and said, it's four grand. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like you cannot get it. Yeah. I'm going to start there if I may, Neri. 4,000 pounds. I just want to bring that in just to give some context and perspective to what we're doing right now. Do you know something? Occasionally, um, uh, Dave will bring something to air. You know, we'll bring something to air with Dave, and it's really exciting. And then occasionally, maybe a couple of weeks later, there might be a tiny little showcase that myself or Elle can bring to air, um, uh, which is really exciting. This this isn't going to happen. Bye bye. Yeah. This is this is it. This is gone. These like, are the like only said, two strands in the business. I've probably done hundreds of shows with Carol and Elle and here at the yeah. channel. Love it. I've never seen a response like this. Oh, it, it's I, I think huge. I joined it's you for the first, huge. the first birthday event that I joined you was last year. And it was so busy. It was so yeah, exciting. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, this Incredible surpasses deal. that. This surpasses that. Yeah, it really does. Like in terms of the demand immediately. Mm -hmm. There's £4,000 on the screen. And I've got, look, I tell you, Alison's got three. Ron's got three. Hazel's got two. Linen Wiltshire's Two's got three. Two, threes. Yeah, it's all going. It's all going today. Wow, look at the quality of this material. How many's on the strand? Gee whiz. Well, it might sell out before I finish counting, but uh, I'll have a go. Oh my God, good Absolutely. Look. And look, that, that gives us a, a chance actually to look at the incredible quality you've got here. I'm going to take um, 3,900 pounds off the price. Oh, lost count. Uh, just, sorry, sorry. Carl. Six, eight, 10, 12, 16, 18, We're 20, going to double 20, figures, 20, going 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 99 pounds. 28. Split payments, sorry. He's <laughs> saying numbers. Stop saying numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-one, these twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight, fifty, fifty-two, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-eight, sixty, sixty-one. Thank wow. You. Yeah. I went quiet there. I just wanted to carry the finish that. So I know how frustrating that was. So um, apologies. <coughs> Sixty-one of these incredible <coughs> rounds. Excuse me. Su super wow. gemmy, incredible material. If if you do not check out right now. You're not going to get it. You're as, not going to get it. Yeah, as individual pieces. Mm -hmm. That's how I would have expected to see these today. Yeah. 
three, a pack of three, yeah. a pack of one, mm -hmm. you know, what, you know, whatever it might be. We're always about bringing you the, the, the best value we can. And the, the, you know, had I been on Gempori, I probably would have done that. Separate the bin to earrings, separate, yes. right? When I'm, when I'm working with a jewelry maker, I want to give you the opportunity to create your jewelry. But right? that's the truth. I can't go, you, you'll know this, Wayne, because Wayne also helps with some of the buying that I do mm. for Gemporia. Sometimes we'll buy like a, you know, one strand of maybe say some seed pills. Some, yes. Some old Mickey Moto seed pills. Yes. And uh, someone will offer that to Wayne and Wayne will look, there's only one strand. Do you want to take it for Gemporia? And he's offering it me because he knows I can take all the pills off. Yes. And create you know, a trilogy ring, because they're seed pearls, right? Or I can create match pairs of earrings, we could break it up. Yeah. When we're looking for you guys here on Jewelry Maker, we want to give you those opportunities. You're the jewelry makers, you're the designers, you're the jewelers, you have your own uh, businesses. Absolutely. Right? So, w you know, would it make better sense for us to break this up? 100%. We've got, what, two strands and we've sold out this quick. But I'm going to offer you an exquisite opportunity. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to say, just remember what you're getting here. You're getting the original jade, the uh -huh. birthplace of jade in top gem. We'd take this if it was opaque because of the story and the provenance. Mm -hmm. Just to have it, wow. Mm -hmm. But it's gemmy. Yes. It's transparent. Okay, I, I will give you 30 seconds. This might be the most important 30 seconds that I've joined you for. Yeah. It's time to check it out. It's time to oh multi buy. It's time to get the last few remaining opportunities. Just to give you a stock seconds. update, yeah. three quarters of okay. the stock have well gone. Done. Well done. Oh my god. We should be stopped here. Oh, Bruce we literally be... thought you were going to bring in a clock to close then. Oh yeah, no, nice. I get it, I get it. We're so limited, it's about to sell out, but I am going to take this significantly lower. Oh this gosh. should be the price. You know, the previous one maybe should have been up at 199, 179. Oh. This should be at 99, kill a deal, get them gone. But we've gone low, it's live, we're reactive, we're working with you. Yep. We want you to get your deals, we understand. Oh my gosh. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, sometimes you win. <laughs> Today you're winning. Yes. Okay. 99.99 is incredible, but oh. I have to do this, and I shouldn't do it. I'm going to do this strand for 59.99. Absolutely incredible. Good luck. Good luck if you want to own this. Still available on three split payments yeah, there. That's, that's, you yes. can tell we prepared that three-way split pay to, to kind of take it to, the, the, to facilitate. The, yeah. yeah, that is in. Incredible. Are you going to miss out on the original Jade? The only time you're oh, ever going to see it. This isn't gonna, there's going to be no secondary show with the yes, last precisely. eight or 10 or 11. Yep. This is it. It's now or never. I've got Maker's got two. Uh, Jane's got two. Tracy's got three. Anne's got two. Valerie's got two. Susan's got two. Lynn's got three. Tanya's got two. Maker in Lancaster's got two. Swansea, you've got three. Cynthia, you've got two. Another collector in Saltburn's just got two of these. Carol, Jeannie, Maker, uh, Belfast, Maker, Ruth's Morag. got two. Yeah. Well done. Congre Carol's just got two as well. Well, yes. Catherine, you've just got two of these. Ruth, as you said, has got two. This is the way to do it. It really is the way to do it because, you know, you want to make that gorgeous Marley. You want to make that suite of jewelry, the necklace, the bracelet, the earrings. So you want to graduate this with the larger exactly. one? Exactly. You're going to need more than one strand. You've got your 30 day money back guarantee. The quality of what you're getting, what this means for your collection mm -hmm. is, is, is complete. It's a completely unique proposition that we're offering you today. Absolutely. Fifty nine ninety nine, an amazing deal for a gem where you, you cannot, you can't, you can't put into words how significant this opportunity no, is. It's absolutely incredible. Um, well done to everyone, well Hazel. Done. You just got two of these as well. Congratulations. There is still an opportunity. You have not missed out. You can do it, but you're going to have to be really, really quick. It's competitive. It is busy. It's a free phone number still. You've got the app. You've got the website. There's many different ways to be able to, you know, uh, get involved and beat the queues but you just have to make your decision. Well done, Hazel's just taken two as well. Congratulations, well done. Um, an amazing deal. 20 pound split payments. Three 20 pound split payments. I mean, absolutely ludicrous. Louise in Denmingshire, you can still get it. I can see it's in your basket, my lovely. And Mary in Cambridgeshire, well done to you. And another maker. <coughs> If you want to add on to your order, please, please do. Go, go, go. What a day. Oh, Sheila, well done. Taking that back to Belfast. Congratulations, my darling. Well done. The most amazing chance. The opportunity to add such a historically important... Okay, the minute clock's closed. Oh, I don't wow. Wanna, I don't want to oversell uh, this. Yeah, there's not so my many people with that in their baskets. This is your opportunity. You've got 57 seconds to make this yours, genuinely. Uh, you've probably got less than that, but we'll give you the 50 uh, seconds anyway. Oh, my word. What do you think the chances are of us getting 
you know, the other two. I'm glad you asked. Great, great shades. Well, I mean, by this logic, by the way that we've been working, you know, give me another four years. Well, it's that, well us, that's it. It's and, and you've, and you've come up this. with two strands. I mean, 100%. that's amazing, Dave, yeah. but. It's taken us four years to get this. Um, I did a deal on uh, Jamporia. It's always working, right? You see what we do bring you, but you don't see what we don't bring you. Yeah. I did a deal on, it's so funny, I did a deal on Jamporia the weekend just gone, and it was unheated tanzanite, right? And oh. there was a clip of foam no one's ever seen before, because oh. I never knew I'd get this deal. And when, when I introduced the clip of foam, I said, look, this is where the deal started. And it was three years ago, and I had long hair. Ah, oh, and, 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 and the clip had never been shown before, because we never knew that we'd get this deal over the line. And, and that's, oh. I love to be able to show you that, because it shows you, it was the gentleman that we bought it from, it was finally in the studio, most times we make a deal, we make a decision, we get it on your screen in like six to eight weeks. It took three, three years, years to get this deal. And it's taken us four years to get this. Yes. And you know, we, we are nowhere near close on finding new Shanjay, let alone agreeing a price. And the same with the turquoise. Now, can we get you Chinese turquoise? Yeah. Can I get you the grade that was considered jade? No, because it doesn't exist. We, we are, there are incredible families that, that have amazing lineage that we're working with, that we're trying to gain their trust, we're trying to talk to about the idea of maybe you know offering us some of these pieces but we're miles away but Gosh. we won't give up that's the thing you know if it takes years it takes years we will not give up on those uh, uh, projects so we we hope to bring them to you is the truth oh, i'd love that congratulations that would just be incredible. Anyone yeah. who was successful well done now i've got one more incredible piece of jade for you jade eye right and it's a carving now for anyone oh. who has joined me over the weekend after i returned back from hong kong i talked about how no one's carving jade eye anymore. In fact, there's a new type of carving which we're going to be introducing to you very soon. And it's extraordinarily special. It's called an illusion carving. Oh! Right? And, and it's, it's what Aspirate introduced to the West about two years ago. It's a laser technology, right? Okay. This is by hand, what I'm about to offer. Yes. The laser technology, the reason they're doing that is because jade is so scarce right now that they don't want to remove any carrot weight, right? So they are literally etching, you know, it, you can't even feel the microns yeah. yeah it's like way less than the width of a human hair yes yes into the surface of the jade this material is a thing of the past yeah this is gone this isn't being done anymore and i'm going to offer you this option of very limited like there's less than 15 of these oh wow it's a hand carved incredible oh, piece of God, jade this floral design yeah. and and the significance of something like this you remember jade doesn't have a price per carat jade is a piece of art you know each piece is, is valued by the piece and this is a masterpiece that's the reality Gosh. translucent top gem incredible detail incredible work and these opportunities are gonna be so few and far between moving forward like seeing something like this you're gonna have to be quick you are gonna have to snap them up and I'm gonna make it affordable even though everyone else is putting the prices up I saw a piece not too dissimilar to this in Tucson at the beginning of the year uh -huh. February and it was um, I was with presenter Hattie Mm. from our sister channel who came with us and, and you know we, no, no, um, you know, you guys know we do jade on both channels and it was a piece you know not too dissimilar to that and I said to Hattie I was like look at this it's Taipei I was like you know what, what price do you think she's thinking okay she said to me she voiced her words she was like we'd sell that at 299 I think yeah. so here we're trade so I'm guessing it's about $200 and I said turn it over it was twelve and a half thousand dollars oh wow that's, that's the reality and it wasn't like some sculpture. It was this big, Good like that. Grief. And in fact, I even did this, and I'll do it live, okay? If I can borrow it, Carol. Of course Bor you can. Apologies I can't us, believe you know. how much the industry has changed in the last kind of three, yeah. four years alone. But look. Oh my now, gosh, look The reason I'm that. showing you this. Oh, that's beautiful, you, Dave. The reason I'm showing you that is because the $12,500 piece, I had this same torch with me, couldn't do it. The light wouldn't go through it. And we really? know that's the most important factor in the jade yeah. value. This floral celebration, this incredible piece, very fitting. I mean, it could be an amazing piece for the neckline. Yes, you know, for sure. Or, or a cocktail ring with a coloured diamond Ooh, in the centre. Oh, my word. Sapphire. I'm going to bring this live. Uh, it's so limited. So limited. 60 carats. Not important. It's huge. Do you know something? We've done beautiful carvings with dragons and phoenixes on, and it's you know it's all very auspicious and. Well, you know the, um, the, the flower right now. But is, this is so. Well, Van Cleef just released. Yeah, well, Van Cleef just released their newest <coughs> collection. I don't know if you've seen it. You might have seen it. It's on social media or anywhere. Yeah. It's it's a floral collection. <coughs> I think it's literally called Flowers, right? And it's, it's amazing. It's their new collection for 2024. The floral things are huge right now. Yes. They always have been. They, they never go out of fashion. But to have it in jade eye. 
that's uh, something that you're not going to be able to boast in the future. Um, I think uh, a beautiful Jill and Paradise should sit in the middle. Oh, I agree. how I lovely. absolutely agree. In fact, we, we had a carved jadeite dragon on the weekend with, with the Peridot eyes. Oh. Yeah. And, and the demand for that was insatiable. And I never thought to think to put Peridot with jadeite. When you see it, I think I completely agree with the collector who just said, Maker and Swansea's bought two of these. Imagine yes. These, imagine these as a floral pair of earrings. I know, absolutely gorgeous. Or maybe a, uh, a Jedi red in the middle. I mean, that yeah. would just be incredible, wouldn't it? Something of that kind of colour. I'm, I'm going to start at 499. Wow. Wow. Which I think, I, I agree. I think that's incredible. Yeah. And then I'm just going to say, look, when, when I leave these showcase, I always like to go out of the bang. Always like to do something sensational and special. Um, I'm going to ask you to trust me right now because I'll give you a 30 second clock. How many of these do we have? Sorry, Neri. Oh, 13. Okay, 13. Gosh, that could go even I'm, I'm just going to tell you, I'm so confident. I'm just going to say, trust me, buy it now, get involved now. And if my deal isn't as good as I'm making out, cancel your order, I don't care. But you're going to miss out. There was 13. We're at 499, which is incredible. Hold on. I'm going to call a price. You're comfortable with this being on four interest free split payments? So I'm going to do a ridiculous deal. Oh my God. Uh -huh. that's, that's on you guys. A very um, nervous nod from Neri in there. Yeah, yeah no, go no, on. Yes, very reluctant. £99. Nine, not taking £99 off. split pay. Take £400 off. We're going to £99.99. I told you to trust me. So Hang this, on. this is Jadeite, Taipei, Burmese. That's £25 split payments. Yep. Oh my gosh. I would say, how many are you going to get? But we don't have enough to do that. Maker in Swansea was the first one in just oh. taking two, regardless. Wow. Got Valerie, Maker, Deborah, Sharon, Maker in Cumbria, Hazel in Hampshire, Janice, you're there. Make sure you're getting involved whilst this deal is available. That's incredible. That is ab after everything Dave's just said about uh, about being at Tucson, you know, yeah. the beautiful piece uh, um, uh, that he saw there. And absolutely 99.99, hundreds of pounds lower. Mm -hmm than where we should be at a jewellery maker price point. You know, in the trade, you know, good good luck with getting anything. Absolutely. Anything which is carved. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. Gerda, well done to you as well, my lovely. Literally down to the last three chances. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Mary in Cambridgeshire as well. Well done to you as well. Loads more of you coming through. This is absolutely incredible. Well done. Thank you so much, Dave. No problem, Carol. Thank you for having <gasps> me. Thank you to you guys as well for having me. We've got some very exciting showcases coming up this weekend yes. with you guys here at Jewelry Maker Friday and Sunday. You're not going to want to miss those. And for those of you right now that are tuned in, and there's a lot of you, keep your eyes on my social media, David Harry Jewels tomorrow. Yeah. Whether it's Facebook, Instagram, um, keep your eyes peeled. There is a massive announcement coming. The biggest announcement of my career. Um, it will be on social media tomorrow evening. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. David, Harry, Jules. Fantastic. Thank you so much, you Dave. Go. Right, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in a couple of seconds uh, with an amazing showcase. Hi, jewellery makers. I'm going to be back on the show this Saturday, the 16th of March, and I've got the most amazing projects to show you. So in the 9am, we've got some gorgeous gemstone nuggets. We've got Amazonite. We've got Appetite. We've got Adventurine and we've got Mexican Crazy Lace and Eight. Now, not only are you going to get the gorgeous gemstone nuggets in your project, but it also comes with a whole lot of ball pins and some chain and some clasps as well. So I've been working on multi-wear designs so you can detach this and wear it as a bracelet, a long necklace or a short chain. So because you've got all those lovely findings in your projects as well, that means that you can really be creative in your design process. And in the 12 o'clock, we've got beautiful 925 sterling silver gemstone connectors with gorgeous nylon cord. So I'm going to be doing lots of different type of knotting and macrame techniques for you in the masterclass. I'm going to be showing you how to make some lovely little bracelets using those gemstone connectors. I'm also going to be showing you how to make earrings and some lovely necklaces too. So I really hope you can come and join me on Saturday the 16th of March and I look forward to seeing you then. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. 
Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? Then why not treat them to a Jewelry Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewelry Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com, where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Ooh, have we got a gorgeous showcase for you. This is really, really, really good. We have got um, one of my all-time favourite gemstones for you now in a few different guises in strands and we've got gorgeous cabochons coming your way this is chrysoprase oh my gosh naturally this incredible color naturally this intense monica i love what you've made here it's quite egyptian isn't it i really like it with a rose gold that's exactly what it is isn't it yeah yeah. If you were to put that with lapis and carnelian, oh, you would have yes. the ultimate kind of Egyptian Absolutely. colorway, wouldn't you? And it almost it almost glows as if it's something ancient, doesn't it? Totally. <laughs> it totally does. You've got this incredible 
glowing presence to this gemstone. It looks amazing. Um, it's described by many as being the Australian Jade. Uh, when you get Australian Chrysoprase, um, it, it is, Australia isn't that far away um, from um, uh, places like China and Japan. Not that far away at all, really, relatively speaking. Um, you've got here a gemstone which is adored by many Eastern uh, gemstone collectors. I have to say the color for me, I almost couldn't believe it when I first came into contact with this gemstone. I couldn't believe that this gem was naturally like this, but it is totally 100% natural. I'm gonna get them off the strand actually, oh, we'll get them off the T-bar, because I just need you to experience this gem. When you see it against the skin, you go, wow, how can this be now? It is 100% natural isn't that gorgeous it's beautiful bright vivid zesty uh present it's just it is gorgeous comes out of the ground looking like that have a look at it though with a light behind it because it is honestly it is like electricity in a strand oh my gosh look at this Look at these, look at these. They're absolutely incredible, aren't they? Now, it, it, it's, not just, it's not just me, it's not just you know, me who, who loves this incredible gem. I know that presenter Elle absolutely adores this gem as well. Um, but have a little look at this. Um, there's an article by JC Casing, an ode to green gemstone jewelry, but mostly chrysoprase. I love that. Oh, where's the clicker? There's Davis, he put it over there. Little scamp. What's he done with the clicker? Let's have a look. Oh, it's here. It's here. Oh, I got it. An ode to green... Oh, hello. Have I just pressed that? An ode to green gemstones, but mostly chrysoprase. Sorry. Um, that was from JCK magazine. This is from the jeweller magazine. Getting to know chrysoprase, the Australian jade. The GAA's Australian gemstone uh, sales continue with chrysoprase. A gemstone that's said to bring good fortune and prosperity to those who wear it. Um, the the uh, the colour which you get here is very much connected to its name. So any gemstone where it's got praise in it basically means green um, or leek like. I think it means actually. Um, Van Cleef have created the most incredible pair of clip-on Alhambra earrings with chrysoprase in them. What does this gem remind you of? Does it remind you of anything? Well, it reminds me of images of, images I've seen on television, on the Antiques Roadshow, and pieces I've seen in books, pieces of Imperial Jade, which is why it's known as the Australian Jade, because of its, it's got no relation to Jade whatsoever. It's a, it's a member of the Calcedony family. Um, but the colour, the natural colour you get this gemstone in is absolutely akin to the glow and quality you get with Imperial Jade. Look at this gorgeous uh, brooch, Peapod brooch, made by Tiffany & Co. A snip at £33,200, euros, sorry, I beg your pardon. And that's chrysoprase and yellow gold. Well, I've got a strand you could create a design like that of right here. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So, we've got Tiffany using it. You've got Van Cleef using it. Who's wearing it? So there's gorgeous um, Naomi Watts wearing a pair of earrings there and she's got the gorgeous, I mean, you can see the chrysoprase a million miles off, can't you? You can see that incredible intensity of color. It's like it's got, I mean, you described it as a glow moniker. Yeah. It's like it's got an electrical charge yes, in it, isn't it? Absolutely. Isn't that just gorgeous? I mean, that's the first thing you notice when you look at that picture of her, isn't it? Isn't it? 
Um, chrysoprase is one of the rarest and most valuable forms of chalcedony, which is a cryptochrysoline variety of quartz. Um, it's got that purity. It's a bit like comparing. It's a bit like comparing your jadeite and nephrite. Nephrite's got that really fine grain going through it. This is how Guess the Sign of Susie described it anyway. And with chrysoprase, it's got that purity, that smoothness going through it. I'm going to show you again with a light through it. Just look. Oh my gosh. Just look at that glow. That kind of near electrical charge going through these gems. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? It's just, it's just, it's just incredible. Oop. Sorry. Look wow. at that. <laughs> oh gosh. Look at that. You couldn't ask for anything better, could you? No. <laughs> now, um, oh sorry. Blind anybody. Um, you've got, if you break it down, a gem which is coloured by traces of nickel, its name derives from the word chrysos, which means gold, and prasos, which means leek. Um, in its finest form, the bright green ornamental gemstone has a glowing ethereal quality. Well, we've just witnessed that. Chrysoprase possesses a soft translucence similar to an opal. Yes, an intense colour rivaling that of imperial Burmese jade. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely, that's what we're witnessing here. A soft translucency, like an opal. And an intense colour rivaling that of imperial Burmese jade. Peter Carl Fabergé, famous Russian jeweller on the 19th, uh, uh, of the 19th uh, century, often employed chrysoprase in his virtuoso creations. Queen Anne of England also favoured chrysoprase in the 18th century, and its popularity continued through Queen Victoria's reign. So this is not a new kid on the block. This is not a new gemstone. This is not a new thing. <coughs> <coughs> I've got a gorgeous, a gorgeous pair of twin brooches to show you here. If that, that looks like Imperial Jade, doesn't it? They're actually Victorian chrysoprase, boxed on first dibs. Twenty-six thousand pounds. Wow. Let's round it up. Twenty-six thousand pounds. That quality you're getting there, I would say, is on a par with what we've got for you today. I'll be honest with you, I am never, and neither are, you know, many of us watching today. Never going to be able to afford to buy Imper Burmese Imperial Jade. Never going to be able to afford to buy that. I can't, I can't afford it. I'm never going to be able to afford it. You've seen that piece which Dave showed us, that little tiny cabochon on, on, the, end of, um, uh, um, on the end of his finger. Photographed, and how much was that? Something like 11, 11 grand or something. I can't remember exactly how much it was. But it was a huge amount of money. I can't afford that and very few people can and it's just one of those things. Certain things you can afford, certain things you can't afford. Certain things it's not even worth thinking about because you just know, I'm just never gonna be able to afford that. But I know what I can do. I can get the look. I can afford the look. Now, this bracelet here on first dibs, beautiful. Diamond chrysoprase 18 karat white gold made in Italy bracelet. 3,000, no, sorry, what was that price? 7,712 pounds and 48 pence. I can't afford that, but I could afford today to buy multi strands of that, get one of our lovely ornate clasps, attach that all together and create my own look. Using chrysoprase, using precious metal, it won't be white gold, who cares, don't care about that. I'd much rather have silver than white gold. She says wearing a white gold wedding band, but I would, I would, I genuinely would. It's much better metal to use in your jewelry. I can afford this. I can afford multiples of this and I can make that bracelet on first dibs. And I know it's gonna cost me significantly less than seven grand. 
I know it's going to cost me less than £700. This is gorgeous. This is exceptional. Now, I've also got this strand here. I've also got cabochons. What we're actually going to start with, oh my gosh, this is just a beautiful showcase. What we're, what we're actually starting with is a strand which, can I show you those Van Cleef earrings again? Just because they're gorgeous. They're nice, aren't they? Beautiful, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Really stunning earrings. How much are they? 11,000 pounds, 10,899 pounds. I'd love to be able to make those. Bit of bezel strip, bit of gallery wire. Oh, hello! Hello, hello! Chrysoprase, Van Cleef inspired, four leaf clovers. Oh. Starting at 199. No way near done, no way near done. Ready? One crash. Literally only got a few strands available. Looks like Burmese Jade gives you the quality. And today, 40 pounds. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy, it's crazy. It is, yeah. Now you might be saying, oh yeah, but those Van Cleef earrings, they're made with, uh, they're made with Imperial Burmese Jade. No, they're not, they're made with Chrysoprase. And you might be saying, well, they, uh, well the Chrysoprase they've used in those earrings is significantly, significantly better quality. No, it's not. Look at it. It's exactly the same. It's exactly the same, isn't it, Bruce? Well, for, Identical. Well, for one thing, that, that's probably... <laughs> they're on very, thereabouts. That's probably a very thin slice as well. Well, that's exactly what I was going to say. It's a slice, it's claw set, it's really beautiful, but yeah, it's a slice. Yeah. Whereas these are three-dimensional puffy four-leaf clovers. Absolutely incredible. Yours today, Pamela, Swansea, Maker, Kent, Julie, Maker, well done to you. Yours today for 39 99 one chance remaining. Well done, go, 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 go. Check out your baskets, well done. <coughs> One left on those. Right, next. Oh my gosh, this next strand is beautiful. I love every single strand. You're going to hear me say that a lot. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my word, this is beautiful. Oh yes. Monica's design, absolutely gorgeous. Hang on, Monica. I was gonna, I was gonna do this. You never mentioned he had these, otherwise I would have I know, them. right? <laughs> if we'd have given Monica free reign, she would literally have taken them all. She'd be sitting oh, there like a. That. A jade goddess. Look at these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mamma mia, earrings. Oh, oh my gosh, can you imagine a pair of earrings? Yes. Now, what would it be about, sorry, I'm holding that in a really weird place. What would it be about making these into earrings that would be so amazing? So if I'm being honest, if I made these into earrings, I know what they're gonna look like. They're gonna look like great big jade earrings, yeah? I know they're not, and I'm not making them because I want them to look like Jade. I'm making them because they've got the same... Oh, what? What? Where am I putting my arms? I've got no idea what's going on here. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm making them for the statement. Yeah. Now, yeah, I don't... I'm not trying to fool anyone. I'm not trying to say, these are real Jade. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to imply anything. All I'm saying is, these have the same impact as Imperial Jade. But at 49.99 they are infinitely more affordable they are just gorgeous hi carol and monica and all at jm i love gazing at my gemstones via my magnifying torch uh, bought from jm fascinating i really should be making jewelry oh julie just 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 watch just do whatever you need to do <laughs> do whatever you need to do enjoy the show my lovelies well done next that one's pretty much gone i think these are gorgeous i'm gonna say that with literally every strand faceted cubes Ooh. Wow. Now, Monica, how can I get the most out of these? Faceted cubes. Oh, well, they sort of tessellate together really nicely. Yeah. So things like in your loom work or... Oh, wow. Or, well, you can do pretty much anything with cubes that you can do with, uh, with rounds as mm. well. Uh, you, can, you can frame them with, with seed beads. You can Lovely do, idea. Oh, you can do all sorts of things. Macrame, anything you want, really. It just gives a... I think it gives a more... <laughs> Excuse the pun, a more edgy look. <laughs> yes, no, 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 I think you're absolutely right. First two strands, sold out. Sold out, gone. 
Mm. Whereas with the rounds, you get a more classic look, whereas this is a bit more, well, edgy. Yeah, edgy. No, 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 you're absolutely right. It's a little bit more modern, isn't it? Yeah. It literally looks like these have got a charge going through them. Yeah. Like an electric charge going through them. Look at that recording. Bruce, can you clarify? There's no there's no light inside these gems. You haven't done any, there's no trickery here. There's no light inside these gems. There's no trickery. There's no trickery. These are all beautiful, all natural. Absolutely, oh my gosh, yes. Here we go, how many do we have, Neary? Oh, come on, say we got loads. Oh, come on, 20 odd available. Maker in Swansea, Maker, Linda in East Riding of Yorkshire, 29.99. Another, oh, another going to Swansea. Congratulations, my darling, well done. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely amazing. You know, it kind of, uh, I make wide weight rings with most of my cube shapes. Loving the show as always, says Julie. Oh, yeah. thanks, darling, bless you. Yeah, rings, amazing. That would be absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't even necessarily go for one of the largest ones. I'd probably go for this, you know, one of the little baby ones here. Yeah. You know, a trilogy ring made with those three. And what's so cool about this is, I mean, I would definitely use uh, gold-plated silver wire with this or gold, you know, gold, gold alongside this for me, it would be what I would go for. Um, it's a wonderful gem in its own right. And it kind of, I'm irritating myself really, kind of, you know, I keep up, keep bringing up Burmese jade, imperial jade, but I'm never gonna be able to afford it. Do I wanna get the look of it? Well, yeah, I do. Why? Because of the statement. This gem does it and it's not dyed, it's not coated, it's not diffused, it does it naturally. And in Pembrokeshire, congratulations, Swansea's got two. Maker and Wiltshire, this is about to sell out. Go, 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 go. Three chances left, we've got Linda, Maker in Somerset, Mary. Maker's got four in the basket. Oh gosh, we haven't even got that many left. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. We want every single one of these to sell out today. Well done. <gasps> Cambridgeshire, Somerset. Maker, if you want four, do it now. Well done. Go, 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 go. Well done. Absolutely tremendous. Neary, there's so many good strands here. I, I, I literally, I want them all. I want them all. I literally want them all. Can I, can I give you, as well, a slightly odd kind of slide to show you, but it occurred to me the last time I bought you these, what these remind me of. If you've ever seen, and I've only ever seen this in the States, but I'm sure that it must be a thing over here as well. Jadeware. You've seen Jadeware? Oh. Are you familiar with Jadeware, Monica? No, actually. It's basically glass. It's glass homeware, so you can get like bowls and plates and all this kind of stuff. People have them in big glass fronted kind of cabinets, oh, like right. dresses and they put um, ultraviolet light strips oh, right. in them. And when you turn them on, it glows. Wow. It's like going into an aquarium. It just glows, it's absolutely beautiful. This is what, this, the quality of this material reminds me of this. This is a natural gemstone, that's glassware. Sorry, it's a really tiny little slide in there, isn't it? Sorry. Um, but it just, it just reminds me very much of that. Right, the next strand you're gonna love. This is stupid. Right, I'm gonna show you an image of a piece of jewelry that I found, this. Colleen B. Rosenblatt, uh, Chrysoprase Necklace. Awesome name, awesome <laughs> necklace. 10 grand, oh, almost 11. Hmm, if only we had a strand that we could make, of that, make that kind of necklace with. If only, Bruce, if only, Michael, if only, oh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, wow. Now, this is edgy. I, this is edgy, actually, Monica. I like ours better because it's faceted, essentially, whereas yeah. those are just um, like tumbles. Tumbles, exactly. Yeah. Ours are faceted. Don't they look awesome? Wow. <laughs> they really, really do. <gasps> Absolutely. Oh, wow. Look at these trapezoid shaped kind of facets. Some of the, look at that, what, what shape is that? I don't even know what shape that is. It's got four sides, but you've got all sides of different shapes. Well, you see, what I'd like to do with this is to bezel the different shapes and then somehow set them together in sort of like a bib style in different directions. 
Mm. That would look amazing. It's so that cool. would look almost like a plate that you'd broken yes. and then kind of fused yes. it back together. Oh, what's that called? Uh, that Japanese technique? Kintsugi. Like, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You need to use gold seed beads. With yeah. it, though. You'd have to use either galvanized or, or your uh, gold uh, kind of lined seed beads. You'd have to do that. Do you know what I mean about gold? I mean, so you put whatever metal you like with it if you really want to. But for me, yeah. it's got to be gold. I mean, I love the rose gold with it. But I think to, for, for my personal taste, that was sold out, twenty nine ninety nine. well done. My personal taste says gold. Goldy, goldy, goldy. I think with this gem, for me, and again, this is my personal opinion, more is more. Yes. More is more. More is more. Certain things, it's like delicacy, refined under the radar this is like hello i'm here <laughs> look at my chrysoprase by cones these are lovely <whistles> little bit lighter in color taking our foot off the accelerator a little bit color wise but absolutely stunning ever so slightly ombre as well can you see that slightly kind of more vivid there petering out a little bit to there just beautiful uh your hematite space is here this is already selling this is already selling okay so every single strand is sold out already the last round that we did, we've got one left of. So if you want to get it, go. So you've got hematite and you've got your chrysoprase here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. Hang on, that's not the price. Cambridgeshire, well done to you, my lovely. Go, 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 make up. Well done. Now, quite a few of the strands that we bought you so far are very, very large. This one's so gorgeous because there's a little bracelet. How cute is that? Oh. Other bike cones which we bought you, which I would put this with. I might try and do a yin yang 50 50 style bracelet. 50% half of it, literally from there and round with Chrysoprase. There and round, maybe with black jade bike cones, maybe? Or. Garnet. That would put it with garnet. Oh! Yeah. Now that's a nice idea. Garnet. Yes, and gold. Yeah, because garnet is also beautiful with gold, isn't it? Gosh, I've never, I've never even entertained. The th I, see, I'm thinking of matching those colours, whereas you're thinking of going against those colours. Kind of, yes. I'm thinking carnelian, fire opal, same vivid kind of quality, different colours but same vividness. Whereas garnet totally changes it and makes it much more refined, doesn't it? I think it's going to stand out a lot from the garnet, actually, isn't it? it yeah, most definitely. Joanne, Linda, Maker, Ivy, Maker, Mary, Maker, Maker. Oh, gosh, there's absolutely loads of you there. Well done. Northumberland's through. Congratulations. Well done. I mean, I suspect that's why they put the hematite spaces in there, because they could have put some green spaces in there, whatever. Oh, the hematite's a, 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 a no-brainer, isn't it? It really makes it stand yeah. out, I think. Doesn't it? Just... And do you know something, you know, I was, I was saying this to, um, I went to the hairdressers yesterday, I was saying this to, um, uh, yesterday, the weather is really lulling us into a false sense of security at the minute. It was beautiful weather on Saturday, gorgeous, crisp, fresh spring. Sunday was like the end of the world. <laughs> yesterday was blooming awful. And it's just so, I just don't know where I am with the weather at the minute. I don't think anybody does. And I'm, 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 I'm seeing daffodils, I'm seeing crocuses, I'm seeing magnolia trees out, but it's still tipping it down. Mm. This for me, is that little thing to grab onto that kind of like yes spring is on its way lighter mornings are you know are on their way we've got spring equinox next week the first day of spring next yeah. thursday yeah and then the clocks and that the clocks change as well do the not, clocks change not, on the sunday yet, at the end of the end of the month is it the end of the month yeah easter sunday oh gosh there's a lot happening that weekend oh gosh they go <laughs> forward so we yeah, lose an hour. We lose an hour, but it's going to be light in the evenings, which is nice. So it's going to be light. At the, oh, gosh. I, I'm, yeah, I'm lost. Right, where are we going now? <laughs> Numero uno. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, my gosh. What other gem would work in these kind of... Look at that. Oh, come on. Let's get the light behind it. Come on, we've got time. Ooh! Oh, my word. Do you know something? Um... So, chryso meaning gold, praise meaning leak, I think it is. Yeah, leak as in, not as in a leaky tap, but leak <laughs> as in, leak as in uh, the vegetable. Those are leaky greens, aren't they? Well, I was just going to say, you can see where the name comes from, because that's definitely a leak colour, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. It's not a spinach colour. No. It's not a uh, pea green. It's not a... Uh, a lime green, it's a leaky green. 
absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that stunning? I think Michael actually went to sleep for a moment there. Bless him. Here we go. We're at 89.99. Absolutely tremendous. These are, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and start to say, oh, yes, Woody, you could use them as spaces. No. no. <laughs> These are most definitely statements. <laughs> Anybody who tells you otherwise is well, literally, you know, they've never looked at this you're using them as, you know, in between. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> Looking for a little space, a little space of bead. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. No. These are statements. That for me is a pendant and a pair of earrings. A pendant and a pair of earrings, giving you every ounce of statement that an Imperial Jade will bring you naturally, all the way from Australia. The Australian Jade, because of its colour. And I'm never going to be able, I, I can never afford Jade that looks like this, but I can afford this at $29.99. Go, 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 go. You set that. And actually, what would you rather have? Oh gosh, this is gonna this is gonna upset the apple cart. What would you rather have? Type C jadeite, which is gonna be, let's for argument's sake say six times the price of where we are now. Type C jadeite. So it's not natural, it's gonna be acid treated, polymer filled, all that kind of stuff. Or Natural price appraised for 30 quid. I know what I'd rather have. Boom. There you go. There you go. 29.99. Kent, Cambridgeshire, Merseyside, Cambridgeshire. Well done, maker. There's no faking it. That is absolutely 100% natural. Well done. Gorgeous. Love it. Right, shall we do a star buy? It's time for the drops. These are, are these new? Brand new. Star by, let's go. Oh my gosh, Monica. You see, you were given the option of the three strands. Faceted rondelles, faceted rounds and the drops. I love what you've done here. I love it. I went Egyptian. <laughs> yeah, it works. That's such a nice piece of jewelry. Because it just gives me sort of this ancient feeling, this gemstone, I don't know why. It's crazy, isn't it? Mm. It's amazing how certain gemstones bring 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 a feeling, bring a thing, yes. bring a bring something out of you. Well, that's where you, you, that's where you get a lot of inspiration for the jewelry that you make. You know, you might get another gemstone which is exactly the same shape, exactly the same size, maybe even a similar color, but you might you you'd be inspired by it in a different way. Yeah, the gut instinct is different, mm. isn't it? But it's interesting. You said um, Egyptian. That's exactly what I thought when I saw this piece. You imagine popping in maybe a few lapis or carnelian or whatever it might be. Now on the strand, you're getting a lot of drops, okay? On this particular strand, I'll count. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 16, 18, 20. It's 20 drops, okay? Now, obviously, this is a very big, a very statementy look that Monica's created here. And she's absolutely right to do that. If I was making to sell, or if I was making to, yeah, if I was making to sell, what I would probably do would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of earrings. That's if I was making to sell. And I wouldn't, I would treat them as if I was making a pair of Imperial Jade earrings. I wouldn't overcomplicate them. I wouldn't set them with lots of other gems or do any, try, try and do any kind of fandangled um, uh, 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 kind of technique. I would literally get these gold plated silver wire, little wrap as um, Monica's done beautifully. Pop them on the earring findings. In fact, our deal of the day tomorrow, which are absolutely gorgeous. Put them on the earring findings and literally just 10 pairs of drop earrings. That gives you the statement 
that gives you the pop, that gives you the look. Morning Gorgeous Girls, Christ of Praise is in my top three favourite gemstones and those glowing drops are literally dreamlike. They're, take my money now, says Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, do you know what? Oh, hello, my darling. Um, great to hear from you. I have to say, Christ of Praise, and I've only, been, I've only been aware of Christ of Praise for the last three, four years. It's in my top three. I actually prefer this to Emerald, uh, don't, but don't tell my husband. But, <laughs> but, I, but I do. Because it, it gives you everything I look for in an Emerald times 10. It's got that natural ability to give you electricity and charge and glow and color. That, I have to keep reminding myself, and I'm doing it for my benefit, not for yours. This is natural. This is how it comes out the ground. It's not heated or diffused or filled or coated or dipped in whatever. This is all natural. 20 natural chrysoprase drops. Gee whiz, this is stupidly low. Okay, ready, here we go. Here's your deal. 19 pounds and 99 pence. Absolutely crazy. We've got Virginia, we've got Anne, we've got Debbie, we've got Maker, we've got Maker in Swansea, we've got Maker in Holland, we've got Mary, Linda, Lisa, Suja, Angela, Elizabeth, Catherine, Maker. It's gone absolutely crazy. It's yours today for 20 pounds. Nikki, Cheryl, Maker, Linda, Lucien, well done to you, Cheryl. Oh my gosh, Tina, well done to you as well. If you want a multi buy, go for it. Go, 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 go. Now you can make that gorgeous big statement piece if it's for you. Don't get me wrong. If I was making for me, just just me, or to gift, I would make something like Monica's made here. But if I wanted to get the very most out of it, money wise, I'd make earrings. And how much will I sell each one of those pairs of earrings for? Oh, I don't know. Per pair. No less than kind of 50 pounds. No less than 50 pounds. You make those 10 pair, 10 times over. The strands only cost you 20 quid. Eight chance, seven chances left. Well done, Maker Northumberland. Angela, Yvonne, well done to you as well. Angela's got two, well done. Sorry? It's, yeah, costing about two pounds to make a pair of earrings. That's absolutely crazy. That is absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. And I'm amazed that you managed to do a, a a showcase on Christ of Praise because we hardly ever see it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, I've only done one of the one of the uh, uh, showcase of Christ of Praise, and it was yeah. just literally a few weeks ago. We, we haven't had enough of it. Yeah, I remember I saw it once when I was on the show, which was when we were still in Ivy House, and there was one strand, and that was it. And they were tumbles. Mm, no, I think those were those were drops, but smaller. Oh, than were they drops? Yeah, but there were only like three on a strand. Yeah, it, 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 it. it's three it's it's an incredible gemstone to have, but we haven't had it for that long. Let's let's not let's not forget. Monica's absolutely right. Three years ago, maybe we had one strand, one yeah. rogue strand. Now this bracelet here, I want to make this. I want to make this. Mm. Now. You look at, um, I don't know. Gosh, let's try and draw a comparison. You go to a designer shop. You go to a Christian Lambutan shop and you look at their beautiful high heels and you look at them and go, gosh, gee whiz. I totally understand where the price of them comes from, the materials and the know-how that goes into them. But if you wanted to say, I want to make a pair of those shoes, you need the finest Italian leather. You need the finest this, that, and the other. You need to get the red sole. You need to get the finest this. You need the skill set. This piece on first dibs, I can literally offer you everything you need to make that bracelet on Jewelry Maker for a fraction of the price. We're at 49.99. Swansea's got two strands. Renfrewshire, well done. Maker, well done. Maker, you want two? Check out now. Do it now. Honestly, trust me, it's going to go low. <coughs> I can offer you the clasp. I can offer you the beading thread. All you need to do is be there. Look at that incredible image of that beautiful first dibs piece and go, ah, yeah, I reckon I know how to do that. Honestly, that is not rocket science. That is a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven strand bracelet. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Entirely up to you, Swansea, Oxfordshire. Ready, steady. 
£24.99. Now, let's say you need, I don't know, four strands. Four strands to make that bracelet? 100 pounds. 100 pounds, how much is the clasp gonna cost? At the very most, let's say 20 pounds. So for 120 pounds, there or thereabouts, you can make that bracelet from all of our materials on Jewelry Maker. Or you can buy that one from First Dibs for 7,712 pounds. That's it, isn't it? Master in Swansea. Hi, you're loving your programme today. Thought I'd mention that Chrysoprase translated from uh, Greek is gold green. Ah, there we go. Cheers, Master. Thank you. There you go. Gold green. The glow you're getting, the quality you're getting is absolutely incredible. And um, uh, do you know what would have been uh, lovely if you'd have worked with the other strand as well? You've created this gorgeous necklace here with the beautiful drops, with the gorgeous rondelles, but putting the rounds in there as well. Oh, yeah. Maybe as another little layer would have been Ooh. just in that that would have made it into even more of a collar, wouldn't yeah, it? Definitely. Can you imagine that? Susie made a beautiful chrysoprase bracelet. It started my collection. Yeah, sometimes that's all you need. Sometimes you just need to see a guest designer working with it, or it being put with another gemstone. Or in, in this instance, seeing it with rose gold. That's really inspired me. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Virginia's got three. Well done to you. Patricia's got two. Well done to you. Maker and Swansea's got three. There's loads of you there. Well done. Shall we do the rondelles? <clears throat> oh yeah, here it is, lovely. Gosh, look at this beautiful piece that Susie made there. Ah! It's actually quite similar to the, the £7,000 bracelet. It's just a different, different clasp because it's also like a multi-strand. It's not too, it? yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Not too dissimilar at all, is it? <laughs> I bet you that didn't cost Susie £7,000 from Jewelry Maker, the components. Rondells, anyone? <laughs> Rondells. Oh yes, Neri, here we go. Oh gosh, look at that, look at that, I want that. That's what I want. I'm gonna get some gorgeous gold-plated sterling silver spaces and just dot them. I'm not even gonna count. One there, one there, one there, one there. Just go for it. Oh, look at the range of colors and tones you're getting there. Isn't it just such an exciting gem? Totally natural, $17.99 for you today. Holland, Pembrokeshire's got two. Lorna, Beverly, Swansea, Kent, Makeup, well done. <clears throat> 50 seconds of it taking the details away, well done. That is absolutely crazy, well done. I mean, that, brilliant those deal. two strands that I used for that necklace, the yeah. two together wouldn't even cost you 38 pounds. I mean, where on earth are you gonna find a necklace like that? <laughs> Out of price of praise. And it's so interesting. Do you know what, Monica? I think that because of its colour, because of its likeness to Burmese jade, people will slap a much higher price point on it yes. because of that. Yes. Isn't that crazy? And it's actually a beautiful gemstone in its own right. I mean, even if you don't say that it looks like jade, it's a it's a, a it's got subconscious the subconscious thing, I think. Absolutely subconscious. It is a subconscious kind of like bubbly. It's the subtext of the piece, isn't it? I think it's absolutely incredible. Well, so do you. Congratulations, well done. There's loads of you there. Well done. Um, have a look. Have a very quick look at it with the mountain jade, because it all looks rather lovely together. Yeah. Yep. 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 No. Oh. Okay. Here we go. So let's do. Oh my gosh. Brand new strand, should be a star buy. Brucey, let's have a look at, oh. <sighs> Take the lights down low. Sorry, Monica, let you shine that right in your eyes then. Look at the state of that. The question is, what do you prefer? Type B, type C, jade, it's gonna be treated, it's dyed, you know, whatever it is. And it's many, 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 many times the price point that this is gonna be. Or this, which is totally natural, same level of kind of translucency, if you like, 
for an infinitely lower price. Look at that colour. My gosh. Just one in the middle of a bracelet would be enough, wouldn't it, Monica? Are you converting me to green? <laughs> yes, I think <laughs> I am. Working. But honestly, I'm yet to come across a person that doesn't, that isn't deeply affected by chrysoprase. Yes. Yes, it's Whether it's because of its similarity to other gemstones or its incredible powerful colour. Yeah. I love it. I adore it. I adore it. I love it. For me, it's that glow. That glow that you don't see in a lot of gemstones. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Brand new strand, special deal. Oh, yes, brand new strand, everyone. It's a brand new strand. Staffordshire, Pembrokeshire, Cambridgeshire, Swansea. Mm. 20 quid. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that is an absolutely crazy deal. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. It is flying out the door. Well done. What a deal for you today. What a chance for you to own something so beautiful, so bright, so translucent and 100% natural. Well done, Maker in Newport. Well done, Teresa in Staffordshire. Surrey, Northumberland, Newport. Well done to you as well. Go, 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 go. Absolutely ludicrously low. Well done, Maker in Gloucestershire as well. We've got you there. Congratulations, my lovely. Well done. It's just phenomenal. Well done, Pauline Maker. Well done to you, Mary. Uh, Mariska and Anne. Well done to you as well. Mary in Surrey, Yvonne in Berkshire. Pauline in Greater Manchester. Well done. You're doing absolutely brilliantly. Congratulations, everybody. Go, go, go. £19.99. pence. Well done. I'm absolutely blown away for all of you. I really genuinely am. That's just gorgeous. Well done. We've still got one more strand, did you say, Neary? No more. Oh, gosh, no. Ah! Cabochons coming up. Let's do them. How many cabs do you get? Is it one? No, three. No, two. There's, two? There's another one a little bit further forward on the desk. There it is. There it is. Got it. It's getting away. <laughs> okay, so. You know that gorgeous kind of um, Imperial Jade cabochon which Dave was quoted a price on by his mate Stanley. <laughs> Look what I've got here. Cab. My gosh, look at this colour. Cab. This one's slightly lighter. Still totally natural. Absolutely beautiful. Horses for courses, really. Whichever one you want to go for. Well, you're going to be getting all three. 10 by 8, 10 by 9, 12 by 10. So you could make, if you wanted to, a lovely pendant going boom. Oops. Boom. Boom. So large, medium, and small all together like that. That would be just gorgeous, wouldn't it? Absolutely stunning. Look at this also on the back of the hand. <sighs> Doesn't that look great? Amazing colour. Opal-like translucency described as having. Isn't that gorgeous? Maker and Kent, you're already through. Well done. I would love to see somebody setting these incredible gemstones into into a piece of hand major oh my gosh 9.99 wow 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 under 10 pounds for you today well done maker in hollands well done to you another maker this time in kent congratulations well done to you loads of you coming through absolutely brilliant well done Gorgeous, well done. Holland, fantastic, well done. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Well done, go, 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 go. Mary in Cambridgeshire, Hilda, well done to you as well. Absolutely incredible. Well done, everybody. Okay. What a gorgeous collection. Yeah, almost all of it's already sold out. There's only like literally twos left of so many items. So please, please, please add them to your order as soon as you can. Well done. Shall we bring you a carving? Should we do it? Stand by. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, this is absolute. Oh. You know these carvings, you end up looking at them and then seeing so many things. Yes. So, 
Yeah, the carvings we bought you at the weekend in the Olmec are uh, completely sold out. We had a message in asking if we had any more Olmec, oh uh, which uh, the, you're li we're literally clutching your straws. There's hardly any available. There is this one though. Now, I've just literally seen, if I kind of get the light, oh, blimey, that light's really bright. If I put the light behind it, you'll be able to see most of it. I just certainly don't want to do that because it just completely, you won't be able to see any of it. Down here, and so so let, let's have a look at the, the background. You're getting beautiful kind of um, rocky kind of cliffs. You can see those? There, you've got like a little moon or a sun in the sky. As you come down, you've got trees kind of on the uh, edge of the uh, cliffs coming outwards. You've then got birds swooping into the valley. There's another tree down here. Right at the bottom here, you've got a little house and the house is on stilts. And I've just seen, I mean, this is the detail, this is the level of detail that we go to. I've just seen the stilts of the house that go into water have got tiny little ripples around the stilts. Right at the bottom here, you've got a bridge going over the water. Isn't that magical? Waterfalls in the background. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to get it from the other side as well. Is that two people on the bottom left? It certainly looks like it is, right. yeah. Let's have a look at it from the front. So you've got your little little house at the bottom there. Yeah, people crossing the bridge. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Isn't that just gorgeous? The most wonderful material. The most gorgeous quality of carving. And I have to say what I like about this one as well, Monica, is it's not too large. Some of the carvings yeah. that we did were absolutely huge. And, and you know, there's a suggestion, oh yes, where is a pendant? Like, oh my gosh, really? <laughs> I don't know whether I'd feel like I could. Where is this? I absolutely would do. I could do, definitely. The back is really beautiful. It's got that lovely smooth quality. You can see there's ever such a slight grain going down the back as well, which is just gorgeous. And that lovely kind of dish, which has been carved out of the back as well. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So beautiful, so contained, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Such a lot of detail to get on a relatively <coughs> modest canvas size wise quality wise this is absolutely and you can tell by the by the translucency which we've just shown you can tell it's imperial grade can't you absolutely 100 percent imperial grade olmec absolutely gorgeous we're starting off at this price here that is a closing price 399 happy to close Of all the carvings we've bought you, what have been the ones that have stood out most for you? Maybe the ones that have been really intricate. Maybe the ones which have had the most uh, relevant kind of subject matter for you. Maybe the ones which have been carved out of the best material. Maybe the ones which have been kind of one of a kind. Maybe the ones which have had, I don't know, 150 of. What about the ones that have been the best deals price-wise? where the prices of the carving has been really significantly lower than you thought it was going to go. 399, amazing. What about 199? What about lower? 10 seconds, we are going low. How low are we gonna go, Neary? Are you really going to do this straight away? 199 would be amazing. 149 would be incredible. 99.99. Now you can have 
an imperial grade Olmec carving for £100. I just think, I think that's absolutely incredible. Congratulations, well done. Your split payments stay, by the way, to £24.99. Four individual split payments of under £25. Absolutely amazing. Well done, Virginia. Well done, Mary in Cambridge. You've got two in your basket. Well done. There's another maker there with two in the basket as well. Well done. Check out as soon as you can. The most amazing deal for you today. Well done. 11 chances in the building, remain. That literally is it. I want to have a look at it with the gorgeous. Oh, Patricia, maker in Swansea. Well done to you. Look at it with the gorgeous mountain, Jade. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Yeah. Two of those look, I mean, from different continents, from different parts of the world, but look great together, don't they? Well done. Patricia, well done to you, my lovely Middlesex. You once had a little round with a rabbit on. I didn't get it, but I wish I had. Oh, I know oh. the one you mean. It had a moon and a rabbit. Yes, I know the one you mean, Amanda. Oh, darling. Ah. Don't regret it. Don't regret not getting these pieces. Yeah, those rabbits, they're never going to come back. I can't, I can't imagine. It was Year of the Rabbit last year, wasn't it? Well done. Seven chances remaining. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. Absolutely brilliant. Well done. Now, just to let you know, the brilliance is not stopping here. Because coming up after the break in the 12 o'clock hour, this project, for me, I don't know about you, Monica, but for me, is birthday worthy. Oh, thank you. This is like... <laughs> for your birthday, for jewellery maker's birthday. Yeah. It's got such a sense of occasion, hasn't it? Absolutely, yes. I love it, absolutely love that. Uh, we've got three projects, all with the same kind of components, but different kind of colorways coming up. Really exciting, we're gonna do one minute to close. Check out your baskets, everyone. Go, 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 well done for the most incredible carving with so much detail. And the interesting thing is, is what, I mean, what I would probably do, when you get, I say probably, what I would definitely do is when you get this home, get a piece of um, either baking paper or tracing paper, even better. Put it over the top of your carving. Rub wax crayon or charcoal or even pencil over the top of the carving and you will see details that you never thought you would ever be able to get. It's quite amazing how the detail really does start to stand out. It's absolutely incredible. Congratulations, everyone. Maker in Oxfordshire, Mary, well done to you as well. Check out my lovelies. Go, go, go. Well done. Only literally a couple of opportunities remaining, as you can see there. Well done. 10 seconds, we're taking the details away. Make if you want three, Mary, if you want two, you've got to check out right now. Do it. Go, go, go. Well done, everyone. Now, don't go anywhere. Coming up, like I say, we've got the most gorgeous projects. Absolutely beautiful. It's all coming up after the break. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you having trouble finding the ideal gift for that someone special? then why not treat them to a Jewellery Maker gift card? Simply head over to the website and scroll down to the bottom of the page and click where it says Gift Cards. You can decide between posting the card or delivery by email. Then decide the value you would like to send. Whether it's for a birthday, a special occasion, or just a way to say thank you, the Jewellery Maker gift card is the perfect answer. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. 
we also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Are you new to Jewellery Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewellery Maker. Every day our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, these projects are absolutely, they are ludicrously good, Monica. Oh, I love them, they're gorgeous. They are, um... It's like the kind of thing we'd have on our birthday, as part of our birthday celebrations. They are absolutely gorgeous. They remind me a little bit of the necklace that Alison Terry was given last year. Was it the Duchess? Yes, I remember that. Is that what it was well. called? Uh, well, um, I can't remember what it was called, but yes, I know which one you're talking about. Just because I think it had seed beads, it had rivolis, but that was kind of last, oh, gosh. I don't think it had shell pearls though. Did not have oh, shell pearls. Gosh, it was it was it was it was last year sometime. I can't remember. I can barely remember last week, let alone last year. <laughs> um, but what I love about this, um, what you've made, Monica, this piece here where you've got one yes. kind of component on a strand of pearls looks absolutely incredible. When you start linking them together in the necklace that you've made here, oh my gosh, I mean, this is like Oscar worthy. Well, that's why I like these kind of designs because, and I've written the instructions to make one of those components um, as, as an earring, but you can, you can put them together in different ways. As I've done with that necklace, you can just use one. You can use a lot of them. You can, you can put them closer together and make more of them. You can make it into a choker style necklace. Mm. You know, you can join them up in different ways, corner to corner. You can join them up sort of square size to, to square side to make a bracelet. You know, there are different things you can do. You don't have to make exactly what I've made. Yeah, precisely. And, and also, when you get so many different components in a kit, uh, automatically that inspires you, and you can make so many different um, different designs with the same with the same project. You know, it doesn't Absolutely. have to be this project specifically. 
So we've got three projects. Yes. We've got a, they're all, got, and I can't actually, I was asking Monica on the break, what, what's your favorite, what's your favorite colorway? Yes. No pressure, but you've got the earring. You've got the earring there, which is absolutely beautiful, which is made from the gorgeous blue inspired uh, project, which has got the rivulets. It's got the shell pearls. You've got the seed beads. You've then got this project here, which is all to do with gold seed beads. Again, you've got your beautiful pinky shell pearls, your pink rivulets, absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got this one here, silver seed beads, silver rivulets, genuine freshwater cultured pearls. So you've got genuine freshwater cultured pearls with one of the projects, which is the one you're looking at here with the lovely silvers in. And then the other two projects, you've got your shell pearls. So really, whether you're gonna be making this, I mean, whether you're gonna be making this to sell, whether it's gonna be for yourself, in all honesty, uh, Monica, this necklace here, this is like estate jewelry, heirloom. You pass that down to, you know, yes. your niece, your, your, your daughter, your granddaughter, whatever it is, you know, that is really special. And They're all gorgeous. It's amazing but how different they look from the different colors. Don't Absolutely, yeah. they really do. Which one should we start with, Neri? The shell pearl one or the one with the pearls? Okay, now it's amazing you can create a piece like this with components, I mean, all the components you're gonna be getting here are absolutely beautiful. They really genuinely are. Yes, Neri. Oh, Amanda in Cornwall. We think we found the rabbit. Oh, we think we found the rabbit for you. Oh, Amanda, if you want it, just, just take it. Have a look on the website, Amanda, uh, on the previously played items. If it's this one, there you go. We think it's this one. We've literally put it on the website for you, Amanda, so you can go and grab it. He's a little, he's a little rabbit jumping over a, uh, that's a, a thingy, a, uh, like a gold ingot um, uh, of, uh, of, of uh, plentiness. Absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. Thank you for that, Neri, thank you for finding that. Right, right. Now, this is one of the, oh, first, definitely the first time this year that I've seen a project that has got Rivoli's in. The amount of work that has gone, and, and, uh, the amount of work that's gone into this is absolutely incredible. The amount of work that Monica has put into this. Her tuition is going to guide you through making this component. Now, I'll show you, because I know this will be interesting for a lot of people. You are getting... It's like a deck of cards. <laughs> I know, yeah. 42 stage instruction I think it's eight pages booklet it? yeah. yeah eight pages okay yeah well there you go Neary he's kind of said what we were both thinking all the booklets that we used to have used to be eight pages weren't they the booklets we used to do which were kind of eight pages or so and how much would a booklet be 10, 10, 15 pounds? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> You're getting that included in this free. Oh my gosh, I feel, I feel dreadful saying that, Monica, because I know, you know, not just, not just with you, but with all of our guests, how much work goes into doing these, these instructions. We're talking hours, and if Monica, has taken 42 photographs and written 42 different stages. Actually, I probably took about 60 photos. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Over eight pages. That isn't just a five minute job. That is hours and hours and hours of work. That would be an entire day's workshop. Absolutely. And what we would, 
usually charge for something like this if it was in a booklet would be about 15 pounds you're getting it included with the project with our compliments that is priceless right so what are you getting your 11 o's in silver lined um crystal crystal uh seed beads these are absolutely good these are you can never have too many seed beads that look like these. They are, they are absolutely, they are so useful. You are then going to be getting 11 Delicas, is that right? Uh, no, they're 15 O's. Oh, of course they are. That's Grains that's of that's sand, <laughs> 15 O, and they are Delicas, aren't they? Well, I had this tube. Oh, these ones then. 15 O galvanized seed so beads. These are the smallest seed beads that we do here on JM. Um, kit wise, I mean, Mo Monica, you can probably, you, you can probably give me an actual figure on this. I think, how many kits, how many projects do we bring to you a year with 15 seed beads in? Mm. Oh, uh, literally probably less than 20, just purely because they are incredibly hard to get hold of. They are, uh, you think that using a 15 is challenging. In actual fact, once you get used to them, once you've got, I mean, if you need a viewfinder, if you need a magnifier, then, you know, by all means, use a magnifier, do whatever you need to. They are incredibly satisfying to use, aren't they? They are, and they're extremely useful. I mean, something like a bezel, it's very hard to do a bezel with yep. just one size of seed beads. Um, so, yeah, absolutely, they're essential. I mean, um, Mark was talking about this once. Uh, he said he was very against size 15 seed beads until he started using Oh, until he started it. using it. They're his absolute favourite size now. Yeah, yeah. They fill in the gaps. They go into they nooks and crannies they're like detail. nothing else because they're so detail fine. Because well, yeah. they're so fine. So you get work that looks like this. And take Monica's advice. As soon as you start using them, it'll take a little while to get used to them. I'm not talking weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm talking like within this project. This is just the seed beads, okay? You wait. One, four, nine, because I'm about to show you the rest of. Okay. You're then getting crystal bicones. I love these, Monica. Absolutely gorgeous bicones in clear crystal. Gorgeous. You've then got your Rivoli's. Now, Rivoli's are basically foil backed. Um, they can be round, they can be all sorts of different shapes and sizes. They're foil backed, they give you the look of kind of a Cullinan diamond, basically, uh, in a foil backed, um, in, in, in a foil backed um, uh, piece. And this is a shape I've never used before. It's a... A cushion? It's kind of, yeah, I guess. It's not, not quite a square, it's more like a... It is more like a cushion, yes. or, or well, it's not even a princess cut. It is more like a cushion, isn't it? Which is brilliant for lending itself to that sort of a, a component, which has got four sides. So size-wise, you've got one of the larger ones. Is that right? Yes, that's one. Four, five, six of the middle-sized ones. Yes. Which I'll just hold up against it, so you can see what the size difference is. Okay, six of these ones, one of those. My gosh, that is like if my kids were to draw, uh, you know, a diamond. That's what it would yes. look like. Yes. Two, four, six of the little baby ones as well. These are absolutely gorgeous. They've got this incredible foil back, so the light return you get on these is literally off the scale. So six of the small, six of the medium, and one of the large. So basically, okay. you've got 13 crystals there, but in the actual necklace, I've only used 11 because I kept two of them to make matching pair of earrings. Oh, so you've got plenty perfect, enough there to make a whole, Monica. a whole suite. Okay, you then get, oh my gosh, this is, these are all pearls as well, aren't they? Are they yes. pearls? Yeah. Three. Okay, four. Four. She says, I'm going to have to nick another one. Oh, no, there we go. Oh. Four <laughs> of your gorgeous pearls. They are gorgeous. I love the colour on these. Absolutely gorgeous. You then get, oh my gosh, half drilled pearl. Is that a shell pearl? That's a shell pearl. No, I think it's. Oh my gosh, it's a real pearl. Sorry, I did just rub yep. that on my teeth, sorry. <laughs> you get a pear-shaped pearl. That yes. is through drilled actually, isn't it? It is. That's a real pearl. That I mean, doesn't look real. Like that before? Um, that's why you thought it was a shell That pearl, does not that look often. real. That is an actual pearl. And then, 
And then you get that strand of genuine freshwater cultured pearls. Honestly, this is one of the highest quality kits that you can buy. And you also get one of those. Oh gosh, you also get, look, you also get a peg bale. Yes. You also get a peg bale. This is one of the largest, most incredibly indulgent uh, projects I've, I've, I've seen, definitely this year, probably in the, last, in the last nine months. This is absolutely incredible. The Rivoli's are absolutely beautiful. The crystals are just glorious. The biker, look at the recording for goodness sake. Oh, Monica, it looks absolutely beautiful. And I can't believe $79.99. That is absolutely incredible. All of these pearls, the gorgeous pearl drop, the stunning seed beads, the 15 O's, the 11 O's. It's all absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Hilda, Pauline, Susan, Maker, Wendy, Suzanne, Maker and Butcher, Maker and Devon, Angela, Maker, Barbara, Nancy, Suri. Now, I, what I've got to show you the inspiration <coughs> surrounding this incredible yep. design. Now, as you can see, Monica has very much used the incredible products which she's got, which she's been given in this incredible, um, in these incredible projects. To be able to create anything that looks even remotely like these two pieces, which the late Queen Elizabeth II is wearing. Oh my gosh. Gee whiz. And of course, the Princess of Wales as well. I mean, wow. Oh, do you know what I would love to see is somebody using this project uh, to make a tiara like the one that they're wearing. Oh, oh yes. You could, you could, you could even make components like this and add them to a tiara. That would work so well. Mm. We're at 79 pounds and 99 pence. Angela, maker, maker in Kent. Angela, well done to you. Uh, Barbara, Nancy, sorry, well done to you. Wendy, maker, Susan, Pauline. There's absolutely loads of you there. You've got the most incredible, the most incredible materials here to make the most gorgeous, gorgeous designs. Now the necklace which we've just been looking at was made to commemorate Queen Victoria's uh, golden jubilee in 1887. The women of the empire donated a penny and much more of this money went towards um, uh, 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 the creation of this necklace to mark the jubilee. Queen Victoria was presented with the necklace on the 24th of June, 1887. And the design of the necklace is of graduated diamond trefoils which surround a main quatrefoil. Each one of them contains a pearl in their centers. The center quatrefoil is another pearl and diamond creation, a crown. Yeah, that's a lovely kind of coronet design. Upon her death, Victoria left the necklace to a crown. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II has worn it on numerous occasions, including a large number of state openings of parliament. I mean, just, wow. Look at what Monica's created. I mean, this this necklace that's on uh, on the other screen now. This was the inspiration for it. Um, we changed it a little bit because <laughs> the original plan was to have the pearls in the centre and then the um, rivulets rivulets around, around the edge. The edge. But uh, I said to the kit team, I said, if we have to bezel three or or four rivulets for every one of those components, that then you're talking about thirty or forty basil rivulets which uh, would even take me a year to make yeah exactly <laughs> quite quick you know <laughs> we'd be here till we'd be here till yeah the next coronation uh, so, like that. now okay switch them around yeah 35 seconds we're taking the price point down again Ooh. now the deal the deal we're about to do for you is ludicrous you are getting two four six eight 
10, 12, 13 of your Rivoli's in three different sizes. You're going to be getting your through drill pearls, four of the little um, kind of nuggety pearls. You're going to be getting your incredible through drill pearl um, uh, drop, which I thought, I thought that was a shell pearl. That's actually a genuine pearl. You're also going to be getting your incredible sterling silver peg bale. You've also got your crystals, uh, your crystal bicones, your strand of pearls, your 11 O's and your 15 O's. This is amazing. There's so many of you there. Congratulations, well done. Honestly, the inspiration behind this kit and the jewellery that Monica has made is sensational. 50 quid! Oh, wow. I mean, there's so many components in this, in this I know. I can't even add them which, up. Which, well, that's exactly it. Whichever way you look at it, that is an amazing deal. 49.99 is absolutely outrageous. That is so low. That doesn't cover the cost of the pearl. I mean, the pearls on, they're only got the strand. And then you got all these as well. Surely to goodness, that equates to at least 30 pounds worth right there. Then you've got the crystals, then you've got the rivulets, then you've got the CB. I mean, it just does, it does not, it does not make sense at all. It's amazing. Congratulations, everybody. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. <coughs> now, this is Jewelry Maker. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> you also get your 42 stage instruction manual as well. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a PDF, this is not a booklet. This is a manual. This is like a manual. This is absolutely incredible. Only in one language though. Bitterly disappointed about that, Monica. Sorry, Why couldn't you have gone one step it. further? No, I'm joking. It's absolutely <laughs> incredible. 42 step process guiding you through to make um, uh, the earring, which is right here. Absolutely incredible. You've got 39 seconds and we're taking the price point down again. Well done. The majority of this project has already gone with loads still sitting in basket, excuse me. <coughs> Add it onto your order when you can, well done. Less than 30 seconds and we're gonna be taking the price point down even lower. It's absolutely crazy. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. 20 seconds, you've got to be there. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Patricia, Marjorie, Vanessa, Maker, Pauline, Maker, Mary, Suzanne, well done to you as well. Go, 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 go. The most amazing deal. Are you ready? Ellen, congratulations, well done to you. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. This is crazy. Ready, steady? 39 pounds and 99 pence. That's crazy 39.99 ellen caroline nita monica maker patricia marjorie brenda maker in the scottish borders well done to you maker in oxfordshire maker in kent maker angela well done to you so lovely to see the rivalies so great to see the genuine freshwater culture pearls so wonderful to see such a perfect pearl drop so wonderful to see the 11 o's the 15 o's the crystal bicones, it's gone absolutely crazy. Beverly, maker of the West Midlands, well done. It's gone absolutely crazy. Well done, everyone. I don't want you to miss out. That is absolutely as low as we can go today. Those Rivoli's are insanely I mean, good, I'm aren't they? I'm still trying to work out how many components. If we take the seed beads, one tube is one component, that's yep. two components. Then you've got the crystals is your third one. Yep. The strand of pearls is your fourth one. Yep. The four extra pearls, uh, is and the drop. One. The drop is number six. Yeah. And then you've got the bale, which is number seven. And then you've got three different sizes of your Rivoli. So that's another three components. Yeah. That's ten components, which make it four pounds a component. That is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, and then don't forget the book. Oh, and the booklet, <laughs> which is priceless. I know. It's absolutely amazing. So Mary, so make a Tina Beverly. pounds for the book. 99 for the project. <laughs> I know, yeah, that is, that is ridiculous. You imagine, you know, something like this. This is going to take you, um, Monica's estimating about three hours to make, okay? Well, that's for the earrings. Okay, yeah, that's for the earrings. Yeah. You know, the necklace, obviously, it's going to take you a considerable amount of time. Let's say it takes you a whole day and you follow that tuition and you follow Monica's guidance, yeah? That is the equivalent to a day's workshop. You have literally spent, what? 30, 40, 39 pounds on a day's workshop with all of that tuition and you can watch the show back and watch the demo and 99p for all of that. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it, 
It's a ludicrous deal. There are good deals, there are great deals, and then there are deals like this which are unrepeatable. It is, it is outrageous. It is outrageous. Felicity, well done to you. Nita, well done to you. Heath and Jackie, Tina, Beverly, Maker, Caroline. It's gone absolutely crazy. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Tremendous price. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Go, 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 go. And then just to say, on the instructions, in the, there's, um, there's a section on the front which says, which says skill level. So I've put advanced for this. Yes. But mostly because it gets quite involved and because you're using the size 15 seed bead. Mm. Um, so first of all, that doesn't mean that if you're a beginner, you can't give it a go. Because as, as we said, you're getting the instructions for free. So what's, you know, what's the worst case is you don't yes. use the instructions. You, because there are so many other things you can make with it if you don't feel like you can make well, these earrings. You could even go to step step 18, which is just bezeling a rivoli. Well, exactly. That's, that's literally it. That's you don't have to do thing. any more than that if you don't want to. You can learn certain stages of it, or you can put the instructions aside, and then if you're a beginner, there will come a point where you're not a beginner. You mm. can always come back to it later. But also, once you watch my demo, it's not actually difficult. It's just going through it very slowly. I've just, the only reason I've put advanced is because I didn't add in, for example, how to do peyote stitching. I didn't say, you just assume people yeah, know how stitch. to do it. Yeah. Because if I did that, this That's would have fine. been a 25 page booklet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so there's just these little things that I assumed oh, that you would know, like how to do peyote stitching, but I'm going to show mm. them to you now. So, um, you know, just give it a go and then, you know. Absolutely fantastic. Honestly, Neri, that is amazing. To be able to do that for 39.99, I honestly believe. <sighs> right, this next project, the colorway, is it this, is it the pinky one with the gold? <laughs> I think that one's my favorite, I think. I'm having this, <laughs> I literally, that color, oh my gosh. Oh my, do you know, even Alison Tarry, who, who does not class herself as a pink person, well, I don't. she would love, it. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, isn't it gorgeous? It, it is, it's, it's beautiful, and I especially love it. with the gold, uh, you know, I think, oh, wow, it's, it's honestly, um, Monica, this is, because I think the, the gold that we've got in here, the gold of the seed beads is so gold, it kind of, neutralizes the pink a little bit don't you it think it is it's almost bordering on rose gold yes yes it's, it is it's a little bit more pink than more yellow yes uh as a gold it's still gold you know it's not rose gold but it, goes, it just goes really well with the pink so shell <laughs> shell pearl we know what you mean <laughs> shell pearl in this gorgeous rosy pink then you're getting shell pearl rounds the, the beauty with these and this is going to be maybe even more suitable for people who've never attempted this kind of design before because they're shell pearls so you're kind of guaranteed that size and shape you know exactly what you're going to be getting so you've got your four shell pearl rounds your shell pearl drop your shell pearl rounds here on the strand yeah perfect you've then got these rivolis which are a really lovely shade of pink you've got a large one you've then got oh you've then got slightly more medium-sized ones you've then got the little baby ones as well Mm. Same amount as well, isn't it? Is it, yes. is it 12? Uh, sorry, it is. I beg your pardon, it's 13 six, again. Six and six and then one large Yeah, one, one of yeah. the large ones. Absolutely gorgeous. And that cushion shape again. Yes, beautiful cushion shape. You then get your peg bale, which you put into the top of your top drilled shell pearl there. You, get, you then get this gorgeous, like a morganite coloured, peachy, pinky crystal bicone strand, which looks gorgeous. Next, see how it's starting to neutralise Yes. The pink, it's really interesting. Oh my gosh. Then you get these gorgeous gold lined 11 O's seed beads and 15 O's as well. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's get these prices down. Okay, so should be, yeah. It's a great project. Again, Rivoli's again, gorgeous colours, absolutely beautiful. Should be a hundred quid. No, we're gonna go significantly lower than ninety nine, ninety nine. Significantly lower. <coughs> it's interesting, isn't it? You look at the pieces which 
Monica's used her own. Because she's used the seed beads and the shell pearls and the rivulets all together, all mixed up. The pink of the rivoli, the pink of the shell pearl, the gold of the seed bead, it all balances itself it out absolutely beautifully. I'm just gonna take it off here, is that okay? Oh yes, of course. Because I just wanna show you how, you look at all of those together, they look very, very pink, don't they? You look at that, that looks very, very pink. Yes. You pop your seed beads next to it, all of a sudden, Oh, that just balance. You barely notice the pink in this in the, in, in the shell pearl. It becomes more of a cream, doesn't well, it? Uh, well, that's the interesting thing about this. Um, I love this, this, Monica. This project is because when I opened the box and I thought, oh, I'm not sure about the pink with the gold. Normally, I would put it with silver. Yes, yes. And, but then I started putting it together, and I'm like, oh my gosh, actually, this is my favourite colour. It's gorgeous, <laughs> isn't it? It's so lovely. It's really vintage. It's got that yes. really lovely kind of look of yesteryear about it. I love it. It's gorgeous. Ready? This is amazing. This deal is incredible. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Love, 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 love what you're getting here. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. 29.99. Oh, yes. And of course, you get the PDF with this one as well. You get the PDF with all of the products. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, 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 go. 29.99. Incredible deal for you today. Well done. Love it. And that's so pretty. That's an earring, that's a pendant, that's a brooch. That's, uh, you know, it, 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 it's got such versatility, this design, it's just beautiful. Following the 42 stage process that Monica has detailed here. This is, this is hours worth of information, tuition, and the fact that it's not just written is wonderful. You know, if you're a very visual person, then, you know, reading is one thing, but seeing it there is another thing. Plus as well, you'll be able to watch this show back as well. But do make sure that you write the date of the show down on your, uh, on your uh, PDF when you um, uh, print it out, because you'll be able to watch it back. And you'll be able to make along with Monica. Plus you'll also be able to uh, contact Monica if there's anything in particular that you, you know, yeah. you're not that kind of clear on. Uh, go for it, why not? 29.99. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going again. Stop it, why not? Why not? You're all there, I can tell you that. Gorgeous, Wiltshire's got two. Sylvia, well into you. Oh my gosh. This is just this is just absolutely incredible. I love it. I absolutely love it. And also, what's so nice is seed bead shell pearl jewellery. Quite often, you know, you'd think, oh yeah, but I could use genuine freshwater culture pearls and I could use tiny little microfasted gemstones. Yes, you absolutely could do. Doesn't a design like this really bring seed seed beads and shell pearl into their own and you're making really sophisticated, genuinely beautiful pieces yes. with affordable materials? Well, I think so, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. There is no need at all, you know, to, you know, when you've got looks like this, designs like this, qualities like this, these really are carving their own path. That's so, oh, I wonder whether you can make it into a ring. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I'd want it kind of that way around, yes. I reckon. Oh my word. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Monica, that honestly is so lovely. Such a pleasing little component to look at, isn't it? It's gonna be so pleasing to wear as well. And I like the fact that you've gone for the shell pearls and then the rivoli in the middle. I think the, 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 yes. the rivolis around the edge would have looked lovely, but maybe slightly overkill I don't know a bit yes, too much yes. and we'd be here till 2029 <laughs> making jewelry I think for one the next golden jubilee god love her yes the next golden jubilee yeah definitely oh bless you um, Mr Neary you're a wonder I know and also can I just say as well and I probably shouldn't be admitting this oh no I'll no I'll save it for the next project oh. <laughs> no I just don't want to get in trouble I don't want to get in trouble oh no Oh. Oh. Let's give you a 30 second clock to close. You've done so well coming through to get this. Well done. Oh, uh, oh Sean. Yes. Lovely Sean. <laughs> Sean from Wales. Uh, got my order and can't wait to make this stunning necklace. Thank you, gorgeous ladies. Yeah. Now, Sean. I was thinking of Sean. I praise indeed. <laughs> because Sean's jewellery is literally just like fit for royalty, oh. isn't it? 
It really genuinely is. Sean, I can't wait to see your Wall of Fame entry. That will be really lovely. Make sure you put it on, share your makes as well, because we quite often see those as well. Really, really lovely. Oh, that's prose indeed, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, how gorgeous. I know when Sean picks one of my one of my projects, then it's, it's a good it, one. It's a real, it must give you a real kind of like, oof, because, um, you know, Sean's very, very good at what, uh, what he does. And yeah. It, it, it's oh, it's I was, great. I, was, I don't know if you saw, you saw the dragon necklace that Sean, Sean made on Facebook. No. Anyway, it's a really, it's a beautiful, beautiful necklace. And I was showing it to a friend yesterday and I, and I told them what my fans made. Ah, oh, yes, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. Sorry, Sean, I was showing off with your necklace. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Brilliant. Now, um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, things like this are, oh gosh, I've really, I've mixed everything up. Oh, but wouldn't you just like to have that whole bundle? Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. This is your last project. Now, um, there are certain things here which, which, which we very much have control over. Um, as in, oh gosh, no, we don't have control over anything. Uh, but there are certain things which we can go, right, we're going to commission that, we're going to order that, blah, 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 fine. Shell pearls. We've got our own suppliers, you know, we try and do as much in-house as we possibly can. Shell pearls are one thing, yeah, that's great. So we know that we can get hold of those really kind of within reason whenever we want, okay? So you've got your rounds, you've got your drop, you've got your beautiful strand. <coughs> then there's a sterling silver peg bale, okay, yeah, again, yeah, we, we create our own components, we create our own um, silver, silver plated base metal um, components, fine, fantastic, well done. Right. Everything else, we are in direct competition with everybody else. So, when we're looking at Mayuki seed beads, they're the best seed beads in the world. Bar none, I think, pretty much, aren't they? I think so, yeah. Yeah, you should know. <laughs> uh, they're all the way from Japan. Um, we don't buy, we don't always buy, I think we have in the past bought directly from Mayuki, but we do tend to buy from a from a kind of like a supplier. It's one of the few things that we actually go to a supplier with because they'll just have more in stock than Mayuki will. Mayuki don't hold a huge amount of stock at any one time. So we've got to go somewhere and buy those. That's going, that's us going elsewhere, yeah? And the same goes for these 50 well, nose. I think that's Which ones did you same, get? Same yeah, you got as those as well. Which I'm gonna use, yeah. gonna nick those. So 50 nose, okay? So we have to go elsewhere for these as well, okay? Both my Yuki, both really, really great, but we've got to go elsewhere for them, okay? What about these? These will undoubtedly be from the check. Um, fr 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 from the check. Now, we bought from Preziosa in the past. We can buy from Preziosa, but again, Preziosa, what they tend to do is they tend to supply a lot of the crystal um, uh, pressing bead uh, manufacturers with their kind of glass rods. Okay, so it's not always going to be from Preziosa, but we've got to go elsewhere to source these bicones. We can't make them ourselves. We have to go elsewhere. These Rivoli's, we used to get a lot from Swarovski. I don't think that's the case anymore because Swarovski just aren't really making, um, aren't really making be uh, pieces like this much anymore. So if they're not from Swarovski, again, we have to go directly to them or these will be from the check again, which I probably think they are. I think so too. But they, but I mean, they are so stunning. You, they're you beautiful. Know. Oh gosh, you can't, you, you cannot tell the difference between these and the Swarovski uh, ones. No, pretty much no. exactly the same. But what the point I'm trying to make is the only thing that we can kind of that we have any kind of way of kind of ordering or commissioning are basically the shell pearls because we've got our own supplies and um, and uh, the um, and the peg bell. Everything else we've got to shop around for. Everything else we've got to go to specialist suppliers for. Everything else we're in direct competition with that person there, that company there, that company there, all around the world. It makes it so challenging to put projects like this together, but hopefully we're always gonna be able to bring you projects like this, because honestly, your reaction, oh. Hi all, Monica, your jewelry is stunning. Have you ever seen a sea beading book yet? I was thinking about it like a proper coffee table book. An actual book. Yes, I was thinking, I haven't written it yet. That no. would be amazing. You'd need to stay awake for the next four years, I think, Monica, <laughs> with all the work that you have. So, you've got your instructions again, 42 stages, eight pages, all double-sided, there you go, eight pages of instructions, okay? You've got this for me, I love this, 
It's got that willow pattern look. It's got that Wedgwood look. It's got that Bristol glass look. It's got that cut crystal look to it with that blue and the silver and white. It's 39.99. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not your price. No, we're going to go lower. Why not? We may as well. Everyone's watching. So we may as well go a little bit lower for you today. The crisp, wintry whites, beautiful cobalt blues. It's that Bristol glass colour, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. And actually, this is what the instructions are based on. Uh, the uh, gorgeous... Um, the gorgeous earrings that we're looking at. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? 30 seconds and we're going to be giving you your prize point. Keith, Mary, well done to you, Penny, Debbie, David and Sue, Christina, Claire, Maker. Less than 30 seconds and we're going to be giving you your prize point. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. 20 seconds. What a deal you're about to get today. Congratulations, well done. Maker and Kent, well done to you as well. Barbara, Robert, Claire, Jane, Maker in Swansea. Congratulations, well done. Look at the gorgeous colours you're getting there. And also, I mean, you can you can see between this uh, this one and the white uh, project is if you all you have to do is switch out the one tube of seed beads, yes. and you have a completely different look. So if Absolutely. you wanted to take the set and take away the blue seed beads and add in, I don't know, say red yes. or green or yes. anything, it'll give you a totally different look Oh my look gosh. Again. Can you imagine that? Can you, I mean, I love the idea of red. I love the idea of green. You get that ruby look. You get that emerald look. Keep How wonderful would that be? Yeah, black. Oh, mm. that would be absolutely stunning. $24.99, Anne, Mariska, Barbara, Maker, Maker, Colin, well done. There's absolutely loads of you there. Congratulations, well done. David and Sue, Claire, Maker, Anne, Keith, Christina, £24.99. Well done. Absolutely, everybody. Go, go, go. Now, you've all got your 30-day money-back guarantee. Not that you're going to need it. <coughs> it's your opportunity remaining. Well, oh, my gosh. What? <laughs> Neary, you do get the instructions. <laughs> you do get the instructions. Okay, be honest. How much are the two tubes of sea beads? How much should they cost? Oh, about six or seven pounds each. Six or seven, so that's what, 12 pounds. That's half the price of where we are now. I mean, and you're telling me that all of the instructions and the sh and the shell pearls and the rivulets and the crystals and the peg bale. <laughs> wow. Didn't we just work out as 10 components plus a booklet? Yeah. That makes it £2.20 per component. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That has gone completely crazy. Grace in Staffordshire. Well done to you. Lovely Michelle's coming through. Wendy in Cambridgeshire. Jane. Mary. I mean, I mean, if, if you forget about my design, any of these components, you're not going to find them for two pounds. <coughs> you know? Absolutely. If you, use a, if you completely break it up and use it for 10 different designs that have nothing to do with mine. Do you know something? I'm, 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 I'm looking at this. Take out, take out the blue seed beads. I would use these probably in some kind of a, an Olympic project. Maybe. It's got the Olympics this summer and I'd add in black. I would love to see that with black. black. Now yes. you've suggested that. Yes. I can't get that out of my head now. <laughs> that would be so beautiful, but Monica. Also... Next project, chop chop. <laughs> <laughs> but also, if you don't want to go so harsh, you could add in something like a, like a gray, like a Labradorite gray. Stop it. Oh, oh my gosh, that would be gorgeous. <laughs> right, before we dive into a demo, I've got to show you this. This is exceptional. This is the most beautiful piece inspired by our late Queen Elizabeth II, the most exquisite Windsor inspired bouquet. It's coming up, lowest ever price. Coming up before the end of the show. It's absolutely incredible. Monica, demo, the floor is yours, my love. So, um, I just want to, uh, obviously, I, <coughs> I haven't got enough time to show you the whole component, um, <laughs> all eight pages worth. <laughs> no, it's fine, don't worry. <laughs> so, I want to talk to you a little bit about bezeling because there's a few things about the bezeling um, on this necklace and the earrings as well. 
First of all, obviously, you've got the different sizes of, of Rivoli. So I want to quickly explain how to uh, scale up the instructions if you want to make the necklace. I also want to show you um, if you can zoom in really close on this. Mm. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Right. So can you see, if maybe if I lift it a bit, can you see the inside of it? It's not a standard bezel. It's not round in the middle. It's, there's a little star shape in the middle. Maybe you can see it better on there. Yeah, I think so. So there's a star shape in the center. So I want to talk to you about how to do that quickly. Uh, and then also, um, a lot of people, there's a little bit of a stigma on the internet about bezeling things because whenever somebody sets out to bezel a component they always start out with well how many beads do i need to start with to fit around my particular component and that is because somebody i don't know who it was but somebody decided when you start bezeling a piece you need to start with i'm going to turn it over you can see better on the back um, somebody decided that you need to start with the inner round of beads and then grow that out and then grow that in again on the other side the problem with that is you have to know exactly how many beads to start with because obviously you start with let's say 24 small beads in the middle in order to have enough of your larger beads on the outside to fit around your bezel if you don't start in the middle with the right number of beads then it's not going to fit your crystal or whatever it is that you're bezeling now i don't know why somebody came up with that idea but a much better idea is to start on the outside of your bezel so for example in this case if i've got this rivoli here I've got 24 of my larger beads, which is going to be the biggest circle of beads on the outside, which is the one that needs to actually fit snugly around the outer circumference of your crystal or whatever it is that you're bezeling. Because once you start on the outside, so because I've, I've made a few of these, obviously, I know that I need to start with 24 beads. But if I bring these round into a circle, so go through the first two beads again, right, you can see you can test the circle and see if it fits around the component that you want to bezel. So that way, it doesn't matter what size component you want to bezel or even what shape it is. It works the same with the, uh, essentially with a square or a round or an oval even. Um, uh, so you can work out what, how many beads you need to start with, um, which makes it much easier. Also, obviously, when you start your bezel, so you start with a circle like that, and then you're going to start doing some peyote. So basically, you're just going to pick up a bead, skip over one bead in the circle, and go into the next one. Okay. So when you start your peyote stitching, we all know that the first row is kind of the hardest to do because you don't have much to hold on to, and your beads are twisting and going uh, potentially all over the place. So you don't really want to start with your size 15 bezels, so uh, your 15 beads. So if you're starting in the outer circle, which is the biggest one, using the biggest beads, whether you're using size 11 or size 8 for the bigger beads on the outside, doesn't matter, it works the same way. Then you, you can start with your larger beads instead of trying to um, do the same thing with your size 15s, for example and then uh, making your bezel from the sort of the inside out and then when you get to the outside then you've done a whole lot of work on it then realizing well actually I shouldn't have started with 24 beads I should have started with 26 beads because it doesn't fit my bezel and then you have to start mm. all over again so I see this a lot uh, on social media so that's why I thought I would just just mention that that I think that is what, what has helped me with bezeling is that you don't have to know exactly how many beads to start with you can try it out yourself mm. So with the bezel, basically what you're doing is you are just peyote stitching all the way around. Okay. Um, so that's the one thing. I will tell you, just to help you out a little bit though, how many beads I did use. Uh, <laughs> so for the smallest crystal, as I say, I started with 24 beads in the circle. Uh, with the medium size, I started with um, 26 beads. And then in the largest one, I started with 28 beads. Um, now there is, oh, did I just add two beads there? I did. So there is uh, a little bit of numbers involved with how many beads you want to use. Uh, obviously, so now I've gone all the way around. I've also stepped up so that I'm coming out of an outer bead. And while I'm talking, I'm just going to carry on. I'm going to do another round of peyote stitch using the 15 beads. So I've only got three, three rows of the size 11s. My mm -hmm. starting round of, of uh, 24 beads is your first two rows, and I've added one more, so I've got three rows there. 
okay and then I'm going to do two rounds with the 15s so uh, I've forgotten what I was saying <laughs> So about the 15 oh, oh, with, the, with the number of um, the number of beads that you use for a bezel. So uh -huh. when you're doing this kind of bezel that you want there to be a star shape in the middle and you've got four sides, so you need to plan ahead a little bit. <coughs> First of all, any bezel would have to have um, uh, an even number of beads that you start with. So mm -hmm. um, if you're not sure, uh, for example, if you put your beads around whatever it is that you're bezeling and it comes to 23 beads, mm. then go to 24 doesn't matter if it's slightly big because you're going to bring the front and the back inwards so it doesn't oh, okay, matter okay good tip uh, but you can't go too small because then you won't be able to fit it in there so if the if there's a dilemma then go bigger as long as you have an even number because you need to do even count peyote um, around your bezel the second thing is if you're doing something like the star that i'm just about to show you in the center you need to be able to divide your the number of beads in this case because I've got four sides you need to be able to divide it by four so actually I think I told you the numbers wrong I started with 24 beads on the small one 28 beads on the medium size and I think it was 32 on the big one okay um, because you need to be able to divide it by four now that's because um, the number of beads that you pick up initially is is two rows so the 24 beads that I started with here is actually only 12 beads in a round okay um, and that still needs to be divisible by two to be able to do something like the star that I'm doing in the center because I've got four sides so it's a bit complicated but um, if you're just doing an ordinary bezel then don't worry about that then it just needs to be a multiple well this two. is the beauty of having all the instructions as well Monica yes because so you don't have to think about this sort of thing um, I'm just trying to sort of, yeah, don't worry so much about the numbers. It, it gets complicated, but at least you can work out for yourself how many beads to start with if you yeah. have a different sa shape or a different size to, um, to bezel. So I'm doing another, a second round of 15 O beads here. Mm -hmm. um, all of this is explained in a lot more detail in the instructions. So don't worry if you're just starting out and you're not following. It's just, this is just uh, tubular peyote, essentially. Yeah. It's just that the first three rows are size 11s, and then the next two rows or rounds are uh, size 15 beads. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once you've done two rounds of your 15s, uh, oh, can't get a hold of it now. Um, then what you're going to do, we're going to start making the star in the center. Now, I haven't done a star on the back. On the back, I just did the same two rounds as I did here. Oh, and one other thing, I always start with the front first. Some people like to start with the back, but I like to start with the front because the, the first side that you bead somehow seems to turn out nicer. Uh, so I like to have that in the front and then I finish the back afterwards. So on the back, I just did another two rows using my tail thread, so leave a long tail thread. Uh, I would do another two rounds of my 15 O's mm -hmm. and then, so basically what I've done on the front here, but obviously by then you'll have your rivoli in there. And then I just went through the up beads. Don't worry if there's a tiny bit of thread showing because that's going to be the back, but you just want to pull together the up beads tighter to close in the back. Okay. In the front, once you've done this, to get the star effect, what you're going to do is you're going to peyote stitch two beads as normal. On the largest size, where I started with 32 beads, I would have done three. So you do two beads, then you want to skip one. So you want to go down, basically step down one, mm -hmm. and step up again after that. And then you add two beads again, and then you skip one, and then you add two beads again. And then you do another round where you just add in one bead in between those two that you've got sticking up and then you step down two rows into your bezel and then step up again and that is what gives you that star effect it's all in full detail in the booklet so uh, you'll be able to follow that along and then just adding the embellishments on afterwards is, is quite straightforward actually thank you so, that, that was like a, a whirlwind to a us. whirlwind <laughs> but so useful to see all of that and don't forget you've all got the instructions as well and please make sure you watch the tuition back um, 
when you get your projects because that is absolutely that is going to be such a popular design over the next 12 months well i hope so thank you so much monica <laughs> gorgeous bless you now um <coughs> very quickly before the end of the show i've got to show you this this is a sterling silver windsor giardinetti pendant and um, this is the most incredible design inspired by a beautiful brooch uh, uh, uh giardinetto brooch that the queen uh, queen elizabeth ii wore over many many years of her life um it basically a giardinetti design depicts a either a vase or a basket of flowers it's a design which has been around in lots of italian jewelry designs for for many many years um and is set with genuine gemstones. What you are getting here, and in fact, I've got a, a couple of little images of the late queen wearing this. Oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. You can see that, there she is. Aww. Oh, beautiful sunny face. There she is, absolutely beautiful. You can see, sorry Neary, thank you all. You can see the actual piece here, set with emeralds, rubies, sapphires, diamonds. Oh. There she is, Aww. wearing it again. Oop, black. Uh, but wearing it again there. It's the most gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I think she, uh, she was originally photographed wearing it on the birth of uh, King Charles, I think it was. Yes, Aww. I think it is. Absolutely gorgeous, all those years ago. Um, the piece that we've got here has been beautifully set. Love the design. Love the flowers we've incorporated here. Gemstone-wise, have you got the list of all the gemstones in here, Neri? Because I don't want to miss anything out. You're getting beautiful kind of tulip shapes at the back. You're also going to be getting kind of lily of the valley shapes as well, which was her, which were her absolute favourite um, favourite flowers. You're getting garnet, white topaz, citrine, tanzanite, green onyx baguettes as well at the bottom as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. Now you can literally solder a brooch back onto this. You can wear it uh, with a chain. It's entirely up to you. The quality you're getting here absolutely beautiful with all of that gem set quality. We've only ever done, now you're not gonna believe this, 79.99. Wow. 12 garnets, 17 white topaz, a further seven white topaz, four citrines, 10 tanzanite, six green onyx. 10 seconds, we're taking the price point down. This has only ever been 79.99. 99 you're right neary only ever been 79.99 but we are taking it down for you today here we go can't quite believe we're doing this today all the way down what a beautiful fitting tribute 49.99 for the windsor giardinetti pendant absolutely gorgeous Suzanne's taking two back to North Yorkshire. Julian the Wirral Maker in Kent wants three. Helen Joanne in Barnsley. Congratulations, well done to you, my lovely. How gorgeous is that? And it's so fitting with these projects, I think, yes, Monica. I think so. I think so. Aren't they just, I mean, that was just absolutely perfect. If you literally just grabbed, I don't know. I mean, oh, yeah. I don't or maybe know. Maybe the white one, aren't you? Just a pearl strand. Oh, yeah, good call. Yeah. Just like that. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Wouldn't that just be incredible? Oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. It's totally gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, Nicolette, Lynn, oh. Julie, Ms. Janet, Pauline, well done to you. Absolutely gorgeous, well done. Now, listen, we've got um, loads and loads and loads of incredible items which are about to be put on our website. So please do go and take a look at those. Literally, as soon as we come off air, loads of things are gonna be available on the website. So Nira's gonna put them on there. Monica, it's been brilliant to have you with us today. Oh, thank, thank you so you. much. It's been so much fun today. Bless you. So <laughs> much hard work. Oh my gosh. Absolutely amazing woman. Thank you so much. We'll see you very soon. Yes. And uh, take care. We've got an amazing show for you tomorrow with gorgeous Alison Tarry. See you in a bit, guys. Take care.